Why can I not go live? Hello? Okay, it seems that I can't go live until the delay is ready. So hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> it's me, Wolf from the future, question mark, Wolf from the present. It's me, Wolf. Okay, I've opened the chat. Um, it's my GameCube controller. Okay, cool. This is so, um, hello. Where's my... Um... <clears throat> Hey, that's not working. Um, we have 10 minutes delay on. So currently at my time, it's 1035. Please work. Okay, there we go. Fix the sound. It's going to be loud for just... I'm going to actually... Let me make... I'm not going to blow your ears out. Let me um, gonna mute the audio for a second. I muted. Oh my god, I muted myself. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I muted the wrong mic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That that's my bad. It should have only been left for an instant, but I am still really sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I even tried to avoid that. I was like, it's just one second. I should be fine if it's loud. But then I was like, no, let's do this properly. <gasps> um. Anyway, hello. <clears throat> How's it going? Um. <laughs> My mic's a little low, but I can't figure out which knob to tighten to get it to stay up. Um, so today I am playing in the Limitless TCG, Limitless TCG VGC tournament. <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. This is right. Um, yeah. So basically we've got some time to kill. Uh, the tournament doesn't start for another 24 minutes, my time, um, which is also 24 minutes since you're watching the stream, but it will probably be, I don't know. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Anyway, we got a little bit of time to kill. This is going to be like a, 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 if you just want like something chill on for like, this is going to be a, an interesting stream because parts of this will be chill and then parts of this will be not chill at all. Um, because, uh, there's going to be downtime between rounds. So I built a new team for this tournament. Actually, maybe this is a good time to show off the team. I can talk about it in a little bit. I can talk a little bit about the team. And we hit, we started in 380 seconds, which is a little over six minutes. Battle Stadium. I should keep an eye on my Discord, not the chat, because the chat's 10 minutes behind anyway. And also, you can't see me. So here's the team I'm going to be using today. We have Mouse Hold with Technician, Wideland, Population Bomb, Protect, Follow Me, Encore. It's the same moveset as my last Mouse Hold, um, except that now it is a different ability, and instead of Super Fang, we have Population Bomb. We have Overgrow, Choice Band, Flower, Trick Me, Escarada. Um, Air Balloon, Protect, Nasty Blood, Mega Rain, Shadow Ball, Goldengo. Uh, Terra Fairy, Ndidi with Psychic Surge. If I had known that basically via a bug, Trick Room Ndidi is legal, <clears throat> I assumed it wouldn't be legal. I probably would have run um trick room on this ndd if i'd known but i found out this morning like 30 minutes ago so i didn't have time to to get a new one and you can't it can only be obtained from raids so uh yeah um but that definitely would have been stronger here um tailwind happenberry hydreigon and then life orb trick room armor rouge so this team mm, i didn't have a lot of time to test it I, i'm not sure how strong it is i played a couple i played like basically what happened was I finished the stream yesterday at like 2.30 p.m. I took a little bit of a break because I had a splitting headache. 
um i got some work done in the afternoon i tried to build a team and then at 5 p.m I, I went on Jaden's stream to do her game show which was super fun that finished around 7 15. uh and so between 7 15 and when i went to bed i needed to build a new team and get in game shout outs to uh my subscribers who were a huge role in me getting this um and to my friend aaron trailer for helping with cool dingo because he just had this one which is nice um yeah but basically um i needed to build a new team so i had a couple ideas i had a couple pokemon i was interested in and i kind of quickly realized that i didn't have enough team to do like to, like enough time to really do something with extensive testing which is probably obvious given the time frame so i instead decided i i started with mousehold and i was like okay what do i think is really strong and i thought he was like okay like, i want to try out offensive mousehold i think that's pretty strong and then i kept working and i was like okay i'm interested in, in hydreigon i feel like you know it's it's basically i was worried about there were three kind of compositions that i wanted to focus on primarily the first was dondozo uh the second was murkrow tailwind good stuffs and then the third was um the third was a the third actually was armor rouge indeedy stuff <clears throat> and my thought process was that this specific mouse hold when paired with hydreigon matches up very well into the indeedy armor rouge lead which i think is really powerful even if, i don't know if it's, it's probably not gonna be that popular but like i thought it was really strong and so i was like okay mouse hold hydreigon you can lead mouse hold hydreigon and even if it's focus ash indeedy you can still um click population bomb and take out the ndd and then you can dark pulse and hopefully take out the armor rouge i don't think either of those calcs are guaranteed is the truth uh but there's that's the theory but i i wasn't sure what set what like items or movesets i was using at the time so i was like okay Hy hydrogen mouse hold then i like added a bunch of different stuff i added goldengo i added an ndd armor rouge and then i was like basically uh goldengo has perfect synergy with hydrogen as i recall because it's weak to fire ground fighting dark and ghost all of which no sorry fire ground dark and ghost all of which hydreigon resist and hydreigon is weak to bug fighting fairy ice dragon all of which goldengo resists so the synergy between them is really good um i wasn't sure what item to use i initially had the life orb on it <clears throat> but i then added a couple more pokemon i added like three different pokemon they didn't work so then i threw on ndd armor rouge and one more pokemon and i was like okay ndd and armor rouge feel like they add a little bit de of depth to this they match up pretty decently into dundozo i would say because of the sheer power of um expanding force with life orb but it took the life orb off of goldango so then i went back and gave building the air balloon item um <clears throat> for one reason one reason only i played against shoma hunami the 2015 world champion and a player i have enormous respect for like <clears throat> out of the players i don't regularly work with like myself shoma might be the player who like i have the most respect for maybe i don't really want to speak in it but he's up there right he's in shoma's in my in my cheer list my my in, my internal cheer list of players Shoma's in the, whatever the highest tier is. I have I have enormous respect for Shoma. He's one of the few players who have actually studied their games to try and like learn myself. So anyway, I played against him. He had Air Balloon Goldango, and I was like, well, if he thinks it's good, I don't I, I don't know what I, I have no time. I got no time to figure out a better Goldango item. I'll just give Air Balloon. Um, and then I was like, okay, what? So I was like, okay, I think like in DD Armor Rouge, it should be like pretty and and now Soul Hydreigon and, and Goldango. I think I should be pretty decent against Murkrow stuff. I gave Hydreigon Habenberry because um i didn't want to be forced to terrestrialize in front of dragons uh so this gives me the option of like in front of fairies i can terrestrialize or fighting pokemon or bug pokemon and um i can terrestrialize but uh happen very just gives me a little it doesn't force me to terrestrialize you know um and yeah and then i i was like okay so i feel good against Murkrow. i feel good against armor region dd i feel like i have like pretty decent options against annihilate which is something i was worried about because i have like redirection and i have goldengo uh i have two forms of redirection and goldengo and tailwind and Trigram, so i should be okay like a uh, scarf final game annihilate was still annoying because it could still i don't have a focus ash user on this team so i can still take a take a ko but um i have goldengo and i have you know speed control and whatever whatever and i can scout for it so uh it's okay um and then i was like okay but I've, i'm not really like that strong into dundozo right because like yeah i don't have an offensive item in goldengo and um yeah like uh, it's kind of just armor region and dd with like a little bit of help from mouse hold i, I would say so then i was like okay i want one pokemon that matches up well into dundozo and i was like miascarada right like it's it's miascarada like it does a lot of damage because it crits through the defense boost which is pretty powerful i initially had focus sash but then i was like let me just give a choice ban you know what i mean um let me just give a choice ban you know what i'm saying how much seconds oh that's gonna be mad no oh, 20 seconds okay i should be ready to start okay star of streams during 10 seconds and eight eight seven six five four three two one the messed up thing is that i'm getting flamed in chat okay I'm live now i'm getting flamed in chat 
even though I, I like I was streaming 10 minutes ago at 10 33 but I'm according to them I'm three minutes late feels bad man live let me get my watch oh let me finish talking about yes grotto yeah so basically it was like a, one pokemon that matches up well into um I not go live hello hey. Why can I not go live? Wait, Hello? Why, why is it? Oh, I keep pausing it. Is it working? This okay, it clip. seems that I can't go. Okay, it, okay. Looks like... it seems that I can't go live. live until oh, I have multiple tabs open. Ready. So, hello, everybody. Where is the other tab? Oh, I had um, it open on this one. Uh, okay, I was like, why? I'm pausing it. Why is this happening? Okay, I figured it out. Um, Hello. Uh, okay. I added Meow Scarada because I was worried about Dondozo. It can crit through the defense boost. There's not that many Pokemon. Like, basically, I didn't want a Pokemon that was, like, just my dedicated Dondozo check because, like, stuff like Haze, Murkrow. First of all, I already have Tailwind and Dark type on this team, so I don't need Murkrow. Um, and I just feel like Haze is a little inconsistent, especially against better players. Like, because, like, it's... If, you, you, if you're relying on Murkrow just for Haze, or even just, like... Basically, I didn't want to use Murkrow because I already... I didn't feel... I don't feel like it's that consistent of a Pokemon and, like... If you bring it in the back, which a lot of people do to stop Dendozo, and then they don't bring Dendozo, it's very exploitable. I, with no experience, I wasn't confident that I would be able to maneuver it well against strong players. So I didn't want to use Murkrow. I didn't want to use Haze. I didn't want to use Clear Smog because they can just block it with Substitute or um, or uh, Steel Typing. So I chose Meowskarada because it's faster than Dendozo at plus two. Maybe even if they're Jolly. I should actually check that. I should check that. Um, but it's really fast. It's faster than Adamant Dendozo for sure. It can crit. If we can bait the Terra out elsewhere, that's really good um and yeah it ignores the defense boost and has a positive matchup uh, as well so um how fast is dondozo max speed at plus two is 174 up to 190 meow scarada i think this is barely too low no meow scarada at max so meow scarada always outspeeds dondozo good job wolf that's great nice job me Oh, let me grab my watch. I just feel kind of naked without my watch, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody else wears watches, but for me, it's like if I don't have it, I just feel kind of naked. Anyway, that's the team. Um, I feel pretty good about... I feel good about where it landed, given... Uh, given how I played five games in total to test. One of them was only with Mousehold and DD Hydreigon. Two of them were with Mousehold and DD Hydreigon. Wait, sorry. I played three games with Mousehold, uh, Hydreigon and Goldengo. So it's three games with Mousehold, Hydreigon and uh, Goldengo. I played one game with DD Armor Rouge and then I played one game with the full team. Or like one team plus in DDR Rouge, one team plus yeah, um, Mascarada. So I have one game with this team total, uh, with like the final, with the with the final team, and the sets were different as well because I changed them because I theoried them as well. So, um, yeah. So I don't have a lot of practice, but I, I I like the theory. I don't think that this is a perfect team by any means. Um, I do not think that this is a perfect team by any means. But I, I, I hope that it is enough that I can use it. That's That was my... Some, sometimes the nice thing about being on a time crunch is it forces you to actually like... like I am someone as a team... One of my flaws as a team builder is I'm not really willing to... I'm less willing than most people to accept bad matchups. I'm always trying to fix all the problems and, and, and build, quote unquote, the perfect team or a, a, a great team. And... Um, some thanks to the time crunch it's nice to know that like this is most likely not a perfect team i have very little experience with this but it feels an easy enough to maneuver so that's that's the goal here the tournament structure let's talk about the tournament structure um i got added in the discord okay i think that this should be enough. i don't really know what's going on here um yeah so it's not a perfect team it's not a perfect team at all <clears throat> um 
but I think that it could be okay. I wish I and I wish I could have fit wide guard and armor rouge. Basically, like the things I was debating were play rough or U turn on Mias Grata, overgrow or Protan on Mias Grata, um, and then wide guard or protect an armor rouge. Um, I really want wide guard, I really do, but. I just don't think I can justify it is the truth. Like, honestly, I just don't think I can justify it. Like, basically, like, if I had more time, I would have been able to test whether or not wide guard um, is actually feasible here. Like, if I could afford to drop protect and armor rouge. But, the, like, so what I really would have liked to do is protect wide guard armor rouge and then trick room in DD. That would have been lit. People are asking why I didn't use Protea and Mias Grata. Basically, like, most of the time, so 90, probably 80% of the time, I'm clicking Flower Trick, maybe 75%, but most of the time I'm clicking Flower Trick, in which case Protean just turns off my dark typing, right? Which isn't super valuable, I would say. Um, right? It just turns off my dark typing, which isn't super good. Because, like, the dark typing, yeah, it's, like, weak to fighting and fairy, that's true, but... Like, it also gives me immunities to Psychic and dark, resistance to dark, dark and Ghost. And, like, what I don't want to have happen is, like, imagine I Flower Trick, well, then goes Partner, and then eat a Life Orb Shadow Ball and die, right? So, um, and the other percent of the time, I'm using Knock Up and Sucker Punch, sure. But most of the time, I'm probably clicking Flower Trick. And some of the time, I'm probably clicking U-Turn, in which case, Protean just gives me a small damage boost, right? So, the impact of Protean, I think, is actually not that big, uh, all things considered. So, um... Yeah, so I, I didn't think Protean was that impactful because the thing is with Protean, one of the main advantages of Protean is if you have, let's say it was Focus Ash or Life Orb Masquerada, right? Like if I anticipated I was going to take like a fire move, then I could use Knock Off and turn off my defensive, like my the weaknesses that I had to the type, right? But the thing is I'm choice banned, so I don't have the ability to switch types. So um, yeah, so because of that, um, because I don't have the ability to switch types, like uh it's not really that valuable it's like it's a lot more out of my control and it seems like a thing that can kind of like screw me over especially because again the majority of the time i'm just turning off dark type like protein basically says give up your dark type when you attack that's not that good right dark type is kind of valuable being immune to prankster is nice imagine like i don't know like i flower trick grimmsnarl a flower trick grimmsnarl survives and the next turn it thunder waves me you know what i mean or parting shot to me right i don't really want that to happen now the the thing is with uh overgrow is that it's not going to activate most of the time However, when it does activate, if Meowskarot ever takes a hit and is living with less than a third HP, having Overgrow Multiplier, Flower Trick, uh, Critting, Crit Multiplier, Choice Band Multiplier, and Potential Terror Grass and Helping Hand Multiplier means that you can do some absurd damage. Like, yeah. Someone says you better start winning tournaments again. <laughs> or what? What are you going to do about it? Huh, Punk? Huh? Oh, it's nine rounds of this. I thought it was eight. Okay, so I, I have nine rounds today. So I guess I'm, I'm probably going to be going until uh, at least 8 p.m. my time. Uh, one thing worth noting is that there are this is an open team sheet tournament. So this kind of export that you all are seeing, my opponents will be able to see it too. And I'll be able to see my opponent's uh, team sheets as well. So if you're ever wondering, hey, how come Wolf knows that the item on that Pokemon or the moves on that Pokemon or the Terra type on that Pokemon? Um, it's because it's open team sheet. So it's all public information. Not the EVs, they can't see my EVs, just like y'all can't see my EVs, but this this level of information is public. Which mons are you planning to unterrestrialize here? Um, all of them? And DD, probably not that much, but I mean, Terra Fairy and like pairing it with Hydreigon can be good. Yeah, I, I plan on terrestrializing all my Pokemon. Um, and DD is the only one that I might not do.
people are very curious about Overgrow versus uh, Protean. There's 400 people who signed up. 400... Oh, 600 people signed up for this. Oh my god. All right, well... Oh, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> oh, I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if we have a mod in the chat, do we have any mods in the chat? Because it would be nice to have... Um scores updated i don't know how to update score like a command that says like uh uh, uh standing or what's um record record <clears throat> come more at the tournament please how can i join or see when tournaments like this are happening happening i tweeted about this one so if you follow me on twitter uh tournaments that i play in, i will try and uh, announce that i'm playing in <clears throat> I'm like, so there's some things that I'm not so sure about on this team. Again, wide guard over protect it was a pretty solid, uh, pretty difficult decision. I don't love Habenberry on Hydreigon, but I originally had an expert belt and I made a spread for expert belt, but then I changed it because I was like, ah, I don't know, man. Like, ah, you know what I mean? Overgrown Meow would be better with a sash. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. That's a good point, but it's too late now. I've already submitted a choice band. Because, like, I think that, like, I think the thing is that, yeah, sash gives you a chance, like, is more likely to activate. Um, Sash is high, higher chance to activate. Do I even need Sucker Punch? Yeah, I do. Ah, I'm not actually sure I need Sucker Punch. Like, if I had more time, I would have considered... I wanted to play Rough on Meowth Garada. I just couldn't figure out how to fit it. Um, yeah, play Rough on Meowth Garada. Maybe a better Goldango EV spread, though. Frankly, I'm just happy to borrow one because Goldango is a huge pain to get. Gold There's some stuff in this gen that I'm just like, why would they make it so difficult? You know what I mean? All right, thanks for joining the channel. Oh yeah, I'll post after the tournament. Uh, after I'm out of the tournament, I'll post the full export, including EVs in the sub Discord. So make sure you have an eye on the uh, on the Wolf Zone channel in the sub Discord. If you uh, join them, uh, the channel on YouTube or sub on Twitch, um, you can gain access to the sub Discord. It's a really good place. Great place. Uh, there's a channel for raids. People are always doing raids together. Uh, it's a good place just to get involved if you care. If you like want a community that knows a lot about Pokemon, um, really good resource in my opinion. Um, four minutes on uh, from now till tournament start. Can you roar a dragon till Terramon? As far as I'm aware, you can. Can someone explain why you didn't keep the team for the last vid, please? Um, team from Finance, thanks for joining. Um, I didn't feel I was too weak to Murkrow. I, I didn't like having a super like I didn't like how well I had to play against Murkrow, especially in a best out of three situation. So I figured like also like just for you know we have 12 hours of, of footage with the last team i kind of wanted to like show off some different mons this is five new mons and mousehold is the same but it you, like this is a different set so it should function a little bit differently what's your opinion about skeleton i think it's good i think it's actually good i lost one yesterday Golden Go looks like a cheese string. I agree. Well said. I'm nervous. I want to start. What Paradox Pokemon are best for PvP? Paradox Pokemon are not currently legal in competitive Pokemon, so I, I actually have never used one or or caught one. Or, like, I guess I caught them in-game, but I never read, or you can't read them, but I never, like, trained one competitively, so I have no idea. But I think the consensus was that there a lot of them are really good. The Fluttermane is really good. I saw a lot of Brute Bonnet when I was testing my original team because the latter had them legal. Um, Brute Bonnet, Fluttermane. There's a, a bunch of them are good. Um... What are the other ones? I think Iron Hands people like a lot. I don't know how good that one was, but it seemed to be popular. Um, group on it, Iron Hands. I'm definitely forgetting some of the big ones, whatever.
All right, one minute. Okay, let's see if I can figure out my bearings. Dashboard. One minute. I don't really know my mouse hold damage, so I hope to get better at that over the course of the tournament. Should be starting any second. starting soon what are my odds of uh 0.99 to the 10 what am i all with oh, okay so it's a 90 okay so population bomb okay i have my round one opponent um sly abby <clears throat> How do I check in here? Cheetar, Garchomp, and DD Female, Armor Rouge, Murkrow, Rotom Wash. Cool, okay. Terra Flying, Terra Flying, Cheetar, but no. Sandville, Clear Amulet, Garchomp. Hey, that's good. Psychic Seed, Follow Me, and DD. Hydreigon looks really strong here. Uh, Goggles, Rotom, Covert Cloak, Murkrow. Okay, that's interesting. Um, How do I check in? Check in. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, I hope they don't no show. If four if they don't show up in four minutes, I get the auto win, and I do not want that. <laughs> I want to play. Okay, white herb armor rouge with wide guard armor cannon, expanding force and energy uh, energy wall. Haze tailwind brave bird taunt murkrow. Okay. Okay, I have a plan. Please, please, please show up. <clears throat> I think my matchup is pretty decent here. Hydreigon is really strong. I'm kind of glad I gave it a... Oh, it's no dark move on T-Tar. Okay. I probably shouldn't go Terra Poison in this game. Okay, they're here. Great. All right, chat. I'm, I'm not going to be looking at... Um... I'm not going to be looking at chat, even though you're 10 minutes behind for obvious reasons. Um, let's see. This is my first linked battle, so let's see if I can figure this out. The match over here. Um, link battle. Double battle. Let's use... Um... I'll just use the code because it's a sweet code. One, five, six, code. Okay. okay. Terra round, Terra normal, Terra grass, Terra flying, Terra. Oh, the Rotom doesn't stay. The Rotom washes Terra type is. Lumberry Titar. I don't have any status on my team. Okay, great. Good luck, have fun to um let me see good luck. Why Abby? Arm Rouge, Murkrow. They're probably gonna lead with Murkrow, is my guess. Murkrow and somebody. Fair ground. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I hope that they have the battle rooms downloaded, because I do not. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Official rules one. Okay, cool. Battle background music. We want this team. I have gold. I forgot I had Goldengo on my team. How good is Goldengo? They don't have a. Oh wait, Goldengo walls the T-Tar. Okay, that's good to know. Um, oh, Goldengo is actually really good here. Honestly, all my Pokemon are kind of heat here. Okay, I know which four Pokemon I'm bringing. I know what order I'm bringing them in. Lumberry T-Tar. All right, good luck, have fun. Let's see here. So I want to do Mousehold, Hydreigon, Goldengo, and Meowskarada, I think. Oh, I need my damage talk. Oh, here's my damage talk. Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and preemptively put Mousehold in. Talc against Garchomp. Oh, what's the Garchomp ability? That's kind of relevant, isn't it? Fanvale. Okay, great. So I don't have to worry about clear body. <clears throat> um, uh, rough skin. I definitely don't want the... Yeah, I shouldn't need, um... I shouldn't need to bring my, my Psychic type Pokemon here. I think it's going to be, I'm expecting not, like, I'm expecting basically all Pokemon brought to not be in DD or Armor Rouge. That's my hunch. <clears throat> it's good to know that a Goldengo Walls Titar. Um, Sandville, Clear Amulet, Garchomp. I don't have any way of lowering stats anyway, so there's basically Lumber is useless, Clear Amulet is useless. Half their abilities don't do anything versus me. Murkrow, Titar are the lead. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a clever lead, actually. Oh, I'm gonna go for Population Bomb into the Murkrow, I think, because I don't really want this thing sticking around, and I want... I'm not really that worried about the T-Tar at the end of the day. Like, it's gonna... It's really strong against my lead, but it's really uh, weak against my back Pokemon, so I'm gonna go for Population Bomb and Talent here, I think. <clears throat> yeah, Talent comes out. We have... As long as I match the Talent this turn, we should be fine. A Flinch would be bad. I'm expecting Ice Punch here. Oh, it's... Okay, T-Tar is slower than... Um, Hydreigon. Three, four, five. Murkrow's down. Okay, as long as I match Tailwind, this is fine, I would say. I do this is Ice Punch. Rock Slide. Ugh. Don't punch me, please. Okay, that was like the one way that I could really get screwed over. Okay, uh... Okay. That's really bad. That is super bad. Okay, um, I guess that works. Uh, okay. God dang, that's a really rough turn one. Garchomp, the reliable partner. Okay, this is Dragon Claw, right? It kind of has to be Dragon Claw or... I, I could Terra Poison here to take the Ice Punch. But it could be Dragon Claw into Hydreigon, right? Oh man, this sucks. Okay. Um I can't really afford to lose both Pokemon. Uh Ah, oh, dang. I really don't want to lose Hydreigon yet. This is a bad move, but I have to go for it, I feel like. Hey, okay. is it Ice Punch or is it Rock Slide? I don't think I live this. It's unfortunate. Okay. <sighs> Two turns left of Tailwind. That flinch turn one really screwed me over. Um, it's okay. We're gonna Calc. Be really close. Do I actually want to follow me here? I probably don't, right? I could just go Goldengo if I wanted to save Mouse Hold, go Goldengo, and then this might. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. The problem is also that Sandvale is up. What is that little green thing? Oh, it's my wand? Where's the rest of the wand? I'm not. Ugh, my inexperience is showing for sure. Hit him with both. This is kind of like Meow Squad or a bust, unfortunately.
That should be Terra flying, I think. Yeah, it's Terra flying. Okay, I anticipated this, which is good. Part of the reason I saved Mouse Hold, in all honesty. If I can just kill this Tyranitar or this Garchomp, I'm gonna be big chilling. I, I trust. Decaw into my Meowth Oh, is that overgrow range? Wait, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Bye, 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 yeah, having Mousehold still alive is kind of clutch. Because it all comes down to what this last Pokemon is, basically. And Teetar takes Sand Damage, which is just funny, in my opinion. Ah, oh, it's a lot less funny. Okay, this thing could go for Trick Room is the problem. And it's White Herb as well. Oh, dang. Okay, hang on. They actually are have kind of me here. Because they can, they can go for... Oh, they don't have Trick Room. I can protect them both. They also don't have Protect. Hang on, wait. Protect Goldengo. Protect Mousehold. They don't have Protect. They don't have Trick Room. This is the last turn of Tailwind. Wait, how fast is Armor Rouge? I think Mousehold's got a clutch up here. I'm not going to lie to you. Etar Protect. I could Encore that if I wanted. How fast is Armor Rouge? It is base. I feel like it's pretty fast. 75. Goldango is base. 84. I'm faster, which means I have not guaranteed game, but close to guaranteed game, I think. As long as Tailwind ends this turn, unless I've miscalculated something. Basically, this Tyranitar is Ice Punch, Rock Slide, and Iron Head, and Protect. So, what that means is that it doesn't have a way to hit my Goldango. So unless I miss Population Bomb, which is a 1% chance per attack. I just need a couple hits to put it in Shadow Ball range, basically. They've already, they've already Terrid. Double protect fails, it's fine. Please don't miss population bomb. Okay, one, two, three, four, one percent, five, six, seven, eight. Who designed this Pokemon? I didn't even need all ten hits. Oh my god, that's strong. Okay, I'm very glad I was timid, uh, timid Goldango. Being able to speed that was pretty big. Let's just use the same thing again. Technically, I could Encore and Guaranteed Win, but I think this is a forfeit. Oh, okay, yeah, and anyway, I don't want to... In case they forgot about Encore. It actually does a lot. Or That can almost one-shot Tyranitar. Okay, I missed. That's fine, though. It doesn't matter. I'm still faster. All right, GG. We still won game one. Okay, game one. Okay, win. Nice, okay. One more, one more game then. That was spooky. That was really a spooky start. Uh, turn one flinch. I could have gone for Terra Poison on Hydreigon turn two to try and get the Tailwind up, but I didn't think it was worth it because like, yeah. I do want to make sure that I've downloaded the rules after this. So, I mean, I definitely want to lead Hydreigon, right? I could lead it with the Meow Scarada, though. The problem is actually that this Murkrow has Brave Bird. And what I don't want to have happen is turn one. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's try this. Because the problem was against a T-Tar lead, I actually couldn't do anything with my lead. So I want to actually at least be able to threaten. Um... Yeah, I want to at least be able to threaten stuff. You know what I mean? This 
Especially because we know Meowth is faster than Tyranitar while Tailwind is up. And once Tyranitar is down, or if it's... Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, DDs, follow me, Psychic, Helping Hand, and Protect. This is a... I much prefer this lead, in all honesty. Uh, Psychic Seed. I have double dark type against uh, psychic type Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm actually going to do something interesting here. So I am going to use this. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Can I? They probably aren't going to follow me, right? I want to stagger the tailwind here. I'm going to stagger the tailwind. Hopefully they don't follow me. Okay. So this is a strategy called staggering tailwind. I also don't want to get them, let them stagger the tailwind. Okay, they just want to go for Brave Bird, which is why you turned. Oh my god, I could have just KO'd this thing. Okay. I am gonna give up my my air balloon here, which isn't ideal, but I think it's okay because of my Hydreigon uh, item. Because I didn't want Mousehold to take the damage, and I also didn't want to potentially drop my special attack a ton here. Brave Bird comes out. Well, Dango takes a lot of damage from that. A ton of damage. This Murkrow is strong. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, okay, we're going to go for Tailwind this turn and Nasty Plot. So we're going to try and clear both next turn. This should be Follow Me Tailwind, I think. Or ta Wait, is it even Follow Me Tailwind? They have to Tailwind this turn because I can just go for Make It Rain and Tailwind here, which would be a respectable move. But I want to clear Ndidi in the same turn that I take Murkrow. Oh, it has Haze. Okay, this was dumb. This was actually super, super stupid. That was, this is a bad move. I should have slowed down. I could have, I should have just gone for Make It Rain. That would have been fine. Other one for Psychic. Now the haze. Okay, I'm gonna dark pulse here into the Ndidi and protect. Uh, basically, what I want to do is I, I, I want to stall their tailwind turns because I have the chance to reset it, but they don't. I'm and I want to I want to KO Ndidi and Murkrow on the same turn. I don't want Ndidi staying alive when Murkrow goes down. There should be haze and protect. They want me to take out their Murkrow. They didn't protect. That's fine. It's still. I mean, Ndidi can't do anything here. Is the thing. The question is how much does this do? Okay, flinch doesn't matter. They're going for Psychic. That's their only damaging move. Um, I guess I just have to clear it now. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, I hit something with Make It Rain. Hey, okay, I'm honestly super happy to get damage on this thing, especially at neutral. Okay, yeah, good protection. I could have doubled here. I guess I could have doubled the Murkrow. You know, actually, in hindsight, so doubling the Murkrow is better here for one reason specifically. Um, and that reason is that if the Murkrow goes down, like if a DD protect, if the Murkrow goes down to dark. Oh, make it rain might not. No, 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 never mind. That wasn't. I'm, I'm wrong. Oh my god. Okay, now guard jumps in range of pop bomb and off uh, flower trick without terrestrializing, which is pretty big. I'm just going to make the same play again, I think. Um. I maybe should have Dark Pulse the Garch. No, I, this is still the correct move. Never mind. This is Titar. Murkrow. Oh, he, he. Are they going for Earthquake? It's happened very activating. Nice. Okay, I'm pretty bulky. Happened very. Okay, it looks like neither of us are going to get Tailwind up again. Dark Pulse comes out. Okay, no more Tailwind for them is much worse than it is for me because I still have both. Uh, I have my back Pokemon are faster than their back Pokemon. Also, with single target damage, this is going to be close to KOing, I think. Oh, I got Garchomp. All right, this is looking good. This is a 4v2 now, and Ndidi's low HP. And they can't reset Tailwind, and their Pokemon are unlikely to be faster than my remaining Pokemon. Psychic so Terrain leaves. Oh, we're out of Tailwind. Okay, cool. So I should be able to get guaranteed speed advantage for the rest of this game. Arm Rouge and indeed are the last Pokemon. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I do need to watch out for this expanding force stuff. Honestly, how do they beat Hydreigon? I'm just going to keep Dark Pulsing into the 
I'm just gonna double the um, armor rouge. Can't do anything to me. Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball. Might be worth investing a nasty plot here, actually. Because, like, minus two Shadow Ball is not gonna do anything. Oh, it's probably Terra Grass here, isn't it? Whatever, this is still correct. Still gives me flinch chance. Like, they, they just can't really easily get rid of my uh, Hydreigon. This game should be, I think, pretty, pretty good. Terra Grass. Okay, so it's Terra Grass on this thing, which means Meowskarat isn't as strong into it. That's really just a question of population bomb, and if I, if I can get rid of the Indeedee, okay. That was actually a really clever uh, attack, in my opinion. Because I, yeah. The, like, because I really want to get rid of this Indeedee, is the truth, but they're making it difficult. I am back to neutral. Armor Cannon comes out. Goes down. Okay. I'm going to go into Meowskarata here because I have Choice Band U-Turn. And I'm going to go for U-Turn here and make it rain here. I should have thought about that more, but it should be okay, right? I mean, they oh, they can't protect themselves. What am I doing? They can't. Okay, yeah. So, uh, and DD goes down to this and then Meowskarata should clean probably because they can't KO. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Okay. For a second, I was like, "What if they KO both expanding force and then they somehow live choice band?" Um, what's it called? You turn. The mouse hold who will not take an expanding force, but I think gold, without life orb, gold is good. I think and it's not terror psychic. I should take this. Also, this is gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, okay, I just win. Nice. Oh, didn't even need a terra. Nice. Well, GG's. That was definitely a very positive matchup for me. Cool. All right, nice job. Uh, good games for my opponent. Um, yeah, I, I was very uh, fortunate with my matchup there, I think. It was a very good matchup. Nice. Strong start. Would you mind editing this and making it a video? Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Just because you asked so nicely. Yeah, Terra flying on Titar is clever because, um, how do I make sure I download the right rules? Terra flying with, well, I mean, Tyranitar would have to run uh, Terra Blast, which isn't very good, I think. How do I download the rules? Open team cheat tournaments suck? No, are you kidding me? They're great. How do I download the rules or do they download automatically? Yeah, I mean, Tyranitar's weak to fighting and ground, so I think Terra Flying is kind of smart. Is there a way to download the rules? I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Um, we can show up the top end for anyone who joins late. Goldengo was pretty good there, in all honesty. Brad, thank you for the $30 difference. Uh, $30 donation. $30 difference, sorry. Somebody said world champ difference and I read it. <laughs> The nice thing about um, open team sh uh, sheet tournament is I won't, I won't, I, c I will know before I attack anything with, um, with Rocky Helmet. <clears throat> yeah, I really like Mouse Hold.
a charmander thank you very much for joining the channel i really appreciate that thank you thank you yeah so i think from that game like mousehold hydrogen was like how i started the team so i think it's like kind of a comfort lead for me but i think that like there i probably could have realized that mousehold wasn't in the lead right i mean because i have habenberry right so i really wasn't under any threat like i didn't need to lead mousehold it would have better to lead mascarada i think i liked the identification of the brave bird turn one uh and going for u-turn to counter that Who's best starter for competitive? So I haven't seen anyone use Cool Quavel, but both Meowth and um, Skeleturge have been used uh, to some success. Like I like Meowth so far from what I've used of it. And then Skeleturge I lost to yesterday and can be pretty strong. It's pretty good into Dundozo actually. Um, but the thing is that Cool Quavel should be strong. It has Moxie and a move that boosted speed, which I think should make it kind of powerful. So I think that like they all can be good. Oh my god, somebody added the Murkrow command. God bless you. God bless my mod. I don't know if that was one of my mods. Alright, let's watch. I wanna watch the video. I wanna watch the thing. Okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna react to it. I am gonna give up my, my air balloon here, which isn't ideal, but I think it's okay. Because of my Hydreigon uh, item. Because I didn't want Mousehold to take the damage. And I also didn't want to potentially drop my special attack on here. River comes out. So Dango takes a lot of damage from that. Okay, now I'm reacting. It's a ton of damage. This Murkrow is okay. strong. Now I'm reacting. What the heck? There's two of me. Yeah, we're going to go for Tailwind this turn. And okay, let's, let's analyze this. Uh, Tailwind and Nasty Plot. So, Ndidi protected turn one, there. right? So, I think here Should it would have be been better to go Tailwind, for Tailwind and make it Tailwind. rain. Wait, is it even follow me, Tailwind? Or alternatively, I could have gone for rain. Dark Pulse to make it rain and tried to stagger the Tailwind. Moves. I think that would have been better as well. In DD in the same that was kind of risky, right? Because Ndidi comes in, Garchomp oh, comes in, be... or Armor Rouge. I think I could have just gone Dark this Pulse to make it rain here into the Ndidi. Because really, the Ndidi is the thing I want off the field. And it would have taken two KOs. And like, yeah, I wouldn't have had Tailwind up. But well, what if they went to Garchomp? That would have been fine. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, it was safer to go for Tailwind here. But I should have gone for make it rain, I think. No, I don't even know if I was supposed to, right? Like, it's really tricky because if I go for Make It Rain here, they get a Pokemon in next to Ndidi for free, and they still have four turns of Talon left, and like... Now they Haze. I don't know if that's good for me. I think I want to match the Tailwind, because because my back Pokemon are okay. faster than I'm their back Pokemon, so... The I think there was a case uh, to be made for Make It Rain, but... I want to stall their Talon turns, because I have the chance to reset it, but they don't. I don't know if this protect was good. I, mean, I think it was okay to just go on the KOD offense. Like, I needed a Murkrow gone, right? Alive, if I go Murkrow Dark Pulse plus Mega Rain here, here, like, we get rid of Murkrow. Me to take out there. I got Murkrow? too fixated on installing their Talon yeah, when I Murkrow was sitting so Duck this turn. Yeah, I don't think this was a good... I don't think this was a good uh, protect. Although, getting DD, damage on DD was nice for sure. Lynch didn't matter. Thanks, Wolf. Um... I, guess I think about going after the Murkrow there, but I'm not sure it will KO. And because of the Psychic Seed boost, I'm not sure Mega Rain will KO. Which kind Indeedy of with plus one, since I'm like not very strong on Michael Dango. Oh, I hit something with Mega Rain. I guess, yeah, this is fine. Because in the worst case scenario, what they switch. I was kind of worried about getting stuck at... Get I just needed damage on Garchomp. Control. And Garchomp couldn't attack both Pokemon at once. Okay, yeah, so I think this is, this is okay. Here. I guess I could have doubled the Murkrow. You know, actually, in hindsight, so doubling the Murkrow is better here for one reason specifically. No, I don't think um, so, because Mega Rain might not have killed the Ndidi if Murkrow survived the Dark that, Pulse, and we didn't know. Like, if Ndidi protect, the Murkrow was not a Dark Pulse. We only hit Murkrow with u turns so we knew oh, it wasn't Mega that Rain bulky, no, no, and we knew no, it didn't, no, no, it was no, Covert no, Cloak. I don't know, this oh it ended up working God. out okay. Okay, now Garchomp's in range of Pop Bomb, and yeah. Flower Shrick without Terrestrializing, which is pretty big. I'm just going to make the same play again. Yeah, that was a good move, Wolf. Just keep going for damage here. Hydreigon was I really strong sure into this like team. No, I, Habenberry was actually pretty clutch here. I wasn't sure Habenberry was going to be good. And I'm, I'm still not sure it's going to be good in the long run. But for this specific situation, I would have been forced to terrestrialize into poison, oh, which like would have made my life a lot harder because it would have let Armor spam psychic attacks, right? Habenberry activating. But because of Habenberry, because I think this is a roll to kill. Like, okay. yeah, it did like almost half. It was probably like a roll to kill. Habenberry. Okay, it looks like neither of us are going to get Tailwind up again. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Okay, no more Talon for them is much worse. Yeah, no single target damage means make it rain chaos. Yeah, uh, my back Pokemon are faster than their back Pokemon. If it had lived here, I mean, I just would have clipped the make it rain, right? Chaos, like, I oh, I got Garchomp. All right, this is a I would have just, because once Garchomp went down, this it was, was pretty much sealed. Now and Ndidi's low HP. And I still have Terra Normal available yeah. in case I need to KO anything that's not Terra. Unless I need to KO anything, like Flower Trip. 
Flower Trick plus Terra Normal Pop Bomb is strong. Tailwind's end. Psychic Train leads. Oh, we're out of Tailwind. Okay, cool. So I should be able to get guaranteed speed advantage for the rest of this mm. game. Yeah, I think it's over from this point. We can watch the chat. Arm Rouge and indeed you're the one. I don't think I can make any mistakes from here. So, I mean, I do need to watch out for this expanding force stuff. Honestly, how do they beat Hydreigon? I'm just going to keep Dark Pulsing into the... I'm just going to double the um, Armor Rouge. Can't do anything to me. Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball. I think Nasty like, Plot is here is okay here. because the idea is that like, they have to... If they want to take out Hydreigon, they have... Like, Hy Goldengo's well, going to minus two, right? Here, isn't it? Whatever. This is uh, the Terra Grass was obvious. I could have gone for Draco, but to be honest, like, like I kind of like, 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 like Dark Pulse really here get rid of my, uh, because it has Flinch Chance. And I, in case Hydreigon survives, what I don't want to have happen is get stuck at minus two and not be able to kill the Ndidi. So, I like Dark Pulse here. Okay, so it's Terra Grass on this thing, which means Miascarada isn't as, as strong into it. That's really just a question of population bomb, and if I if I can get rid of the NDD, okay. That was actually a really clever uh, attack, in my opinion. Yeah, the helping hand there was really smart because I couldn't really afford to go after the NDD there because they I, I needed to just attack Armor Rouge. The, like, because I really want to get rid of this NDD is the truth, but because I, yeah, of course, if I get rid of the NDD, I just control. win. But I want to get rid of the Armor. I have to attack Armor Rouge because it can't protect, and if NDD protects, I don't. I can't really afford to waste my move. It goes down. Okay. Meowskarada is really good in this set. I'm going to go into Meowskarada here because I have choice ban U-turn. <sighs> I'm going to go for U-turn here and make it rain here. Yeah, U-turn smart. They can't protect that more, but it should me. be okay, right? I mean, they can't, oh, they can't protect themselves. What am I doing? They can't. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, and Didi goes down. I could have gone for knockoff here, but I wasn't sure it would KO. And U-turn into U-turn seems oh, smart, yeah. especially since I'm faster. No, I feel like this has got to be okay. guaranteed, second, right? Because like, they can't protect. Yeah, because like, Mega Rain damage is guaranteed down, and then, yeah, like, they can't do anything here. Okay, that, that was guaranteed. Turn. The mouse hold, who will not take an expanding force, but I think they'll, without Life Orb, Gold English code, I think. And it's not Terra Psychic. I should take this. Also, this is going to do a ton of damage. Oh, okay. Gold is so strong. I don't even have a Life Orb or anything. I'm not even modest. Well, GG's. Okay, back to me. That was definitely a very... Back to me. Back to here. Back to here. Okay. Now I just gotta go check the keep my eye on the match. Okay, we're about halfway halfway through the round. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That's what I do, baby. I'm gonna come back. It's gonna be muted. I'm gonna forget. Maybe by saying it, I won't forget. Okay.
Okay, I remember to unmute. Why not Palafin? I actually was trying to build around uh, Palafin, but um, it's really, it's like the ceiling is high, but the floor is low. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hard, it's hard to build around. Um, By the way, Protein actually came in clutch there. I was not guaranteed to KO Garchomp with Flower Trick game one. If I hadn't gotten the kill, uh, it was like a fifth, but actually the roll I think is like, let me actually, I don't want to give you bad information. Assuming it's four HP Garchomp, the roll is 56% chance to KO. So it's it's just slightly better than a 50-50 to KO uh, if I didn't have Protean. A lot of people before the stream started were asking about Protean. Why would you use Protean? What's the deal with Protean? Hey, what's the deal with airplane food? Um, And um, I tried to explain, you know, like, okay, yeah, like, Protean, like, like I like Overgrow more because Protean doesn't actually give me that much value. Whereas when Overgrow activates, it's, even though it's not always the value you get is huge. Um and yeah and that game it took us from a 50 percent chance 56 percent chance to ko to a guaranteed ko and that won us game one after that clinch turn one um i came in late can you explain the team honestly sure thanks for the dono um there were three compositions i wanted to match up well against the first was armor rouge and indeedy not because i thought it was the most popular or the most common that we ever we have played one of them um, but because I think it's like a little bit difficult to like eat with your play because like there's not that much counterplay to just follow me expanding force or follow me trick room expanding force. So I want to be really mindful about it. So I started with Mousehold and Hydreigon because Mousehold is one of the Pokemon that can KO around Focus Sashes because of the power of um, Population Bomb. Whereas Hydreigon is then a dark type uh, that can hit uh, Armor which is super effective. It's also immune to expanding force. Also, it gets Tailwind, which is really valuable. Um, that's where I started. Then I added Goldengo because I thought like, okay, well, like Goldengo and Hydreigon actually have perfect defensive synergy. Every type that each of them is weak to is resisted by the other. So they actually have pretty nice synergy. Um, <clears throat> then I added, I messed around for a bit. I, in the end, I went for DD Armor Rouge of my own because um, I like the idea of having both Tailwind and Trick Room options available. And they're just very, very strong. And like I said, like since a lot, it's like something that if you're not mindful of in building, you can lose to. I figured, yeah, like I don't have much time to build this team. I may as well just use something I think is strong. Um, and I feel like Ndidi is just a really good Pokemon. Ndidi also pairs with um, both Mousehold and Goldengo pretty well because they both just do a lot of damage and, and it's nice to protect them and Helping Hand also boost, like buffs their damage a lot. Um, and then um, I realized that I was weak too. So with these five, I kind of felt like I had a pretty solid good stuff like, uh, mode. Like I thought, okay, like I'm pretty okay into Murkrow stuff as we also saw in game one. Like I'm okay into Murkrow. I'm okay into um, Armor Rouge and Ndidi. I like have decent answers to Annihilate, which is something I'm worried about. Um, but I am still worried about Dondozo Tatsugiri strategy. And I also, but I can't, I couldn't afford to just run a Pokemon that like, <clears throat> basically like you don't really want to bring Armor Rouge without Ndidi. So like, let's say I want to bring Mousehold and Hydreigon and Goldengo to the same battle. I there, like I then would have to, oh, uh, thank you for joining the channel. Um, I can't pronounce that, but thank you. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, if I want to bring Gold Goldengo, Mousehold, and Hydreigon to the same battle, I could bring Ndidi as the last. But if I, I if I don't want Ndidi, I like I don't really like Armor Rouge without Ndidi because I'm using Expanding Force with Life Orb and stuff. So, um, if that were the case, then I, I okay, then I, I need the last Pokemon. It can't just be a D Dondozo counter. It can't just be something like Oblivious Terra Electric Dondozo, which we played against, for example, because that doesn't like mesh well with the rest of the team. So I was thinking about Pokemon that matched a bull into Donozo and could still be used like independently and I came up with Meow Scarada. went back and forth on focus Sasha choice ban but I decided I wanted the damage of choice ban Terra Grass and I decided on overgrow for reasons I showcased last um <clears throat> uh last battle where like because I'm choice banned you don't like because I'm choice banned I'm, I'm using Protan is pretty much exclusively giving up flower um flower to like giving up your dark typing because you're most of the time just clicking flower trick and when you click u-turn you just don't really take it's you give up a little bit of damage on u-turn but other than that Protan doesn't give you a damage boost uh on any of your moves except for u-turn which you know isn't that impactful most of the time and then that was pretty good last fight and then um yeah like you basically just use either give up your grass or dark typing because your choice band you can't use it to like mind game your opponent so in the end i decided that overgrow was better because when it does activate it makes choice band especially choice band terror grass flower trick on a crit super strong and as you saw there at one shot guard Tom. so yeah i think annihilate was really good i'll post the full team after the tournament in the, in the uh, sub discord so um yeah you're still in the tournament as far as i know that's something very surprising has happened to me 
I should just actually see the second round is up. Okay. 25 minutes left. Um, 190 out of 230 matches are done. So we have 40 matches left. A 25. The, ma the match will be. Uh, the round will be over in 25 minutes at the very, at the very least. We should probably add a Pertang command or uh, an Overgrow command. Do you still play TFT? I actually can't play TFT anymore. Oh, weird. I thought I heard something. Oh. Um. I cannot play TFT anymore because I have an unhealthy relationship with it. <laughs> because it's uh, more dog to too good of a job designing it. Why is my screen flickering? Oh, that must be the, that must be the page refreshing. I see. That's what 192 done out of 23. Um. So I can't play anymore. Be I, I gave my password to Aaron Trailer, and so I can't play anymore. He won't give it back. Um, let's edit the title. Oh, we don't need to do it. What do you think about Annihilate? Uh, I think it's really strong. I think it's I, I I think it's super super strong. I ranked it as the second best Pokemon, new Pokemon of the generation. Spoiler alert. Why would you take Hydreigon over Salamence? Um, Dark typing. I was worried about Hyd I was worried about Indie Armor Rouge and Dark typing helps with that. Okay, I don't want. To down and then yeah like and oh that is distracting i thought the sorry my bad when i dumped over myself i thought that the uh the past wolf was way quieter the next time next time i do it i'll mute myself i apologize it should be done soon i apologize ow You show the other team build i mean i guess yeah why not we have time right so this is the current team and then this is the old team guys i have a 10 minute delay so i can't like you if you take things in the chat i can't like you don't have to, like you know what i mean like you just said you just have to say it once like, if i'm not playing then i'll see it and if i am playing then i won't see it You can't spectate matches in a game as far as I'm aware. So this is the old team. It was solid, but uh, yeah, it's too weak to Murkrow. We played Murkrow round one. I didn't even really acknowledge it, but yeah, my 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 gut was that there would be Murkrow in this tournament. So to play it round one is definitely like that match would have been very difficult, very very difficult with Rotom Wash. Yeah, Rotom Wash plus Murkrow would have been uh, a problem, a major problem. I guess this is the point in the stream where I went to pee. So, 204 out of 233. 20 minutes left for the next round. I should tweet out that I am live. Okay. Um, now. Did you all like the video today, by the way? Have you all watched it? Oh, I gotta put this chat in. No, I gotta put the chat in sub only mode. There are nine rounds. I need to win seven to advance. Five minutes sub mode on. I've been streaming a lot. Are y'all are y'all proud of me? I've been streaming so much. I used to stream once a month. Sometimes once every two months. This tournament is hosted by Limitless. They have a pretty they have honestly a really good tournament platform. Okay, only 20 matches left.
I open the chat for the tournament and the first thing I see is I just hope I play Wolfie. Oh no, maybe they have Murkrow. And then I open my stream chat and the first thing I see is from Clefairy Arxy, I want to battle Wolfie. No, guys, no, just me, just little old me. No, you don't want to play me. Yeah, Terra Poison isn't a very common choice, but I actually think it's kind of like, okay. I think it's actually, I mean, I thought it was good. My friend said that I should use Terra Steel, but then you're still weak to fighting. Terra Poison, you resist Fairy, you resist Bug, you resist Fighting, which is something you don't get with Steel. And your only weaknesses are Ground, except you're not weak to that because you have Levitate. So your only weakness is Psychic, and you're immune to Psychic before you Terrestrialize. So you get some good resistances, and you kind of are like pseudo no weaknesses, right? Baron, thanks for joining the channel, buddy. Oh, make sure you join the sub Discord. You'll get access. My Dodonzo team is in there right now. So if you want to use this team, if you want to, if you want to use this team, complete with EVs and everything early before it's public it will be public for everybody once the video comes out um but if you want to use it early on showdown or whatever um you have the ability to do that uh, and after the tournament i'll post my current team this one in the tournament with evs and everything as well so in the server as well uh you know what i mean wait what happened scarlet what happened something good happened but i don't know what it is i guess i'll find out in 10 minutes that donation was 10 years ago that donation was 10 minutes ago <laughs> i have 10 minute delay on <laughs> there's a 10 minute delay <laughs> maybe exclamation point delay we should probably pin a comment i should probably pin a comment we should we <laughs> i should probably pin a comment with all the commands once we have them all only 17 matches left can you mod me no you're really using mid hold did you not see that you must have not seen that game this must be somebody who just joined Thoughts on switching Hydreigon with Murkrow? Um, I didn't want to use Murkrow. Using Hydreigon was a very intentional choice because I played against a lot of very talented Murkrow players in the ladder, but in my opinion, Murkrow is a little bit exploitable because against my team that I used, against this team, right? This team's entire strategy revolved around stat boost. So the reason why Murkrow was such a bad matchup is because although I made sure to have multiple strategies so that a single thing wouldn't counter all of them, and that worked for the most part, like I wasn't weak to Amoongus with this because I had this Titan mode, you know what I mean? I had a lot of counterplay to a lot of things. I didn't have anything to stop Haze because Denonzo, Tatsugiri, Satitan, and Flamigo are all built around stat boost. So only Mousehold, who's a support Pokemon, who supports the members, and Annihilate, who has one shot of final Gambit in him before he dies. Um, there's not a bracket yet, uh, Scarlet, because it's Swiss for, for now, um, as far as I know. Um, it was all revolving around stat boost. So Haze Murkrow was super, super good. But the thing is that like, let's say I had Dodonzo, Tatsugiri, and then four regular Pokemon, like Murkrow, like, let's say I lead with two Pokemon that are not Dodonzo, Tatsugiri. Now, if I'm the Murkrow player, I have no idea whether or not you have Dodonzo, Tatsugiri in the back, in which case, like, if I let Murkrow go down early, um, that would be really bad. Or if I don't have to, like, so let's say I switch Murkrow out to try and save it. Like, let's say I take a hit or like set tail one up and then like I have low HP and I switch it out and something else takes a hit on my team because I know I need to save Haze for later. And then I, and, like the other opponent just has four regular Pokemon, then your Murkrow is just kind of worthless, right? Because it doesn't do any damage and all it can do is tailwind. It's like, if the opponent is not going for stat up, it can pretty much only tailwind and maybe Brave Bird or Foul Play. And that's kind of it. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. So with that in mind, I was thinking about using Murkrow, but I was like, it's really exploitable, right? Like, it's, it's just like, it's really difficult to maneuver well. And though a lot of my opponents used it well, about half of them, maybe I beat uh, at least 50%, if not over 50% of the Murkrow that I played, which means that even in a match, even with a team like mine, which was an auto loss to Murkrow, I still beat half of them, right? And so with zero experience, zero time, and zero, like, not that much faith in my team, like, I decided that it'd be better to use a Pokemon that is overall more balanced at the cost of maybe a little bit, like, less of a positive matchup into Dondozo. That was my thought process. Only 11 matches left. 15 minutes left in the round.
did you build this with anyone else um i normally build with other people uh my friends marcus and Ju no trailer aaron trailer and justin helped me a little bit yesterday um but i just i like built this at very last minute i have i'm very grateful to my subscribers who helped me get this let me actually name them i'm just being i know um here. uh huge shout out to suiku visky kane winter yeah and uh aaron trailer for um letting me borrow slash have these pokemon very very grateful for uh to them yeah because i built this at like 7 30 p.m last night and i was like that this is definitely like top player privilege in pokemon is like having people to help you get pokemon in game because i could not have gotten all six of these on my own you release your EV spreads? I will. Yeah, I will. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to save it for the video itself. Um, uh, but if you, uh, if you join the channel, um, you, uh, you can get them early. If you join the YouTube channel, you can join the sub discord by using exclamation point discord, or if you sub on Twitch with Twitch prime, which is free. Um, though if you're going to pay $5, I'd rather you do it here. If it's all the same, just keeps, it makes it easier for me. Cause I don't really stream on Twitch anymore. Um, and matches left. um and then yeah i post everything after the tournament i'll post the full export of this team including the ev spreads you thank you for joining the channel i'm glad the new set is fun in tft when does next match start so at the very latest it will start in 13 minutes uh but there's only nine matches left so i'm hopeful that it will be done that i'll be ready sooner. this is a grassroots community tournament this is not a tournament held by uh the pokemon company make it clear any potential of a Kaiju for a graph? I don't think it's that good, but um, uh, Armor Tail for a graph, I think is kind of legit. What I'm gonna do, Donzo? Uh, I was tired of losing to Murkrow, so I built a team that doesn't raise its stats. Uh, I guess, you know, I guess I did add Goldango, and I guess I did get hazed by Murkrow last fight, but that's fine. The, this isn't this is a swiss tournament nine matches left so there's no bracket per se there will be a final bracket if i make it to tomorrow basically there are nine rounds today and if i win seven of them um i advance to tomorrow so i've got eight rounds left i've won the first one um yeah nine matches left I'm using a 10 minute delay because like being able to look at your opponents like i don't know how many of my opponents would want to would even want to join the stream but like let's say they joined let's say i had 30 second delay yesterday and if they wanted to join and then see um which pokemon i had in the back that would give them an advantage right um so i i for tournaments i, I did 30 the last time i did a tournament i believe i did 30 minute delay um so that they couldn't see which pokemon i brought like at any point uh for like that would be useful um but i thought that maybe that was a little overkill <laughs> So I uh, decided to do 10 minute delay. The video today was very good. Thank you very much. I think the next, so, so I, the videos for this week are or like the last video was I ranked every item. Uh, this one is I ranked every ability or like how good are the items? How good are the abilities? The next one is really, really well made, I think. Um, just like the editing on that one i think really really we really got because this is a new style for us this, this method of recording um this one is not scripted for my videos like most of my videos for the last year have been scripted and now we're trying to experiment with like edited but unscripted and um i think we're like honestly i can't really take any credit but like um doug i think really found a, a rhythm with this one i really like it um the the moves one and i think that i delivered a little better bit better as well i think i found a better format for it so it's cool because like um h fang thank you very much for joining the channel <clears throat> um i i am something that i'm really proud of is i feel like i am i am 
all like I, I i'm really good at not getting complacent with my content like i don't know if y'all like ever go back but even like six months ago my content is significantly better now than it was then at least in my opinion in a year or two years or three years it's almost unrecognizable and so basically i guess just we got hey this is just like a just chatting stream at this point right like um let's check the numbers eight matches left 10 minutes left in the timer less than 10. um basically like for me i'm it's like i started out doing youtube and i was completely unscripted like record for you know 10 20 30 minutes talking directly to this camera never watch it back and just upload straight to youtube like very raw very unprofessional very unfiltered i think that it felt very um personal to people it was and i, I didn't feel like i was like playing a character or anything you know i just like it was literally i would just start talking i would just talk about what i thought um and then uh so i did that so let's do yeah let, let's do a little backstory why not so that's when i quit my job basically let's go back let me organize this better in late 2019 i was a full-time employee working at a government uh, at a consulting company um th th that was working for the government i was really unhappy there to be completely honest it was not a good fit for me um and so i was there for a, over a year i was looking for a new job i found this place i was like really excited about the place um they actually it actually could have worked well with my content because they are a stock media company kind of like a shutterstock competitor um i applied there like i remember like i really thought i did a good job in the interview um and you know I, I talked to them a bunch and they they liked me a lot but they were like listen you don't have the technical skills like they were looking for somebody with like more data science experience than me or like maybe more coding experience oh hang on got a donation uh jake thanks so much um for the five dollar dono um people ask me to do stream rating viewer teams and i just don't think that it makes that good content like i wouldn't mind doing it but yeah oh jarvis thank you so much for the five dollar super sticker i really appreciate that hope you're doing well buddy um okay let me let me take a break so i i applied to this company they were like hey, this is like october i want to say and they were like hey we really like you um we're not sure that you're a good fit for this role but we expect like a new role to open up soon that we'd love to have you for and i was like great that's my plan and that might have been in august actually so we kind of talked for a couple months and like there's some internal thing and the, the position that they thought that um that um having wolf thank you for joining that, that the, the position they thought was going to open never opened and so i was like man this sucks like i'm still at my job that i really don't like i'm trying to get out um i thought i was gonna get this job i really like the environment i really like the people whatever anyway then sword and shield come out and i um start working i'm so i'm working 40 hours a week but i'm still posting a video every single day so i'm like grinding right and i'm posting a video every single day uh i make a video with alpharad um uh with the dracovish team and it kind of like low-key blows up a little bit like it, for me at the time it 100 it blew up it was my most viewed video for a while um and um yeah like like i got like a ton of new exposure and it really started me momentum and it got to the point where like i was like making more from youtube than i was from my full-time job and i really wrestled with the idea for a bit i was like should i quit my job to do this thing and i talked to my family it was a really difficult decision for me because like i guess if you don't know my background is in data science i have a degree uh, in computational modeling and data analytics which is basically a fancy way of saying big data and a dual degree with economics and a minor in business these are all undergrad to be clear but like i have like a computational background i would like have some experience with coding though i hate it like I was in like a pretty i was in like a, a field with i was in a huge company that like i could you know work my way up and like i could see my future basically and i was offered an opportunity to step off of the path and it was scary it was like you know i was like it was a risky decision and i'm pretty risk averse as a person and so i really wrestled with it for a while probably over a month i spoke to everybody i knew everybody i trusted i got a lot of advice and in the end i was like okay i'm i'm gonna do this i hate my job what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna step away for six months i didn't tell anybody i didn't tell you all this i was like i'm gonna quit my job I'm going to try and doing YouTube full time for six months, give it my best shot. Um, and then go back to the working world. Like I'll take like a, basically a six month hiatus, put as much into this as I can, and then go back to the working world. And that was February 28th, 2020. So, uh, unbeknownst to me at the time, a week or uh, two weeks later, at the latest, I was in full, we were all in full lockdown. COVID hit the, hit the country. Um, um, and so uh yeah so my life ended up being very different so not only was i was i you know transferring to being self-employed having only ever done uh you know traditional employment but also i was learning to live in a, in a pandemic so basically i for the next year um i tried to figure things out i was posting a video every single day but i i wasn't really able to my style of kind of just doing whatever i wanted and, and not really putting too much effort in that was fun for me it was fun for me when i was doing it once a week but when i was doing it every single day it kind of got it just kind of felt like a grind you know like i i wasn't able to spend the amount of time on each video that i thought like it like to make it like to make it something that i was proud of it was and it was always about the concept it was always about the title it was always about the thumbnail it was never about the video itself you know it was never about like how good is this video gonna be it's like okay how can i 
make what what can i even talk about tomorrow what can i do tomorrow so i did that for a year in december of 2020 uh, i was super burnt out um and two matches left i was super super burnt out and i was like i was not doing well to be completely honest and i went home to be with my family for like the holidays um and i got home and my laptop like the microphone that i was using broke and keep in mind i uploaded every single day even during some times there i was like really not really like to be honest like some of the like a, some real lows i made a couple like skits and the reason i did that is because i just like i was doing really badly and uh i like couldn't do a real video but i still wanted to post something so i made like a little you know 30 second skit that's where that came from people love the skits but like that came from me being in a really bad place anyway so i go home my microphone breaks and i was like i'm taking this as a sign I need to take a break so I took like a month off uh I needed to like do some like a reflection it was clear that things weren't working but I was so I was just so burnt out um and I talked to my friend Justin who is one of my best friends and I was like man I'm so burnt out I'm so lost I don't know what to do um and Justin really he sat down with me and he's like listen like let's figure this out and so we talked for a while he was like I think you need to I think your content style isn't working for you I think that you need to find editors like I've um Justin's not only a friend but he watches my content which is super helpful um and um yeah he was like i think you need editors and i was like dude i've tried to find editors but every time i i do it i get like 100 dms on twitter um and um yeah like i get like 100 dms and i don't know how to identify which of them are, are worth what are like are, are gonna mesh with me you know what i mean and he was like hire me i will go through everybody for you i will i, I guarantee you i'll find you good editors and i will also come up with like ideas that you can do for like different styles of content so i was like sure so i hired him um he found two incredible truly like not average not above average like not even in the s tier like the like the like these guys are like the lower than one percent two incredible editors um wit and Sility. they both still work for me uh to this day wit is actually my producer um because he's an incredible editor but now he also like i wanted to give him more strategic um like big picture uh responsibility as well very good decision nice job past me um uh yeah so they both they, I brought them both on but I had never made edited content before so it was a lot of fumbling around what's incredible is that I would so I started writing these scripts right I was like I'll try scripted content didn't watch didn't watch any scripted content on YouTube like didn't like didn't use anybody for inspiration like didn't do any research just like was like I'm gonna write a script basing it off of nothing just like wrote a script I would write these six seven eight nine ten page scripts and I would give them to Sility with no comments on the script no face cam literally just audio and I was like hey can you make this a video which look I didn't know at the time but looking back is a, a ridiculous ask that is not something that it, you can ask of a, a normal person and he knocked it out of the park he did an he did like an unbelievable job like a lot of the style of the channel today is because Sility sat down and like made something really good with zero direction from me and I was I didn't even know I didn't know what I was looking for I couldn't even give feedback like this is good this is bad I really had no idea right because I wasn't basing it off of anything I had no I had no vision I was like my 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 plan was like I'll write a script and then I'll record it and then it'll be a video and if it's good it's good and that was what happened like that's literally what happened um so over the next year it was a lot of kind of figuring out uh scripted content and, and how that works with me we have a minute and a half left so I gotta wrap up the story um should I try and rush the story or should I just should I I'm gonna pause po story put on pause because uh yeah um I'm tweeting out this out yeah I'm gonna put the story on pause so we were basically uh, we're like talking about 2020. oh shoot Coney resigned oh my god I feel so bad for everyone who works at Panda oh man after next match I need to recruit for my water 45 seconds to the next match Thanks very much for uh, joining that AZN.
All right, time is up. I'm out. Okay, next round should be starting shortly. My messages. Kevin, thanks for joining the channel. Really appreciate it. Round two should be starting shortly. I should caught a shiny Pokemon that you use, but don't have the shiny and Eevee I return the way you want. Would you use it? I, I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know how much I'll use this team after I finish this uh tournament. So um Uh, yeah, so I'll let you know the best way to give me like basically like oh, oh why did I refresh? No, 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 no. Okay, it's fine Basically like um, I normally I don't really care if my Pokemon are shiny or not. Where did the link go? Oh, I messed up that doesn't close into the back um, All right Basically, I just I just ask in my sub discord um Oh, this looks like there's an issue with the thing. Oh, I drank too much water. <laughs> oh, I have to pee, but the next match is going to start soon. Oh, man. I have to pee. Oh, do I really have to pee or am I just nervous? <laughs> Okay, next round question mark? Again. Oh. Soon, soon, soon champ. I should have just finished my story. I should have finished my story. I guess I should have known I wasn't gonna start immediately. It looks like there's a problem. Okay, five minutes to the next round. Okay, I'm gonna pee. The, uh, the tournament organizer said five minutes. Which is enough time for me to pee and listen to my messages from my friend Don and voice messages. Okay, I'll be back uh, next round five minutes.
sorry for the delay uh i have a friend who is one of my devices and he's in voice messages so i listen um anyway i'm back we have two minutes i apologize that there is not continuous action here i will try and keep between um between rounds as entertaining as i can kale thanks for the dono luke forever joshua thank you for joining the channel really appreciate that The YouTube videos have been bangers lately. Thank you very much. We've been working really hard. Exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. Almost ready. We should be going any second now. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, this is a player. This is a, a player I recognize. Murko Garchomp. It's a similar team as the last one, but they have Amogus. Rocky Helmet Amogus. Uh oh. Okay. Sash Murko, Protect Tailwind, Haze, Foul Play. Um. Spec Skuldango with Power Gem Trick, Make It Rain, and Shadow Ball. Oh, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Aya Papa Arcanine. Oh, Helmet Among Us is a problem, chat. It's a big old problem. Steel Ground, um, Grass, Electric, Water, and then Murkrow's probably dark. Yeah, dark. Uh, okay, let's do the code. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky, I think. Okay. Sash Murkrow, Spex Goldengo, Orb Garchomp, Orb Garchomp, Ugh, the rough skin Orb Garchomp, Arcanine, Rotom Among Us. Okay. Okay, good luck, have fun. Oh, they literally put GS Cup in the game. That's cool. Okay, let me uh, move everything around. This is a bit of a difficult matchup because of the Goldengo and the Among Us. Uh, official rules one. Oh. Oh, interesting. So we actually might know the, the upcoming rule sets. That's cool. I would like to figure that out at some point. Oh, I do have Meow Skirata, to be honest. This is honestly really tricky. Uh, Spectacle Dango with, with, um, uh, yeah, Spectacle Dango's a problem, in all honesty. Protect Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide. Okay. This Goldango is a huge problem. Um,.
How about this, huh? Hydreigon looks decent here. Um, is Meowth Karate even good? Not really, right? I don't know if I bring Tandem Mouse here, is the truth. Um, I have Papa Berry Arc. Arcanon's probably not coming here. It's not very good to me. Yeah, they're bringing Goldengo, Garchomp, Amoongus, Murkrow, or Arcanine. I don't know what to bring here. Um, I want the Steel Resist. Okay. What a drag, chat. What an Omega drag. What a Turbo Omega Ultra drag. What a pain. Oh, man. Like Zoink Scoob. This gold angle is a problem. Merc Chomp? Okay. Any Murky Chomps in the chat? I could go for the Tailwind here. Murkrow has foul play. Uh, I can't imagine this goes well for me. I can't let Specs Goldingo get in, right? Hmm, I can let it. I don't love this. Okay. This is probably just Declaw. Slide. Oh, they're not going for Tailwind. Don't flinch. Please, Hydreigon. Not again. They crit me. They take Life Orb Recoil. Hydreigon. Okay. Really important. I'm just super clutch. Not going to lie. Okay. The crit sucks. It really does. Um, Goldengo probably comes in here. Yeah. And they have a choice. They can either go for Tailwind, make it rain, or they can go for Tailwind, Shadow Ball. Something's dying on my side. I just don't know if it's... Um, I just don't know who it is. Probably Shadow Ball, right? Ah, uh, I should have just switched. It was so obvious. It was super obvious. But I didn't go for it. Oh, I needed to keep uh, Armor alive. Okay, let me think about this. Um, and GD definitely comes in here. Ash Murkrow. Get the special event boost. And GD's kind of the key to this match, I think. We're gonna Draco into the Murkrow and we're gonna Psy Shock into whatever this is. Because they uh Shadow Ball's not that good. They really want to switch, yeah. There's specs. Moongus, okay, big uh Psy Shock here. Take a meteor. Big damage. This is Psychic Train boosted single target damage. It's faster than me. Okay. It's Rocky Helmet. So if this does 66%, we're in good shape, I would say. Okay. I could just go for the double. They're probably going to... They probably don't want to let my... This is a very risky move. But I don't think that they want to... Um... I don't think they're going to spore me here. I'm going to make a call. I'm going to make a read. Okay. 
I think this is rage powder. Oh, they got me. They super got me. Did they get me? Yeah, they got me. Did they get me? I can't even tell. They protect, okay. I protect, but it fails. A huge failure there. I'm gonna go from uh there's not really much point in Terra stealing, right? There actually is a slight point. I really want to make the read here, but I'm gonna go for Terra Steel, make it rain, and protect. They're gonna Terra Steel here as well. I think they're gonna switch Murkrow into Among Us. Because I don't I think they want to keep Tailwind and um the they want to be able to reset the drops, I think. Oh. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad Among Us goes down here, in all honesty. They're going for Specs, Terra Steel. This is going to do remarkable damage, unfortunately. Truly uh, ridiculous damage. Oh, it's me! Oh, I have Tailwind up. I forgot. Oh, it's okay, this guy. I, I, made, I, knew, I knew that I had Tailwind up when I uh, made my move. I just didn't know that I had it up when, uh, <laughs> when I... After I already selected my move. There's a lot to keep track of, sorry. Okay, and GD protects. No protect from Murkrow. But there were no drops. Oh, my special defense boost. Okay, I mean, we're at least speed tying and I might be faster. Not very much damage. To be honest. How much is this gonna do? Need this, to, this is Specs Terra Steel, so it's going to do a ton, unfortunately. Jeez. Okay. Uh, that's not good. And Amoongus. How much does Amoongus have left? My air balloon, no! The question is, were we speed tying this whole time? Are they timid or are they modest? Because if they're timid, this might be doomed. Okay, let me run a calc here. Uh, how much does Ndidi take from... I thought this was Armor Rouge, and I was about to throw up. Okay. Ndidi, high custom set versus Armor Rouge. This is basically neutral. Uh, no, versus um, Full Dango. I can't remember. Mega Range should not kill me. But Mega Range should not kill me. Even if it's modest. Okay, in which case, did I calculate this correctly? What if it's modest? Okay, I might have calc wrong. I feel like something is wrong. Okay, well, I, this is the right play, I think. The only question is, do I survive? Come on, Amoongus, please survive. Or, uh, NDD, please survive this. I calc wrong. No, I didn't calc wrong. Oh my God, really? I actually had it, I survived. Oh my god, that sucks. I would have taken on Amoongus and won the 1v1. And I do not think Hydreigon can survive this. Oh, I would have won. I would have taken out Amoongus and had a helping hand Dark Pulse. Man, what a way to go. All right, it's minus two and it's voice effects. I think it's slower than me. This is Hydreigon. No target. It's... Yeah, I can't survive this. That sucks, dude. That's ah, okay. Okay, I just have to figure out how to win this one. I even got the turn one correct, which is a problem. Like, this Goldango is just really hard to deal with. Man, I even played really... I'm really, truly proud of how I played this, too. Um, oh, interesting decision. Okay. If I get the flinch... It has rage powder. Yeah, I can't win this. I would need a crit, and uh, I would need to pull this out. Oh, wow. I don't want to win this. Okay. Oh, man. That is a really unfortunate way to go. I actually was in a really good spot. Not for that. Okay. Try again. Okay, it's okay. It happens. Um. Yeah, no, it's calculating correctly. Okay. Yeah, it was gonna do. Uh... 
Yeah, we'll just we'll do like 40%. Okay. I'm just okay. I can definitely win this. Um. Ah, uh, would have been nice to win game one. And then, I guess my other. All right, I have a vision here. The problem is that now I'm on the back foot. This sucks. I want to lead with Meowskarada, but I can't really afford to, is the truth. I have to lead with this. It's my only option. Um, That sucks. Okay. It's going to be tough. Losing a game one in a bad matchup is just really uh, not, not ideal, but it's okay. I might be able to do something here. Then go and chomp. Okay. Interesting decision. Interesting lead. Um. So I gotta think about this. Like, I want a Tailwind here, right? Because they, they have Murkrow in the back. I think this is probably just a switch to Murkrow and maybe go for Earthquake. Tom. Oh. Ooh. Hold up. Are we Bing chilling? Please don't flinch me. This earthquake. Please don't flinch me. Oh my god. I hate car jump. Please miss. Please don't flinch, Hydreigon. If we don't flinch, we can win this immediately. Okay. I think we're in good shape here. Uh, electric. Okay. We're actually in really good shape. Let's just go on the offensive. Let's just do it now. Do it now, Gohan. Give up our Psychic Resist, which could be a problem. Let me just confirm that I click the right buttons. Just do Ndidi. And then... Hera... Do I even need Hera here? I better go for it. I just don't know what's going to happen. Well, comes in what their last Pokemon is. Citrus plot, Rotom. Hey, is it Murkrow? It's among us. They have no speed control at all. Like zero, not a result, nothing. Check. Um, versus Dango. Okay, this is a really good position. Well, Dango comes back out. I could just armor cannon and get rid of this thing. But I'm gonna take the guaranteed damage instead because I have speed advantage and I have um, Meows in the back. I will go down to a, yeah. Let's see how much this does. It should do a lot is my guess. Yeah, they go for the double, but they fail it. That's really good. Die, 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 die. Okay. Not dead, but still good. Okay. 
I'm definitely dying to this. Uh, Armorage is definitely dying to this, I should say. Yeah, yeah, that was with this. Yeah, I would have lived last game. I don't know. It's modest for sure. Armorage goes down, but it's taken out two Pokemon, so it's kind of done its job. Does Ndidi pick up the KO here is my question, because I would like to avoid revealing my last Pokemon here. Uh, Ndidi, my set, High Shock, with the Helping Hand, Psychic Crane, it does not pick up the KO. Okay. So instead, what I will do is I will Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is Terra Ground. They have not Terra yet. I did a little bit of damage already. This should be the last turn of Tailwind. Yep. I hate... Nope! Oh my god. <laughs> Why why did it let me do that? Good thing Indeed in the left slot or else we would have had a problem with the Dark Pulse here. Back, fine. Tailwind's gone. Nice Terra. Oh, okay, that guarantees it. If I have Meow in the back. Orb. Clinch, okay. Oh, this is gonna happen at some point. I guess this is dumb because I'm trying to. Please don't clinch here. I drop. Please attack. Just don't don't make me reveal my last Pokemon. Okay. All right, that should seal it up. Um. Psychic like train. We can just go helping hand Dark Pulse. This should pick up the KO. I just don't want to reveal my last Mon here. So next game they bring Garchomp. They bring the same thing as they brought game one, which is Murkrow, Armoru, or Murkrow, Garchomp, um, uh, the dude, and then nice. It didn't matter. I had Mias Guard on the back. Also, it shouldn't have mattered anyway. Strong move. All right, I won game two. It's a shame that game one went the way it did because, yeah. Unfortunate. I have one idea here basically to try and get past this. Um I have two ideas here actually. Okay, I can I have kind of a vision here. I have two options here, basically. I know which four Pokemon I'm bringing. I always bring high, I bring the same Pokemon I brought last game, but they don't know that I had Meowstarada uh, in the back. Basically, I I think that this game they're gonna go Murkrow, Garchomp, Amoongus, Sus, and um. And Goldengo. 
so my options turn one against that are to either switch armor rouge into miascarada if i expect earthquake or i have a, i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for it it's a little risky i think but it could pay off big big mode Hmm. Well, Dingo Murkrow, okay. Interesting. Interesting, okay. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna switch to Ndidi and protect. Am I gonna switch to Ndidi and protect? That's a really, that's actually a really dangerous lead for me. Um, this Murk has a problem. I need speed control. The question is, are they make it raining or are they just going to shadow ball me? This is my most important Pokemon. I really don't want to let it go down for free. This is a bad move. They're going to make it rain. This is a really bad move. This is an obvious make it rain play. They're just going for damage. They think um I should just trick room tier probably. Because I can just donate the drops. Yeah, press steal. I knew it was coming. I like was just too scared to commit. This can do a ton of damage. Might still be winnable though. I have an idea. Oh, actually, I have a couple ideas. It might not be doomed. That one. Yep. Make it rain. A ton of damage. Okay. So much damage. Okay, I protect. And trick room. Need to trick room. It's actually the Merker who ends up being really annoying here. If you can believe that. Haze. Okay, drop it away. My boost goes away. It's unfortunate. Can do a ton of damage. Okay, a lot of damage. And two of Tailwind. All right, this isn't great because my back Pokemon are pretty fast in all honesty. The question is who they, they probably have Among Us in the back, right? And Chomp. Um, Murkrow foul play definitely KOs me. It's the problem. I need to get rid of this stupid Murkrow. <laughs> um... This is a terrible move. This is truly an abysmal move. I don't know what I was thinking about this. <sighs> oh, they stayed in. Golden goes down. Okay. This is a terrible move by me. I should have just follow me. I mean, having Hydreigon alive is a pretty big deal, though, to be completely honest with you. Oh no, Pollen Pods is super strong and too. Please stop playing my Among Us. My, uh, no. Yeah, th I should just follow Mead. I super shouldn't just follow me. There's one turn left of Tailwind here. Um, I'm in big danger, in all honesty. They do still have Tailwind up. Basically, the problem is that they have a Moongus in the back, right? Okay, so 3v3, but I'm, uh, the Trick Room has actually super screwed me over here.
I turn the of everything. This is not good. How many turns left? I, I forgot. Uh, it's going to be close. Three turns of trick room left. Start taking sleep turns. Oh, they got me. They super got me. Oh. Oh, no. I'm done. Nice play. Yeah, nice play. <sighs> bad, 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 bad. Okay, I have an idea still. Um, and it's called Dark Pulse into Murkrow and Follow Me. Get some damage down. Problem is that Meowskarata is four times weak to uh, Bug, <laughs> so Among Us is actually a pretty big problem here, in all honesty. Topley comes out, Steven Didi goes down to this. It survives, that's actually not great. Okay. Weird Psychic Terrain's gone. Okay. <sighs> I like need to switch, right? But if I eat a Pollen Puff, I'm just screwed. There's no way they Pollen Puff me here, right? They don't they they think that they think that my last mom and mom is goldango that's what they're playing for here right so i'm gonna have to play knowing that in mind oh it's a murkrow oh no Okay, hey, Falcon's alright. Just so much damage. Trigger is up. Okay. It's gonna be really tight. Oh, no. Hopefully this is not max speed among us. I don't see why it would be. A lot of damage. Please kill. No! Flinch! Okay. Uh. We're stalling tail in turns, Copium. I could have Draco'd, but I couldn't really afford to Draco there. I just need to wake up. There's nothing else for it, right? I lose. I super lose. Barring something truly ridiculous here. Uh, it's, a, it's game over, I think. Setting the second doesn't help me. I need a one-turn sleep on Hydra for sure. Hey, they just stayed in. They pull and puffed. Shoot. Oh, that's not good. Okay. A lot of damage. Wasn't even able to terrestrial here. I think I live a dark uh, uh, thing, though. Oh, it's kind of just doomed regardless, right? I need to get Tailwind up this turn, and I need to... Okay, this is my only option, basically. Because I need to survive this. I need to wake up in one turn with Hydreigon. It, it comes down to one turn sleep, basically. I have a 33% chance of winning this game, assuming their last Pokemon is Garchomp. No. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think, honestly, I played this pretty well. Um, I actually think I played this pretty well, in all honesty. Yeah, like because if I get Tailwind there, be, I, I have a chance at winning. I think it was a really tough matchup. The Goldango was really hard. Um, maybe it's a Speed Tycopium. 
I mean, I may as well, if it's a speed tie, I may as well go for it, right? There's no way to speed tie. Parker would have to have like zero speed investment. Um, Dragon Claw can't miss. Yeah, Murkrow once again, my, my Arch Nemesis. Uh, I, I played badly. I can't blame anybody but myself there. It's not a speed tie. Or I guess that's not the thing I was thinking about. Yeah, Hydra good. It doesn't survive that. And it's rough skin anyway, actually. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that one's on me. I don't know. The game one is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, I speed tie. Yeah, um, hmm. I got a little bit too cute in game. Although, honestly, like, it was just really difficult, right? Like, I needed to make a call turn one. I needed to call that. Like, I got both Shadow Ball calls wrong, game one and game three. I probably just needed to get the call correctly. I think what I could have done there is realize that, like, yeah, it was just, I think it's genuinely just an inexperienced thing there for me. Um, I think if I had more experience in the matchup, it would have been, um, just, uh, yeah. If I had more experience in the matchup, I think I probably could have realized that even, like, I could go for like uh, armor cannon tailwind turn one and even if i lost them it's just so tricky right i needed to like hard commit i had to probably go armor cannon protect turn one that was actually like but i didn't have enough experience playing that i could identify that i think was a problem that's unfortunate that's okay. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Would have been nice to win, but it's not the end of the world. Also, I didn't think that zero attack IV would matter, but it actually made a big difference there because none of my Pokemon have zero attack IV. Uh, okay. That was a really bad... The specs, Goldengo plus Tailwind. That's... I, and, you know, I mentioned before the tournament I wish I had Wide Guard and something. Would have been very helpful there. Trick Room and DD and Wide Guard would have been super, super good. Dashboard, let's see. Oh, uh, there's still only 26 matches left. There are no 46 matches. Oh, that was a rough one. What did I do wrong? I would have liked to find a way to do this. The Amoongus and Honchkrow actually put out a lot of damage against me. But I don't think bringing Goldengo was the answer is the thing. Like, basically, I could have gone for turn one Protect Trick Room if I wanted to hard read the, the call, which I, I have the ability to do. I could have gone Protect Trick Room turn one, and then the problem... Like, that's what I needed to do. But the thing is, if I eat the Shadow Ball, I'm just dead. <laughs> um... Yeah, if I eat the Shadow Ball there, I just... It's just like I'm, I lose my best... My Basically, I think if I eat the Shadow Ball there, I just insta-lose. Protect Armor Cannon could have worked, but it's the same thing, right? If I eat the Shadow Ball, I just die. So, um... So what could I have done differently? Because <sighs> maybe by reviewing, I can um, play better for the next round. Like, I couldn't... Leading my own Goldengo doesn't do anything because I take too much damage from, from... I think I brought the right Pokemon. Truthfully, I really do. Oh, man. The Amoongus... Should I have gone for Draco there at the end game? Let's say I go for Draco Meteor. I lose 10% on, on on miss. So let's, let's, say, let's say I hit. Knockoff does a ton of damage. I'm at... I survive... Mungus goes down. What was the position? Maybe it's on. Okay, I'm rewa oh, let's rewatch this together. I'll, I'll mute it this time. 
because here's the okay so here we go in, in dd we go in dd and they go into amoongus trigger missile up and all three of my all three of my pokemon are super weak to bug normally they were in clear smog so if this were clear smog it would have been fine but it's not clear smog i want to double the among us but in the end i dark pulse and protect because i think that i have too many turns to trick them left right there's three turns to trick them left if I'm, the thing is that if indeed i don't know at this point if indeed he's gonna live to foul play and if Ndidi faints to foul play here, um, Miascarado will lose. So I have, to, I'm forced to protect Ndidi here, which I think is okay. I go for Dark Pulse here. I think this is also okay. I go into Murkrow. That might be a mistake. That is a mistake. Going into Murkrow there is a mistake. So that's a mistake. But they protect both, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Um, two turns of Trick Room left. I know they have Pollen Puff, so I need to Dark Pulse the Among Us this turn, because I need damage on Among Us. I have to hope that Dark Pulse into D-Meteor kills, right? Tailwind is down. I Dark Pulse into the Murkrow here. I should have been into the Amoongus. Should have been into the... Okay, but... Okay, so let's say I hit the Amoongus, because this is basically like wasting the attack, because there's still a turn left. I was kind of counting on going on fainting to this, but yeah, if I was going to faint to this, then I should have gone for Dark Pulse into the... I mean, it's always Dark Pulse into Among Us, right? Do some damage to Murkrow. I actually thought that would do more. Dark Pulse has been a little underpowered, I guess, because I was testing with Modest initially. And like Expert Belt, although Expert Belt doesn't make a different tier. I try to sack, and now I have a choice. I can choose to go into Miascarada saying they're not going to go for Pollen Puff. I don't hate this move in all honesty. Yeah, I think it's not a bad move. I, like, because like really, I think if I'm in their position, I don't know if I want to KO the Indeedy here. I guess you might want to, but it's kind of risky because the thing is, if I don't get this correct, then Hydrogency falls asleep next turn. So basically, I, I say, okay, they're not gonna, they're they're not going to um, pull and puff this slot because they'd rather spore Hydrogen and foul play this slot. So I go like this. They go pull and puff. If I had Dark Pulse the Amoongus here, I could have um, knock off Tailwind, and that would have put me in a pretty decent spot in all honesty because my Hydrogen still full health. Okay, so this is the turn where I make a mistake, right? So let's say we go for Draco Meteor and knock off into the Among Us, right? I knew this wasn't going to kill. I, I really didn't think this was going to kill. So let's say I go for knock off and Draco here. If I go for knock off plus Draco, then what happens this turn? Talon goes up. They go for Tailwind, right? They go for Tailwind, okay. Knockoff plus Draco, Guard Drum comes in, uh, 40%. Uh, Indeedee, I'm still healthy enough. Guaranteed game. Uh, if I go for a knockoff plus Draco, I always win this game. No, I almost always win this game. Yeah, I had a win condition. That's my bad. I missed it. I, I super missed it. Because knockoff plus Draco here basically puts Hydreigon at minus two, full HP, uh, not asleep. Let's think about this. So the position is Talon. They have three turns of Talon left. Um, Hydreigon's full HP at minus two. They can't Terra. I can Terra. Miascar is at 74 HP. They go Garchomp. Talon is up. I go Talon and switch to Ndidi, who faints surely, as they uh, at least foul play into Miascarada, if not Dragon Claw into it. So in the worst case scenario, Hydreigon is like 40% left. Tailwind is up. Their Garchomp is in range of Flower Trick. My Meowskarada is not in range of uh, Foul Play. So I go Foul... I go... I go... Flower Trick, Draco Meteor. Flower Trick, Draco Meteor. And it should KO. I don't have recovery anyway. And I still have enough health that I'm not in range of two Foul Plays. So I lose on Rock Slide Flinch, basically. Uh, also factoring in the miss. I had, this was, this was winnable. Yeah, okay, I made a mistake. I can't blame anybody else but myself. That was a mistake. I made a mistake. So, yeah, I, I can't blame the game one loss. Like, 
uh, on anybody. But, like, I, I misplayed game three. I didn't know for a fact that it was, um, what's it called in the back? But the truth of the matter is that it didn't really matter because it was Arcanine, it couldn't beat Hydreigon, right? Oh. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, that's my bad. But I think that I should improve as the tournament goes on because I'm getting more experience. Like, I didn't bring the right Pokemon game one, I think. So I can't really be upset about anything, in my opinion. I'm just trying to think about that early game if there's anything better I could do like what if I just went for armor cannon I had to make a hard read like I think I think that the make it rain was too tempting for the opponent like I think I knew it was coming I could have known it was coming I could have brought. I couldn't bring Mouse Hold, right? It was too hard to set. I wish I had freaking Wide Guard. If I had Wide Guard, I wish I had Protect Wide Guard. Trailer told me to bring Wide Guard. That's on me. That's on me. He was like, dude, you should run Wide Guard. And I was like, nah, I need Protect. But I can't. I mean, Protect is good too. I needed wa Protect Wide Guard, Armor Rouge, and then Trick Room on DD. But that's that's not. That's like a bug. I should. I didn't really want to be winning with that, you know? Because imagine I won the tournament and then, like, everyone's like, oh, you just won because you used the bug. I also feel like maybe I calced wrong game one. Did I calc something wrong? I don't think I calc the Terra. No, I did calc it. Terra Steel versus DD Female. Minus one choice specs. Oh, wait, maybe? I think I might have calc wrong, actually. I'm, I want to, I'm actually not convinced the crit matter game one. I'm actually, I can go back and check. Because I'm coming. Is that right? How much hold does have? stupid thing doesn't swim my health bars. I indeed he had how much HP? Did the crit matter? I had 123 HP. Okay, I wasn't calculating Terra Steel, so I only I, I the crit mattered 12 out of 16 times. Basically, I I died to that. Oh, but that's assuming they're max speed modest, which might that's assumed that's a, in the worst case scenario, I live 12 out of 16 times, minus the crit. So the crit may have mattered, it may not have mattered. But yeah, I made a mistake. It's okay. I, I was a little, I think I got a little stressed losing game one. So that's like good. Uh, I think that's good, like learning lessons for next time. We have seven rounds left. I need to win six of them. There are six matches left in the round, but who knows if we'll actually complete the time in the last time. Is he out of tourney? No. Murkrow both rounds. So, I mean, I am glad that my team has a better matchup versus it. It's so bulky. It's like surprisingly bulky, even with the Focus Ash. The Focus Ash was annoying too. I made I made a, I made a number of mistakes there, to be honest. Like if I had Dark Pulse into the Amoongus instead of the uh, Murkrow, it kind of would have been Bing chilling, I think. Pokemon, it's really important to like learn from your losses. You know what I mean? Like, I got a little unlucky there, to be honest. But like, I don't really think game one could have just been a roll, right? Let's assume it rolled. In which case, like, yeah, I can't really blame anybody. Like, assuming that they just got the four out of sixteen roll anyway, which you know, twenty five percent plus odds of crit is not that bad. It could have been better odds for me if they were max special like modest, but no, we don't know. Um, I think it's really important to look at where you went wrong, like where you made mistakes. Like, I think that in that last, and I think game one, I think I did fine given the like what I knew um 
But game three, I think that I have the ability because they already got me once with Shadow Ball and they know that I have a GD in the back. I think it's really risky for them to lock, lock into um, Shadow Ball there. Especially because they know that it does a ton of damage anyway. So I think just Protect Armor Cannon probably just outright wins me the game because then they only have Garchomp and Murkrow for damage and with Hydreigon with Habenberry, which so far I'm really happy with. Habenberry has been super good so far. Um... Yeah, I think that I, I could have taken the risk. And then we also already went to the Amoongus soon scenario, so. Oh, six matches left. I'm not sure if I missed the new Discord font or if it just didn't update for me, but I don't see a difference right now. Okay, I have seven seven games left. This team's felt pretty solid in all honesty. Like, Specs Gold Angle plus Murkrow is really strong, obviously, but... Yeah, it's just the Terra thing, because Sucker Punch would have KO'd. Uh, but yeah, and DD plus Miyazuka out of Sucker Punch, definitely some anti-synergy there, but I don't think it's that bad six matches left i feel like some people just don't remember to report the matches maybe they just take forever though because we took three games we took three games yeah So the way this tournament works is there are nine rounds. I've won one, I've lost one, and there are seven less left. I need to lose two or fewer to advance. So, so total win, total total of uh, seven wins, two losses, or eight wins, one loss for me at this point. How do you look back to your plays? I just opened the stream and dragged it backwards. That's like one of the things that's nice about YouTube is that it's easier to go back, at least in my opinion. Liking the Wolfie and Bonus Wolf collab. <laughs> Five matches left. I think Scovillain's okay. I was initially looking to build around Scovillain for this, but it's so frail. <laughs> it's so, so frail. Rygrix uh, Hunter, thank you for joining the channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was a good opponent as well. They have, like, they're a player with competitive experience. Uh... I guess Among Us isn't like super a bad matchup, but it is a, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad of a matchup. It was Rocky, honestly, it was a well-built team. Like Rocky Helmet really discouraged me from using Mouse Hold. Also, so did Coldango. Yeah, Prankster Tailwind, it's like it has an advantage over Hydreigon for sure. But hey, I brought every Pokemon so far. That's pretty good in two games, in two rounds. Good that the Pokemon are coming to the games. Also, the Murkrow having Protect was like a little spooky. It didn't really matter. It mattered a It didn't really matter. I love the Murkrow command. It has everything and yet still people are just spamming about Murkrow. Five matches left. It says 13 minutes left on the timer. What if you U-turn instead of switch with Meow Skarada? I need the KO is the thing. One option I had. No, that doesn't work either. I was thinking about like Hurricane to a DD U-turn. 
really tailwinded so it wouldn't work like it wouldn't have gotten me both pokemon on the field at the same time also yeah they could have been pollen puffed into meow they don't have quash i could see their moves i knew they didn't have quash they had protect also quash wouldn't i had two dark types that didn't matter Oop. that wouldn't have mattered at all Quash would have been less threatening in, in for that matchup than protect. Although, yeah, Quash would have, no, I had Psychic Train too. Yeah, there was Quash wouldn't have done anything there. John, thanks for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. Four matches left. Twelve minutes left in the timer. Is Garganacle better with Terra Ghost or Terra Grass? I think they're both good. Um, it kind of depends on your team, in my opinion. I find on my last team, I found Terra Ghost more threatening. On this one, maybe Terra Grass. It, it really just depends. Young Savichi, thank you for joining the channel. <sighs> I don't want to play against people who are using Rocky Helmet. That is unfair to my mouse hold. If I'd well, the thing is, I also had a chance to win on the. Like, my odds actually weren't even that bad of winning, right? Because I went on the one turn sleep. I went on Amoongus. I super went on Amoongus flinch, right? If Amoongus flinches, I'm super chilling. Oh, I super chill. I'm super chilling if Amoongus flinches. Um, on the one turn sleep, I get Tailwind up and I'm actually staggered Tailwind. So I have an advantage there. I had a number of ways to win that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I lost, but I, I had pretty decent odds of winning. Both game one and game three, I had okay odds, and I misplayed. So I mean, it's not that bad. You can't just look at the result. Like I think I didn't do that badly. I didn't make any. I made like slight misplays, but I wouldn't say I got any major. I, 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 I um. I don't feel like I made that many major mistakes. In all honesty. Like sometimes I lose because I made like big mistakes. This one, I, I mean, like, I think I made some minor mistakes. I don't think it was that bad. Sometimes you lose. <sighs> but I really want wide guard. Yeah. I'm so tired. Oh yeah, because I was 100% all of yesterday. Oh, I should tweet about losing Marco. The people will like that. Just lost a Murkrow ball. <laughs> I think people will think that's funny. What is Armor Rouge? <laughs> I like that. That's a good question. Yes, Karata kind of heat. I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the Miascarata train. Like if I, I, like I had to do a lot of work that game, but it almost was able to. The people love Murkrow. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for the next round. Let's, listen, if it were up to me, I'd be I'd be I'd be moving, okay? But it's not up to me, okay? You hear me? There's four matches left in the round. I can't start the next round until the current one uh stops and Yeah, if I lose twice more, I'm out, but you know. Hopefully that won't happen. It would have been funny if I went Terra, Fairy, and DD just so it died. That would have been funny. I'm not sure if I chose the right attack on DD. Like, Psyshock was good, but maybe maybe Hyper Voice is better. Like, 
Not being able to touch, not being able to break Mur Murko's Focus Sash kind of sucked. That uh, like, was part of the reason I was forced to play weird and trick from that game. Still four matches left. Yeah, it'll probably take, it'll probably be another 10 to 12 minutes. If I had to guess until the next round goes up. I think a Palafin, I think it's strong. I think it takes a lot of work to figure out how to use it. Um, but I think it should be strong. It has incredible stats. The Haze is pretty good with Specs Goldango. Like, I knew this was a strategy, but I don't think I saw it used as effectively when I was laddering. You know, Trailer told me Steel Hydreigon was good, and I was like, Poison's fine. Poison's totally fine, man. You get the fighting resistance. But now after that game, maybe maybe Steel is better for Hydreigon. <laughs> because at least, like, ha not having a Pokemon, that, no Pokemon on my team can Terra to become resistant to Goldango, and that seems like a, an oversight. And also, I keep running into Garchomp. I should have been Terra Steel. I've learned my lesson. Uh, now I know. I should have listened to Trailer. But he told me this morning, actually, so it's not my fault. I already couldn't change it this morning. Three matches left. Six minutes in the timer. Because there's not that many fighting attacks, right? Oh, there is Annihilate, though. And Poison's really nice for Annihilate. Three matches left. Oh, nice. Yeah, Marcus won. Let's go. Dude, Murkrow's everywhere. I can't get away if it's Murkrow Town over here. It's Murkrow Town. It's Murkrowville. Can you believe it? Four and a half minutes left. Ugh. Raz, thank you for joining the channel. Why not tidy up instead of Encore? I'm a big Encore fan. I was moving with people. I guess people on the ladder with Encore. It was really good. Eric, thank you for joining the channel. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're getting close to 800k, y'all. 783. 784. Whoa, 784. That was quick. That was a lot of subs pretty quickly. Yeah, 16k away from uh from 100 or from 800, and then 200 away from. Let me just match this off. Uh, yeah, and then 200 away from... 200,000 away from a million. The goal is to get a million by March. Oh, one match left. Then. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, but... That's the goal.
how strong is pop bomb on mouse hold so far we only used it in one game but it was really strong in that one game so so far so so far so good scorpion thanks for joining the channel really appreciate it foul play does so much damage normally in the in an early meta you don't really run foul play Because like it's normally better when the base stat totals are higher, like with Groudon and Kyogre and Legendary Pokemon. So I was like, ah, yeah, well, like not having zero attack IV doesn't really matter, right? But it actually does matter. <laughs> it actually, unfortunately, does matter, which sucks. That really sucks. Also, can we talk about how hard it is to get Goldango? This thing is so so tedious. The fact that like you need a thousand coins, nine hundred ninety nine coins every time you want to evolve one. Is so dumb. Two minutes to the next match. Well, probably seven minutes because it's two minutes until the round ends, and then another five to the next round starts. Has anyone heard of Dynamax? That's really funny. <laughs> I always think it's interesting what chat picks they on, like Murkrow, 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 and then like I didn't really expect Overgrow versus Protean to be the uh, the next like the next biggest thing. Maybe what I should do is I'll do this round. 45 seconds. So we have about five minutes left, probably, maybe less, because the round ends in 40 seconds. I hate that you can't on Corkle Dango. Not that it wouldn't matter, like it wouldn't have done anything in that match. This ability is just too broken. Go just gold is too broken. I know Z move on me, Oscarada. <laughs> uh, thanks very much, Justin. I appreciate the kind words. I think I've tried Tinkaton a couple times. I actually think it kind of it's kind of bad. I don't know. It's probably not that bad, but I just couldn't get it to work. It's probably like I just didn't have the right team for it. But it's yeah. All right, the round has ended, so we have five minutes at most. Hopefully less, and then the next round will be up. I hope that all these rounds don't go to time because it's a little unfortunate. I don't think Protein is terrible. It's just not what I chose. I, I thought that the value from Overgrow was greater than the value from Protein. I didn't, I didn't even consider, like, the, because I'm, um, choice ban, the nerf to Protean actually didn't factor into my decision at all. I just didn't account for, I, like, I, I had three things that I was focused on in team building, and I didn't account for Spex Goldango, which I have a bad feeling about because it's so strong. Do you club with Yon in the future? Oh, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yon almost came into my gym thing, but, like, uh, it was uh, too much travel, and, like, we didn't really plan it ahead enough, but, yeah, no. Definitely will work with you on. Actually, we technically collab yesterday on Jaden's stream. We were both there. Um, I really, I'm wait, I'm really excited for Platinum Kaizo. Like, cause I'm probably not gonna do a Nuzlocke until Platinum Kaizo. In all honesty. That'll probably be my next one. Is Mimikyu viable? Yeah, I love Mimikyu. I mean, I, I, it's the thing you have to understand about Pokemon is that, like, different Pokemon are good at different times in the format. Mimikyu is not typically a super strong early game Pokemon, but it can be if you have like a really strong Trick Room team around it. But uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Next opponent is up. Let's see what their team is. 
Okay, it's two ghost types. Okay, it's Haze, Taunt, uh, Sash, Terra-type Flying Gengar, Clear Amulet, Sword Dance, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Garchomp with Terra-type Fire, Terra-type Fire, Rotom Wash with Terra Blast. That's kind of heat. Uh, Grass, Terra-type Screens, Grim Snarl with Light Clay, Clear Amulet, Terra Focus Sash, Rocky Helmet, Iron, Bur Iron Head, Brave Bird, Tailwind, Taunt, Corviknight, and then Lumberry, Bulk Up, Bulk Up, Annihilate. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. A lot of ghost types. And they have Rough Skin Garchomp. Mwah. Okay, let's get ready. Um, I'm sick. Okay, let's think about this. So Armor Rouge looks super strong here. Um, Grimstone looks like a bit of a pain. I don't really love a lot of my Pokemon here. <laughs> dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Dun dozo. Cool, good luck, have fun. My opponent. Dun dozo. Cool terra types. Uh, what's Corviknight? Probably steel, right? Or actually flying. That's interesting. Okay. Nope. Rules one. I don't really know what I'm doing just yet. Oh, I, I forgot I had Miascarada, which is pretty valuable in honesty. <clears throat> If Thunder Wave on the thing. Oh, I also have Goldengo. I kind of forgot I had more Pokemon on my team. Um. I like Miascarada. I like. Honestly, Armor Rouge looks super good here, in all honesty. It's just a Grimstone I need to watch out for. Um, I don't like Mouse Hold here um i don't know indeed he's so good against the uh annihilate i definitely want meow scarada here i think i need to bring armor rouge or else i can risk losing to corviknight especially in... um it's not like corviknight can really do that much here i guess i can try this not great not horrible it's just okay i would say I want Goldengo, though. I mean, I don't need Ndidi, right? I could do Goldengo. Do I even need Hydreigon here? Kinda. Eh, we ball. Let's try something weird. Hmm. Did I just bring only Pokemon that lose to ground types? Oops. Well, that's not. All right, this is not smart. I made a mistake. I have regrets. I wish I had done something differently. I, 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 uh oh. I made a mistake. I'm not crazy about what I brought. I don't know why I didn't bring Hydreigon. No, what am I doing? Is it fine? Corviknight is Rocky Helmet. Ugh. Yeah, that's not ideal. This is not ideal. Hopefully they go for Talon here. If they go for Brave Bird or something. Oh, if they go for Taunt, I'm kind of in danger, aren't I? Okay, Protect is fine. I feel like they want to go for Tailwind here. I guess, at least. Ah, oh, nice play. Okay, that's not ideal, is it? I have to give it the boost now. Um, I kind of want to go for Trick Room, but I also just want to go for Armor Cannon. Uh, 
How fast is Corviknight naturally? 87. They'd have to run a lot of speed to have speed armorers, right? How about armorers? I think that just going for armor cannon here is okay. Eight. Okay, that scared me. They're probably fast, right? Hey, taunt. They're really... Oh, they double taunted me, Ascarada? Huh? Oh, God. Okay. That's an interesting move. I should get rid of the cord here, which is great. Um... Hey, Corv goes down. They're really fast. How much do I even do to uh, Annihilate with uh, Flower Trick? The Terra type on Annihilate is water, so it can't tear in front of me. I have to keep that in mind. Meow Strata, my custom set versus Annihilate. Um, Flower Trick, if I Terra Grass. Nah, it doesn't kill. Gengar, who can't protect himself. Okay, let's go into Ndidi here. And let's U-turn into Gengar. Can't protect itself. Let's break the Focus Sash like this. I should slow down. I should definitely slow down. Breaking the Focus Sash is actually a pretty big deal. My plan is basically just to use... Do I think they went for a ghost move here? Because if I do, then I'm kind of in trouble, right? This Gengar's territory. Fire, right? Flying. Okay. I'll just go Goldingo. It's fine. It's still threatening. Is Goldingo faster than Annihilate? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's 90. Taunt? They... Oh, I forgot about Taunt! Shoot! Stop taunting me! <gasps> hey, Drain Punch doesn't do anything, which is fine. Um, I don't really want to switch Ndidi out into a potential strong attack, so I'm going to go for Psyshock here, even though it's a little risky. I'm starting to give it stacks, which is okay. I just want Gengar down. My plan is basically just win with um, Meow Skarada's crit, basically. My level is base 90, and Golden goes like 87, right? Four. Uh, you know, this was a mistake since it's faster than me. Oh, it was also a mistake because of this. I should have doubled that slot. The like Garchomp? In the back. Grimstorm? Grimstorm in the back? Oh my god, okay. Alright, well, oh, it's slower than me. Okay. Well, I don't die to Rage Fist. Oh, they made the hard read into Goldengo. Nah, uh, uh. That's not gonna work. Alright, giving Rage Fist stacks is definitely not ideal. Um, wait, what item is it? Um, I gotta slow down. Ah. <sighs> It has Protect. I know it has Protect. It's okay if it gets a couple stacks. I have Meow Skirata and uh, Armor Rouge in the back. Gengar's Terra-type is flying. This is probably Terra Water now. Yeah. But I want Grimstone gone. I just need to be careful around the Gengar. Knockoff is now super strong. Flower Trick is always super strong. I can deal with this thing at any point, basically. Light Screen comes out. I'm really giving it a lot of stacks here on um, the this move. The Psy Shock worked on Light Screen, I can remember. It lived, which isn't ideal. Oh, wait a second. I'm actually kind of chilling, right? I'm not chilling. This is super damage. God, nothing. All right, Rage Fist is really... Okay, finally Taunt ends. Finally, finally, finally. The second train is gone, which is bad. Um, Definitely bad. I want to protect Ndidi and just go for the rain. They can't Thunder Wave me. They can set Reflect up, which isn't that big a deal. It's actually not a, not a big deal. We take out the Grim Snarl. We give Annihilate another stack. Finger can't Terra here. Rage Fist, come on. Okay, no. 
Okay, it's a 2v4. I have a not I have Meowstic Meowstrod on the back. Okay. I think what I want to do here is actually sack Armor Rouge and try and use DD Meowskarada to bring this one home. Does that even make sense? Like, Shadow Ball's not going to KO here, right? Yeah, Shadow Ball won't KO me. I'm going to do this. Just an Armor Rouge and go for Shadow Ball. We just need a little bit of damage on Gengar and then Meowskarada Queens. This is minus two and... Uh, I should have maybe Nasty Plotted the first time, but whatever. Gengar can't protect itself. Is that shiny? Okay, they sludge bomb into my Goldengo. I made the read. Get the damage off. Okay, that's big damage. Should be enough. Oh, Rage just comes out. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. So basically, from here... I... Let me take a second to think about this. Indeed, he comes in. Protect Expanding Force. Uh, if it hits, I win. If it, if, uh, gold, if Armor Rouge goes down, Meowskarada comes in. If Meowskarada comes in, follow me. Terra Gra Oh. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay. Is there any chance I got a Sludge Bomb? Shoot. And is there any chance I'm faster than this thing? Is there any chance I got a Sludge Bomb in GD versus Gengar? Going in. Gengar. Thirty seconds. Two blood bomb versus GD. Forty-two to forty-nine minimum damage. The roll. I messed up. I messed up. Don't love this move at all. I could have just won. I could have just won. Oh, I won! Sloppy play. Super sloppy play. Basically, I was setting up for a curse or for a flower trick endgame because everything goes in range. Um, but the problem is that. Um, the problem is that I, I forgot about curse body. So it actually was almost pretty bad. It's almost like super, super bad. Um, so yeah, let's not do that again. I was really messed. Yeah, messy game one. I, I I mean, I basically, like, it was still okay most of the time. I could have either gotten the call right, or I could have just... Because basically, if Curse Body activates, it'll disable my Flower Shrek, and I'll struggle and lose. Um. Yeah. So a bit of... A bit, a bit, a bit messy in terms of the play. We know Cor Corviknight is, is uh, faster than Armor Rouge. It's pretty fast. Um, I'm not sure I brought the right Pokemon there. Like, Hydreigon should have been decent. Hydreigon's just not that good into... It's Spirit Breaker, right? Like, I, I want Tailwind here, but it's like... It's straight up just not that good. Did I bring the right Pokemon? I kind of felt like I did. This, these are uh, these are weird terror types. I need to remember that they have some weird stuff going on. The Pokemon I brought are Loki, kind of weak to Grim. So uh, hopefully that doesn't cause a problem for me down the road. No Grim, no Grim, no Grim. This is the absolute worst lead they could have done for me. Okay, not ideal, not ideal at all. Um, Garchomp, Pure Amulet, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Terror Type Fire. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So we're Psy Shock and we switch to Miascarada. It's probably just Rock Slide is the truth. I 
screen. Okay. I'm pretty sure this reduces the power of uh, what's it called? Please don't flinch. Cross does a lot of damage. I don't want anything. Okay, Meow Scarada. I can hit that. Get rid of this thing expeditiously. Nice protect read for me. What? It lived! How did it live? Oh, they targeted it wrong. How on earth did that thing live? Okay, you know what? Let's just go. We're going. Let's go. It's, 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 I'm done messing around. It's time to hit the ghost sauce. How did it live? What terror type is Dark Storm? Fire. I keep forgetting they can terrestrialize. And it is rough skin. What am I doing? Okay, it's fine. They, yeah, they didn't think I was gonna tear. Uh, they didn't. They didn't see this coming. They thought they would live. And I think I should survive a spirit break here. Edge. Hey, rough skin. Is flower trick not a contact move? Oh, that's news to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're in overgrow range, baby. It's time. It's omega time. We are in overgrow range. We have Terragrass Overgrow. Genjar is on the field. Okay, what do I want to do here? I'm going to go for a guaranteed kill here. What, they, what could they have in the back that's threatening? We already took a guard charm. Um, I can beat Annihilate other ways. I feel like they're just going to taunt me based on how they played game one. I'm going to Psy Shock here and Flower Trick here. Hey, Gengar is the recipient of... Terra? This thing would super die if I hit it with Flower Trick. I could have followed me, but I didn't want to eat the taunt. And I, wanted, I really wanted to break the sash. I figured just going up in Pokemon counts is good. The question is, are they sludge bombing or are they taunting? I can't believe Grimlift's helping hand. Uh, taunt, 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 taunt. Ah, they got me. Oh, they didn't get me. No poison, no poison, no poison. Hoggers. Side shock. I have Goldengo in the back. I can't Terra anymore. Annihilate. Then okay. Versus Gengar. Power trick. Terra. Yeah. You guys want to see a? You want to see a? You want to see a magic trick? You guys want to see me make this Gengar disappear? Not very effective. Ah, it's not very effective, guys. It's not going to do any damage. <laughs> the power of Overgrow. I don't know if that would have... <laughs> okay, actually, it does minimum 133%. Uh, maximum 157%. Just to illustrate here, I'm going to go for... I'm not even going to go for Helping Hand. I'm just going to go for Flower Trick so you can see it KO this Floyd people in an alley. This is the power of Overgrow. This is why you're in Overgrow. Like, yeah. Protein would have done literally nothing this game. I only clicked Flower Trick. But Overgrow made it so that no matter how bulky it is, yeah. Like, Paragrass, Overgrow, Choice Band, Helping Hand. Uh, that can KO. It KOs Max HP Arcanine. Max HP 100. 100 defense. It's. Uh, how much defense does it KO? If Arcanine has anything less than max HP and 68 defense, 
Uh, Terra Grass, Helping Hand, Overgrow, Flower Trick. We'll one-shot it. That's the power of Overgrow. Watch the Jeez. Good luck. Okay, Meowskarada is kind of a Meowska menace. I'm not gonna lie to you. Menace Skarada. I should eat some lunch now. I think I'm hungry. Maybe I'll go get some soup. I could order something as well. Oh my god, that was that was a quick round. There's still 45 minutes left in the round. I think that whole thing took 10 minutes. Here. Alrighty, I should go get some. I'm just gonna make some soup. Good soup. Is it okay with y'all? Uh, just kidding. It's okay with me. Okay, I'll be back. Uh,
I don't normally eat on stream, so this will be new for me. I really don't like the team sheet. No, but I worked so hard on it. How's it, how am I doing? Where, where am I currently? Where, where's Pastoral? Where was I two minutes ago? Was Miascara started killing everything? Oh, it's on Grimmsnarl? Oh. How did it live this? It must have been so bulky. How did it live? I don't understand. Grimmsnarl. I should have Terra. That was greedy, not Terra. I like have not been using Terra very well. It wasn't overgrowth. So 100% HP. Max HP. Oh, it wasn't Terra. Yeah. Oh, even with max HP, max defense. Oh, but with a plus nature. It probably wasn't max max, but yeah, it it okay. I should have calculated more defense. I didn't think it was gonna. Uh, I, I didn't think it was gonna survive. <laughs> that wasn't even. It was. I think that might have won. Maybe. I don't know. I hope that this will show people why I'm using Overgrow. Is this cat? I'm, I want to watch it happen. Watch it. Oh, let's watch it. I'm okay. my soup. I'm watching here. Now I can eat my soup and we can watch together. Terra Grass. Terra Grass. Cool chomp. I should have thought if it was Terra Fire, but I didn't think about it. And even if it did, if I did, like, it probably didn't expect it to kill, right? Probably. I want to watch the chat too. Because this is where the things get good. Oh, you guys are ahead of where I am. But I want to watch this. Okay, you're just going to have to watch with me. And the chat won't matter as much. This is my Virginia Tech Bowl. When I was a freshman in college, it was the only like um, silver I owned. I had one Virginia Tech Bowl and one uh, spoon. It's still it's still with me today. It's honestly very well made. College bookstores aren't exactly known for like producing super high quality stuff, but I mean I've been using. The, you can't even see. It used to have like um, it used to say Virginia Tech on it, like right here. You can kind of see there's like a little bit like right there, like some remains. But it's a very well made bowl. I love it. It's the perfect soup bowl. Like when you buy a Progresso can of soup. When you buy a Progresso can of soup, um, it's like the perfect size. You know what I'm saying? Which is what I'm eating right now. I'm not sponsored by Progresso. It's just like a good small lunch. God, I love watching Yaskarada just kill everything. It's so satisfying.
yeah terror grass choice band overgrow is like with helping hand it's like bye bye overgrow is what 1.5 it's 1.5 right uh times multiplier that was satisfying i found that satisfying to watch I think the way you want to think about overgrow is like it's like basically me it doesn't have an ability until it has an ability which is kind of the same as protein except it kind of never has an ability you know what i mean like you're not normally banking on it activating but when it does activate it gives you an enormous power boost you know what i mean Once I finish my soup, I will, um, I will continue my story. Is this good content? I sit in front of a rental uh, of, of, of my, of the export of my team and I eat soup. This is what you can hear for. I didn't really explicitly plan for this, but like Grimstar is kind of a problem for my team because my main attacks are dark and psychic type. Um, so having a Pokemon that like always crits, um, excuse me, for people who don't know, critical hits ignore the effects of reflect and light screen. So basically like, and Meowth Skarada is immune to Prankster because of its um, dark typing. So in the last match, three of Grimstar's four moves were like irrelevant to Meowth Skarada. Couldn't Thunder Wave it, it couldn't reflect it, it couldn't light screen it. Um, and I think that's kind of like a good side effect of Miascarada always critting. That's like part of the reason why the move is so strong, why critical hits in general are so strong. It's part of the reason Hershey move is so strong is because there's a lot less counterplay. Intimidate doesn't work. Reflect doesn't work, right? So, just, just it ignore friend guard. I knew this at one point, but I forgot. Anyone know? By the way, Meowth learns Trick Room for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but and I don't think it's a very good setter, but I do think it's funny.
Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm done eating. Thank you for your patience. Um, the soup was good. Um. Somebody remind me when I am wrapping up stream that I want to go through and I want to add timestamps for the matches. So that way, if people are watching the VODs, they don't have to do the skipping themselves. They can just go between matches like easily. Okay. Okay. Oh, now I'm full of soup. Six rounds left. Three down. Two, one. Not so bad. Burger F team went? Yeah, soon, maybe. It's hard to build teams. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like really difficult, but uh, I feel like so far I've done okay. Stu Woodside, thanks very much for joining the uh, the channel. really appreciate that. What's better for competitive Pokemon, Scarlet or Violet? I think that in this game it's not as big a deal because you can. it's easier to get the other Mons. Um, I, I guess... I guess it comes down to the legendary mostly. I don't. I haven't actually looked at them, so I, I don't know which one's better. How's competitive feeling this early in the gen? It's really fun, honestly. Like the ter like, oh, like the normally there's kind of like an established like number of types that Pokemon want to use. Like normally, you know, an Iolith likes Terra Steel and like et cetera, et cetera. That last opponent had like really unusual ones, and it made it like it caught me off guard a lot. Like Terra Fire Garchomp. It kind of makes sense, right? I mean, you get new resistances, right? Fire's not a bad defensive type. Um, you're already doing well into rock types. Eh, I guess you're not. I don't know. Like, it's just like it's just like weird stuff. Water as a whole is a lot weaker this generation. Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I think it's really cool. I think it's super super cool. It's challenging for sure. It's definitely challenging. Um, but it's fun. And like, basically, I like what I like about it is that <sighs> terrestrialization is much feels right now like it's much more skill expressive. Um, yeah, we can shoot. It. Um, it feels like it's much more skill expressive than uh, Dynamax was in, in it from a team building sense. So, when team building, like, can I find this. When you're team building, like, um, you, like, with Dynamax, you wanted to make sure you had some Pokemon that could take advantage of Dynamax, sure, but you didn't really, like, it wasn't, like, you, there was no real downsides to Dynamaxing, like, you would never choose, like, oh, like, should I choose one or, you know, 20 Dynamax candy in my Pokemon, right? Like, you were always just... I don't know. Like you would always just run max Dynamax candy. There wasn't that much like decision making from a team building angle. You know what I mean? Oh, up here. Well, there wasn't that much decision making from like a, a team building angle, which is oh, what? It's just very different than um than terrestrialization right where like you have another lever that you can pull in team building which is really cool in my opinion like being able to um it just it just gives you more control you know what i mean like i can't run around this game mindlessly and talk at the same time so i'm stopping um yeah so basically like it's uh it gives you a lot more control in team building which i think is really interesting and it changes it fundamentally changes how pokemon play so did Dynamax. Z moves not so much, but Dynamax did. But it like, because it offered the same. Basically, Dynamax offers the same benefit to every Pokemon, right? And and the way those Pokemon make use of those benefits is different. Some Pokemon appreciate the HP more. Some Pokemon appreciate the stronger moves more. Some Pokemon appreciate the secondary effects more, right? They all use it. Not, most Pokemon use it in different ways, but those are, they all do the same thing, right? Like when you Dynamax, you're always getting the same benefits. Whereas, terrestrializing into Goldango, terrestrializing into Steel type versus I don't know, like, um water type right like those are very different applications of the same mechanic right like it's gonna make it's gonna cause the pokemon to function in very different ways in a way that you didn't really have with dynamax so um yeah i don't know i think that it's i think that it's a really interesting mechanic and i'm really excited to get more deep with it you know what i mean anyway i was telling a story as i recall so um 15 minutes left 20 minutes left this is probably, i think the full 20 minutes um so there i was so let's do a recap i 
quit my, I was working. I graduated in 2018 from Virginia Tech. Go Hokies. Um, then I started working, worked for a little over a year, a year and a half. Um, did not like it. <laughs> didn't like, didn't like my job. Um, was looking for a new job. Almost got a new job, which would have changed the course of my life because then I wouldn't have quit. Um, so I almost got a new job. Things fell through kind of the last second. And then like, we're going to pick back up, but they never did. Um, and then I, my YouTube started blowing up because I collabed with Alpharad in large part, um, put a ton more eyes on VGC and on the scene. Um, and then I quit my job, was doing daily uploads for a full year. Burned myself out really bad, took a month off, um, came back, talked to my friend, talked to my friend, Justin, gave me some good advice. He was like, you were the, you were one of the biggest channels on YouTube. Like that doesn't have editing. And I know that people have side channels without editing like mobile mail, which I'm a big fan of, but like that was my main channel. You know, I think it, like I was one of the biggest primary channels on YouTube. I had like a hundred something thousand subscribers, maybe even 200 by no, I've been doing it for a year. I probably had at least over 200. Um, and I had no editing in any of my videos. He was like, you need to add editing. So I started working with Sillity and Wit, two incredibly talented editors. And we started together kind of figuring out, um, the, the way that I wanted the content to look. And it took some, it took some work. We got really lucky in that I was immediately, I was instantly rewarded. My first two videos that I posted were the lions video, which was my most viewed video ever for a long time. I don't, had one of my, it was my first video to hit a million views. Um, and my video about Seijin's Pachirisu win, which also was a million views. Um, those are my first two that I posted. So I immediately had positive feedback and I was like, okay, this has potential. Cause I'd never gotten a video with that many views before, but it took a lot of figuring out. You know what I mean? Like I, I, uh, really didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't good at selecting topics. Um, and I, I was like that for about a year and I, I burned myself out again. Um, and then where are we now? Like 2021. Okay. Yeah. So the first year, the first year was no editing. The second year was, I started doing a hybrid. So I started doing like some videos were fully edited and some videos were like stream highlights cut down. Typically Sillity would handle the edited ones and Wit would handle the ones that were stream highlights cut down. I started streaming a ton. I was streaming, I streamed like five to six hours a day from like zero hours before I was streaming on World Kaizo and I tried a bunch of different content. I tried, I tried a bunch of Nuzlocke content. Uh, I tried a bunch of like tier lists. I tried like everything I could think of. I just threw at the wall and saw what sticked. But my views were like not doing that well. And there was a period where I was like, okay, I'm going to try an anime video. I'm going to try making ice cream. I'm going to try Nuzlocke. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. They all did really badly. And I was super, super lost. Like super, super, super lost. Um, I had no idea what to do. And in a moment of brilliance and at a, a, a moment of inspiration, um, I saw how many of you, most of you probably know PM seven, Pokemon seven, uh, John, um, spoiler alert. He's a good friend of mine, but at the time here, my interaction with John had been John and I did something, a type of content called draft leagues, draft league, uh, and Pokemon It's a type of content where each Pokemon is put into a tier and nobody ever, every Pokemon you draft, sorry. Every Pokemon is in a tier. You have 10 Pokemon or 12 Pokemon on your team. And um, nobody is allowed to have duplicate Pokemon. So it's called draft league because you draft Pokemon as if they were like sports players, right? Um, like a fantasy draft almost. So like if I draft Incineroar, nobody else in the league is allowed to use Incineroar. And to make it balanced, you have, you have Pokemon in the higher tiers and the lower tiers and you need to like make use of them basically. Like you, you can't have all top tier Pokemon. It's like you, you get like one tier one, one tier two, two tier three, etc. Um, anyway, it's, it's normally single battles in 2017. Uh, I, I was, I started content in 2016 with sun and moon. Um, a drive invited me to be in a draft league. Um, and I'd never done it before. I'd never played singles. Like I hadn't, I played singles very ca like casually, like, um, before I started playing VGC when I was like 14 years old, but I hadn't played since then. So a drive invited me to join this league. Cause somebody dropped out actually. Like that's why I even like joined it in the, in the first place. So like somebody dropped out. And so I took over their team. Um, and I ended up trying, I, I learned a lot on the fly. The, these videos are all still up if you're interested though. Um, yeah, like they're obviously, let's see. Um, so, so I started, I started learning and, and in this draft league, I met John, super nice guy. Like he was always like very professional, very nice, very kind. Like, um, and he was kind of like a rival for me where the first time we played, uh, I, he won. And then the second time I won and then we played again and like, it was really close and he was going to sweep me. And then I like made some stupid, crazy comeback and then, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we had this nice, like nice rivalry going on. And I, I think I said like, oh yeah, John's kind of like my single battle rival. And I really, I liked John. I liked his content. I thought he was entertaining, but I also liked it. Like he just gave good vibes. Like you, you could just tell he was like a really stand up guy. Um, 
checking around. Anyway, so, um, but he, at the time, I want to say his channel was probably not super big. He wanted, I, he probably had around 50 or 60,000 subscribers. Um, and I think I saw that he tweeted out. He was like, oh yeah, he like, he was like, he basically tweeted out that he was doing really well. So I went and I checked it out and I was blown away. This channel, like, you know, I was like, oh yeah, John and I are probably similar sizes. He was blown, he, he was like really, really doing well. His videos were each getting like half a million to a million to multi-million views. He was doing super, super well. And I was really lost and I messaged him and I was like, hey man, I know this is out of the blue. We hadn't, we hadn't talked in probably in a couple of years, probably. Right. Um, but I was like, Hey man, like, I know this is super out of the blue, but to be completely honest, like I'm really lost. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I've tried a bunch of stuff. It's not working. I know this is a big ask, but I, I would love to pick your brain. I would love to talk to you. Like, cause clearly, you know, you, oh, and the, the other exciting thing is that John had, had redone this. He had started a brand new channel and from the ground up had turned it into like one of the biggest Pokemon channels on the platform. And I was like, what is going on? Like, he didn't even do this with an existing channel. He started a new channel and did this. And I was like, whoa, this guy's smart. So I messaged him. I was like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a while. Congratulations on the success. Your boy's lost. Will you give, will you give me, won't you give me a hand? Come on. And partially to my surprise, I didn't really expect anything other because it, it's a big ask. You know what I mean? It's a really big ask. Uh, but to my surprise, John like really took me under, under his wing and he taught me an immense amount about YouTube, like a, a, a like an absurd amount, like, um, and, um, it, it skyrocketed my content. And honestly, like something that I learned through this experience was number one, I got very, very, very lucky because, um, yeah, John is like, not only he's, <sighs> there's a lot of good things I could say about John. I'm going to say some of them. Um, John and I are very similar and, and I'm, I don't really get the vibe that I'm similar to a lot of people. I'm so, I'm so special. I'm not like other girls. Um, but in all honesty, like I'm quirky. I'm a little weird and I don't really get the, I don't really get the sense that like, I like I click with a lot of people. I don't feel like I'm, I don't see a lot of people who remind me intensely of myself, but John and I, when I started talking to him, I was like, oh, we like have very similar mentalities. We have very similar morals. We have very similar values, um, similar worth at work ethic. Like we clicked really, really well. Um, and so that was really cool. Also just having like, you have to understand I was doing pretty much everything on, on my own. Like I had nobody really to bounce ideas off of. Like my friends were super like, super kind. I would always listen if I had ideas, but like at the end of the day, they weren't you know, like, they weren't thinking about YouTube in the same way that I was because it wasn't their job, right? Like uh, I was trying really to have like deep thoughts about YouTube and really contemplate it, but it was all just me. It was all stuck in my head and having another person to bounce ideas off and just get like, a, just have a sounding board was immensely useful. But on top of that, John gave me a lot of really good technical knowledge um, where he taught me about thumbnails, about titles. He showed me best practices. He, he helped me upgrade my setup, uh, my microphone had a sock covering it because it was totally garbage. Now I have like a really nice professional microphone. Also his friend, uh, Nick Superblog was also super influential in helping me get everything set up because I'm terrible with technology and Nick spent literally hours setting everything up and John introduced me to Nick. So John gave me a ton of technical knowledge. He, he like really mentored me in, in a really big way. And I, I wasn't able even to provide that much value in return. And so even despite the fact that I, I wasn't really contributing, like this was not a one-sided, this was not a one-sided relationship, but it was not a 50, 50 contributing relationship. Um, um, John still was like, yeah, just very, very willing to like listen to me and, and sit and call with me and show me what he knew. Um, and what I didn't realize at the time that's uh, painfully obvious to me now is that John is like, John and Purplecliff, Jack, are like, maybe, I'm like kind of by, so spoiler alert, Purplecliff comes into the story later, Jack, but, um, um, oh wait, what? hello, four matches left, um, I feel like they are probably the most influential Pokemon creators because I didn't realize this. The majority of content you watch on YouTube is just people copying John and Jack. Like it's, it's like whatever degree you think it is, it is absurdly more like it's pretty much just people copying. Like almost every, if you watch other Pokemon content other than me, I, I kind of do my own thing. I'm kind of on my own little Island. There's like Cybertron of course as well. But like in terms of like video essays with educational based video essays about Pokemon, with a heavy focus on competitive, I'm kind of on my own little land. You know, I do some more general stuff, like, et cetera, et cetera. But the majority of my content is like, nobody, nobody copies it, which makes me feel like maybe it's bad, but you know, whatever, I think it's probably okay. Um, but John and Jack, like their content is a lot more like approachable. And so, um, and it, you don't need as like, it's not, it's like a focus. I feel like a focus on entertainment is, is easier to replicate than a focus on, um, education because you need to like a certain amount of knowledge and like confidence in order to speak thing about things like, um, it's about to, uh, to make educational content. Whereas to be entertaining, it's not like it's not a skill, but it's just like, it's a more accessible skill. I think anybody can, especially when you have both the personality lever and the um, ending lever, I think it's a lot easier. 
anyway these guys are it's like most of pokemon content is just it's like actually insane uh like yeah it's like not funny because it doesn't it like actually probably actively hurts them a lot but i mean you just have to laugh because laugh otherwise you'll cry anyway so i end up kind of high rolling dumb lucking my way into not only working with like in my opinion it's just my opinion the single biggest inf the single most influential pokemon creator not only do i high roll into that but he's also willing to help me like he and he gives me an immense amount of help like he just he, like all cards on the table like showing me everything giving me really great advice um and so over the last year that that was right before bdsp came out um and so that was another turning point in my content where like i started the the presentation started improving a lot both the thumbnails the titles but also like the way that i like like the first thing john he's gonna get flack for this i'm not gonna i gotta say it and it, i'll tell you why don't do not flame him for this the first thing he said to me he was like wolf i love you you got to cut your intro the the real youtube is he was like you got to cut that and i was like no people love the intro i can't cut the intro and he was like listen you've got to cut the intro because if people don't know you they're gonna click on the video see this thing and they're not gonna get it they're gonna click off and i, I was like that makes sense and we looked at my analytics he was like i was like oh he's right people are leaving a lot of people i assume it's people who don't normally watch my videos but it, it basically really shoots myself on the foot to bringing new people in so i start working with john um, it's hugely influential. My, my floor immediately rises. My videos overall improve. And I'm, I'm just like, a, I'm I, one of my, my, one of my biggest skills is I am an unbelievably fast learner. And despite the fact that most of YouTube slash Twitch does not agree, uh, with this, that, that they would not uh, agree with this. I actually don't have much of an ego. I, I play up the world champ difference thing in large part because it's good for branding. And because I think it's really funny when things go badly. Um, but in all honesty, like, I don't like, I don't really have a, to I'm biased, of course, but I don't think, like, I don't actually think that I'm better than anyone, even in Pokemon. Like, I mean, obviously, like, my skill is up there, but, like, I never go into a match being like, oh, I'm so good, like, I'm gonna win. You know, I treat every opponent as if they can win because many of them do, and that's, that's how the data supports as well. So, because of, I think, like, I'm never, part of the reason I'm able to improve really quickly is because I'm very willing to let go of the things that aren't working, even if I like them, like my intro. Um, so, so John helps me optimize my content a lot, and I start getting a lot, a lot better at it, um, and I start like paying a lot more attention to the analytics, which is something I never did before. And like, okay, like where, where are we keep, where are we uh, keeping people's interest and where are people getting bored and leaving? And um, yeah, so that was that. And then kind of like, it was, so that was probably in like, I want to say that was like, in like, I probably started talking to John in like November or December of 2021. And then Scarlet and Violet came out somewhere around the, or sorry, BDSP came out somewhere around there. And it was right before then. So probably November because BDSP probably came out in December. Um, so then it was like i all of a sudden had access to all of this really good information it was start like time to start like absorbing it and like really like making use of it and um yeah and so i started uh i started basically from there like really almost at this point almost all of my content when did that happen yeah it was at this point so when i started working with john i made i was like it was december again pretty much i burnt myself out really badly streaming i'm just not a very good streamer to be honest like and by that i mean like i am not good at getting people to to like support the channel uh like via donations or via uh like um joining or subscribing or whatever like it's just not it is objectively a skill that i'm not very good at even when i have big viewers i just am not good at converting that into like actually making money um which is okay i don't blame anybody this is not a guilt trip to be clear i'm, I'm fine I'm, i promise you i'm doing fine but at the time it was not a good use of my time i would spend six hours on a stream that made it like a hundred maybe 200 bucks um, I didn't have, a, I had way less, given my viewer count, I had way less subscribers than, uh, other people my size. Like people who were like seven, no, uh, like between 10 and 20% of my size had my number of uh, subscribers. And I was like, what the heck? Um, so I was like, this is not a good use of my time. So I cut out the streaming pretty much entirely. I don't know part of the reason I don't stream anymore. And I switched entirely to focusing on fully scripted videos. So now the evolution was totally unscripted no editing hybrid stream highlights and editing uh and fully edited and now it's fully edited videos um and I, I take what I'm learning from John and I start working with it and I start working and I start working and I'm like learning I'm learning I'm learning and then uh, a couple months later I add a new type of content into the repertoire which is um let me make sure the match is up. oh it's up check in H dirt uh oh King Gambit Garchomp Hydreigon Skeledurge Wash Rotom Among Us King Gambit. Choice Specs uh Hydreigon. Terra Poison. No Dragon Claw and Garchomp. Life Orb King Gambit is scary. Hmm. Well, they've got dual dark types. This is not a very good matchup for me, is it? Sash, is there Rocky Helmet anywhere? No, but it's rough skin comp. Oggles. Oh, this is not a good matchup for me at all. Hold up. 
This is this is a pretty bad matchup. So who which one? Wait, I gotta look at my team again. Um, Rotomwash isn't that threatening. Among Us is Sash. Garchomp. So I want to bring Hydreigon here, most likely to get because like, Hydreigon's good into one, two, kind of three. Um, how fast does King Gambit? It's probably oh, it's slow, right? It's basically fifty. 102, 109. I should be faster than that, right? I am faster. Jolly? It's probably not Jolly, though. Um, there's no talent on this team. So this team likes speed control. Hydreigon is good into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-ish. Like, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Still waiting for the opponent to check in. Terra Poison Terra Blast is cool. Uh, okay, how good is Goldengo? The whole team is kind of weak to King Gambit. My whole team loses to King Gambit. I can't even... I only have one Pokemon that can even touch King Gambit. Okay. How good is Mouse Hold here? Ugh, this is kind of... Folks, this is kind of sussy. I'm not going to lie to you. This one's kind of sussy. Uh, eh, je suis les oeufs de la chien rouge. Uh, je m'appelle les oeufs de la chien. Je, je, je ne sais pas. Je, je suis... Je, 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 um... One, two, leaf three. So it's two out of these three. I really want that, but it's not that good, right? I'm waiting on my opponent to check in. They still have three more minutes before they lose. Um, for delaying delay of game. I think it's okay. One, two. I'm happy they're late, honestly, because it gives me more time to prep. So it's one, two. One, two, and that does well into pretty much everything. It is life orb. I feel like I need that and that, but that would mean leaving that, which isn't super good. It's pretty, okay, that's what it's gotta be. That's just it, I have to do that. Okay, I know which Pokemon I'm bringing. I don't know if it'll work, but I know which I'm bringing. How much does this attack do, I wonder? Let's assume it's max HP, max that. How much is my, <laughs> how much is this gonna do? <laughs> oh, it's helping hand. Oh, no, it doesn't do very much. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Uh, my opponent's not here. I'm kind of worried for them. They only have two minutes. If they're not here in two minutes, they got an auto loss. They'll probably come. Maybe they're just taking the time to prep. Um. So what's my plan? One, two, three, four, and leave that and that. Uh, it's okay. It's a little bit spooky, but I think it should be okay. Let me see how much this to. What's the ability? Okay, it's that ability. I might have to Terra that, which is okay. Actually, it's fine. That's actually fine. They have one minute, 15 seconds. They're not oh, they're here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Good. That's good. I'm glad. I was like, I was like, they're getting really close there. We're just waiting for them now. Okay. Um, they want to wait five minutes for connection problems. How do I? Okay, they're having some connection problems. I just told a judge just to make sure that they're all uh, aware. Hopefully that they work. I'm getting flamed from my friends for the way it's too.
I don't want to put him down, I guess. The chat saying, "What about MNJ TV?" I'm a super nice guy. I've worked with him a bunch. Um, but he will. I was. He's not like someone I actively talk to. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of YouTubers like who I like, who I've collaborated with, like uh, MNJ. I like honestly pretty much everybody. Like uh, Pokemon challenges. Like, um, you know, pre most Poketubers like pretty chill. In all honesty, uh, yeah. But like, it's different to like be work like, uh, like, like uh, I'm talking about like high level strategy uh, talks here. You know what I mean? Like high level, like 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 there have been days where John and I have messaged back and forth, voice met like voice messages each sending at least an hour. You know what I mean? Like anyway, we moved real YouTubers to bonus wolf, so now it's even more special. So don't be mad. Um, <laughs> it's at the point where people have learned about that. I'm cutting the intro. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully they figure out their connection issues because I would like to play. Like, yeah, like, oh, is Lud here? My boy. Oh, thanks, dude. Ludwig, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Oh, one minute. My, the judge says one minute left until game loss. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Could, I hope somebody told Ludwig that, uh, that we have a 10 minute delay on. <laughs> okay, thank you. My mod, my mod got it. I guess I could continue my story, but we should probably, I don't want to get interrupted um, mid, like with the game. So what, the, the story's on pause for now. Is that fair? But I, I, I'm enjoying telling it in all honesty. Okay, the opponent is, the, the judge said one minute until game loss. And then the opponent hasn't said anything. So maybe we'll give him one more minute, please. Okay, they fixed it. Okay, good. I think. Hopefully. No, I didn't have 20k. Uh, what was my plan? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, I just got to be really intentional. They don't have speed control. They do have Skeledorge. Okay, hopefully we can start soon. That's my hope. That's what I hope. Someone says, does this mean unscripted tier lists are gone? No, that's where we're going with this. Okay, we're searching, but I have, I have a match to play. So you must, you must forgive me. You must, you must bear with me for a second. Let's move this over here. I can talk. Same. Hopefully we find it. One four seven eight. One four seven eight. 
9652. I typed it incorrectly. Okay, we, this is not a good sign. No one can be found. Okay, let's try again. Maybe it was just... This time it'll work. Trust. It'll work this time. Trust. Trust. It'll work. Come on. Baby needs a new pair of Hydreigon. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, cool. Good luck. Have fun. Exclamation point. Add some technical difficulties. Sorting it out. Official rules, one. All right, let's do it. This is a tough matchup. They have King Gambit, which is a unique uh, combination of types. I knew I should have run Earth Power on my Hydreigon, but I didn't really have room for it, in all honesty. Okay. It's a unique combination of types. Um, King Gambit is a unique combination of types that makes it really difficult for me to touch it. Let's familiarize myself with the Terra types again. Um, steel, Poison, uh, Ground, Poison, Steel, Water, Electric, Fairy. Okay, so pretty much what we expect here. I think that I just have to do this, in all honesty. It's Life Orb, King Gambit. Leaving Meowskarada and um, Boldengo. I think I have to do this. I kind of feel like it's my only option. Is there any chance I get one shot by Hydreigon? I should check Hydreigon versus Hydreigon. Oh no. Oh chat, I got bad news. I died through Havenberry. <laughs> oh my god, I died through Havenberry. That's so unfortunate. Um, yikes, dude. Alright, we kind of have to unlace the mice. If we don't unlace the mice, this might go badly, in all honesty. It might be time to unlace the mice. Let me refresh myself with Skill Energy. It's will -O -S, Torch Song, Terra Blast, and Slack Off. So it's, if it's coming to the battle, it probably wants to Terra. Um... Got a good Terra type. I can beat it. That's fine. I can definitely beat it. We're thinking. Fidelio. Yeah. The problem is King Gambit, really. King Gambit, Amoongus, Garchomp, Hydreigon. I don't think Rotom Wash is very good to me, in all honesty. And Skeletor is just kind of a wild card, but I think it won't come. I think we're dealing with Gar. I think I'm dealing with Garchomp, Hydreigon, King Gambit, and Among Us. How strong is Life Orb King Gambit? Does it KO my Mouthful? Hydreigon and Gucci. Hydreigon and Skeletor. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm a little worried about uh, Gucci. Oh, I didn't even know you could use Nick. Wait, this is the it doesn't, right? Okay. So this is Terra Fairy um, Horse. Um, what is this thing? What kind of Pokemon is this? It's Terra Fairy on the um, Skeleturge. Armor comes in. We've won at least one speed tire. Are they staying in? The switch, that makes sense. This is probably King Gambit. Hey, it is King Gambit. Which I would say is unfortunate. Let's see if they Terra. They just... Okay, they hard read me. They got me. Oh my god, that does nothing. I need all 10 hits here. Hey, we got some good damage down from that. This is will o -Wisp. Oh, it's Torch Song. Got a ton of damage. King Gambit is a problem. Ugh, this sucks. Um, I really just want to stay in and, and attack here, but I probably shouldn't. I actually shouldn't. I want Psychic Terrain on the field for sure. 
They're probably gonna either protect or switch King Gambit out, but I feel like I have to do this. Yeah, protect. Fine. They're, okay, they're they're good. They've confirmed that they're good. Armor Cannon does nothing. I don't want to tear on my uh, armor here, I think. Or Tongue again. Yep, they're almost good. Okay, this is a problem. There's a lot of damage, in all honesty. There's a ton of damage. I'm screwed. Okay. We need damage on this thing expeditiously. It's gonna be mouse hold sweep or nobody sweep. That's the that's the position we're in. They might just let King Gamma go down here in all honesty. No, they don't. They switch into Hydreigon most likely. Yeah, I knew this was coming, so I made the hard read. I, I covered for this. I could have Terra Psychic here, but I decided I didn't want to. Because in all honesty, I would actually like my um, NGD to go down here. They can't protect, they don't have it. I'm going for Helping Hand, Life Orb Expanding Force. I could have gone for Terra Psychic, but I decided not to because I wanted, I, I want to save Terra for normal. Oh, I get the one shot. Oh my God, Armor Rouge is so strong. Oh, that was really big. That was really, really big. Great prediction by me. An aggressive play by Wolf Click pays off. Taking out the one of the main threats in the opponent's team, but there's more still to come. Gar Chomp. That is bad. Okay. This Garchomp is Clear Amulet with Earthquake, Rock Slide, Swords Dance, and Protect. I think that my best move here is Follow Me and Terra Psychic Expanding Force because I need Mouse Hold to KO Hydreigon in a second. I don't need Terra Normal anymore. And even if they Protect here, I'm still in okay shape, right? I just need to make sure Armor Rouge doesn't die to Earthquake. They don't Terra. They haven't Terra yet. I need to refresh on their type. Garchomp is ground. Hydreigon is poison. It would be nice if they poisoned here. If Garchomp, this seems like a good opportunity for them to go for Swords Dance, I think, maybe. I don't think Indeed goes down to Earthquake. If they had Terra grounded here, I might've been in danger. Good move, really good move. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Oh, this is actually kind of bad, isn't it? What move are they going for here? Dark Pulse? Okay, Dark Pulse comes out. And GD fainting is high key kind of bad. Because I've just given up. Ugh, I'm actually in kind of danger. How many turns are left of the psychic train? That's going to be kind of important. Nice protect. Oh, such a nice protect. Okay. Let's see here. I think I go Hydreigon. It specs Hydreigon. I set Tailwind now, I think. To ensure that next turn I can go for Draco Meteor. Right? Unless they, I, I lose on flinch, basically. Garchomp is your amulet, Specs Hydreigon. I might just switch to King Gambit here is the thing. It's close, it's a 3v3. Armor Rouge is kind of the linchpin of this whole thing. If Armor Rouge goes down, I'm gonna have a real bad time. I maybe shouldn't have Terra there. Okay. Garchomp. I'm so sick of eating rock slides. I should have been uh, Covert Cloak. Miss, no. It's was a speed tie, confirmed. You've got to be kidding me. That's so unlucky. Oh my god. Dude! If this fails, I lose, right? How many turns of Psychic Train are left? Let me slow down. Um, The last turn of Psychic Train. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, If I switch here, I think I always lose, right? I always lose. I have to do this. Oh, that's... It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I have a 50% chance, slightly worse, of winning this. Really, really good play. I didn't. I didn't cover for that at all. I'm probably just gonna lose the speed tie anyway. Yeah, I lost the speed tie anyway. Maybe they'll flinch me again if I'm lucky. 
I've seen me win these chat. Come on. Miss, miss, miss. Nice. Good miss. Super good miss. Super good miss. Psychic terrain is gone. That's bad. Is there any chance Mousel takes Earthquake? I think there's a slight chance Mousel lives in Earthquake here. Question is, do I want to go for Draco Meteor? This person's playing really well. Do I want to go for Tailwind or Draco Meteor? I'm going to go Draco. I'm just going to try and win this. I had a good early game, but the flinch really doomed me because I had Expanding Force Draco Meteor available and I lost it thanks to the flinch. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay, we need 10 hits here. Three, four, eight, eight hits. Five, six, seven, eight. And we need, we need Mousel to survive. Rock slide, rock slide, rock slide. Mouse hold, you got me? If nobody else got me, mouse hold got me? I don't think it lives this, right? Okay, I lost. So, what are my outs? I have no outs, right? Yeah, I've got no outs. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Okay. How much does Hydreigon do to uh, King Gambit? It's really bulky, right? Drago crit gets it, um, maybe. Drago crit will get it. Drago crit doesn't get it. Um, on a crit. That's my win condition here. 53 to 60. Ah, it's a crit. Okay, I can win on crit. All right. We ball. Crit! One time. Oh, that's zero ball. Okay, yeah. I don't. The crit. Ah, uh, crit might have gone. Okay. Unlucky. Unlucky. I keep losing the flinches. Yeah. Okay. This is a problem. I didn't play super well. I think, in all honesty, I think I could have played a lot better. Okay, it's unfortunate to lose game one. Um, mm, what did I do wrong here? I rushed a little bit. They really got me with a skeleton lead. Um, Archomp was spooky. I feel like I didn't even lead that badly, is the truth. I think I can win this. This doesn't feel like as bad a matchup as the last one. It's like a little tricky, but I think it's okay. I have Goldingo available. I have Meowskarada as well. No, it's not super. Oh, I have Knockoff. Yeah, I guess this, the specific typings here make it really difficult, but I think it should be okay. They're just unfortunately very good is the problem. I'm doing the same ones again, I think. I don't think the issue was with my Pokemon. In all honesty, I think the issue was with my play. I definitely had the early game advantage and, and being forced to move a little bit before I wanted was bad. They're probably just going to Terra Fairy this game, but I'm actually okay with that. Because I think I'm forced to lead this again. I kind of feel like they're going to bring the same Mons again and not even worry about Amogus. Oh, I messed up. They're going to lead King Gambit. That's my bad. That's actually my bad. I led badly, I think, given what I expect. Ah, uh, no, it's like tough because if they lead King Gambit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't do quite enough damage, do I? I need to get rid of the dark types and then I can clean with my psychic types. That's kind of the plan, right? Unfortunate, okay. Okay. Who do they intend to switch into Population Bomb? They intend to switch Garchomp in here, right?
No, this was dumb. I needed to slow down. This could definitely screw me over. I think they want to get rid of Mousehold, though. Okay, I was correct that they were switching to who, though? Skeletor? Garchomp. Okay, I got the... Okay, that was a good read by me. Let's go me. I was like, they want... They think that I'm going to go for, um... Whatever it's called. Nice, I connect. That's being a Garchomp. Big hit. Honestly, huge hit. What's King Gamma going to do? Is it going to Iron Hit me? Oh, they got me the Iron Hit. Just so much damage. Honestly, this Life Orb Recoil actually is a big deal. So I'm happy to see that it's adding up. Um, Rotom. This thing is perfect. As that. Okay. The Citrus Berry as well. I'm going to go for... Let me think about this. If I go pop bomb into Rotom, what happens? Do I think I die? Do I think Mousehold dies to Iron Head? Not really, right? I'm gonna go pop bomb into Rotom. I kind of want to Terra Normal here, but I could just lose it immediately. I don't really have another value for my attack for my um. God, Mousehold is definitely the most important Pokemon here. I'm gonna go pop. I'm gonna go Terra Normal pop bomb. It's a little risky. This is between DD. I don't love it, but it's okay. I think. I need to save Hydreigon here, I think. God, I hope Mousehold doesn't get one shot by this thing. I really hope it doesn't. This is a very risky play by me. It could definitely backfire. I don't think there's any way they just let Rotom go down here, but I, I didn't really feel like I could afford to do anything else here is the truth all i really needed was mouse hold next to armor so perhaps i should have played that like that one condition but i didn't really want to stack on my pokemon uh, yeah it's unfortunate hopefully they count out cleave into um uh ngd none to mouse hold mouse hold please hang on please i know it can get but it's strong uh oh that's absurd that is absurd Okay, that's really bad. Oh, it was obvious and I fell for it. Okay. They just go Hydreigon here and make it a speed tie, right? I can't really do anything about that. I literally can't do anything about that. I have to go for this and this, and then I just lose on speed tie. No, I can, I can, I can win on speed tie, trust. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They have safe protect. I really needed to get one more kill there. I should have just sacked. I was too scared. Man, they played well. They've honestly been playing super well. Um, Because now I can't really beat Hydreigon, can I? Unfortunately. They also haven't Terrored yet, so I'm actually just in enormous shape regardless. Or enormously poor shape regardless. Yeah. Oh. Oh, in that slot. Okay. Hydreigon comes in. Oh, wait. They, I guess you need a Hydro Pump here. The nasty slot. Okay. That's not good. That's not good at all. How much does this do? Faster than me. Half. Okay. It's big damage. Can I win this? Is there any way? <sighs> With the damage from earlier, it's going to be tricky. Um, there might be a way to win this, right? Like, protect Draco. Win the speed tie. And then what? Like, you know? And then call 50 50. This is probably Terra Electric Rotom, is my guess. Oh, it's Hydra. Interesting. Oh, it just makes expanding force easy targets, right? See if they want to lose another speed tie. 
Come on, Hydra. Show me the dollars. Okay. Well, that was fun. I lost every speed tie to this thing. Every single one. And Psychic Train is going to end too soon. Oh, how did I lose every speed tie? Psychic Train still up, but not for long. I guess the question becomes, how many turns of Psychic Train are left? Two. Okay. If I win that speed tie, I could have won. I don't know. It was unlucky. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't think there's any shot that I one shot the Rotom here, right? Just so much damage. I don't think this matchup was that bad. King Gambit was really hard, but I mean, I, losing Mouse was really bad. Come on, King Gambit! I think the messed up thing is that even with a crit here in the Rotom and tailing, I would still lose. It's barely short. That sucks. Yeah, because of Sucker Punch. I mean, I misplayed really badly. This is an experience issue. I, I shouldn't have let Mousehold go down so easily, especially after... I feel like I had really strong starts in both games, and the opponent played really well and, and brought it back. Um, yeah, I mean, losing Mousehold for zero was really bad. Um, yeah, I needed to play... I needed to acknowledge how strong Mousehold was in this in this matchup and, and use it better. Um, yeah. There's literally no way for me to win this, unfortunately. Barring... There's literally no way. Because uh, Psychic Train ends too soon. I could have gone for Trick Room there. I, I could have protected a Pokemon. Like, none of it really mattered, is the truth. Yeah. Like, there was no way around that. They played really well, honestly. Good game to them. Um, for the loss. Okay. That's okay. I, I think that... um, I need to watch that one back. That was quick, quick 2-0, unfortunately. I just... I don't think I played very well there. Okay, let's look at this game to back. Let's see what I did wrong. Hydra, Mousehold, Armor Rouge, and Ndidi. This is the right Pokemon. I think these are the right Pokemon. The other option here was um, Meowth, but I don't really think that was very good. It's just it's a, a structural issue that I'm weak to um that I'm so weak to rock slide. So I'm two two. There's well, five rounds left. I have to win all of them. So this is definitely a back against the wall scenario. But I hope that I can still like yeah. I mean I don't really feel like either of my losses were really team issues. Like definitely having only psychic and dark attacks makes like dark types hard in general. Um, and having dragon and grass to support that and having running into a steel dark type is definitely not great um like i thought that king gambit they were just it was just really difficult because of the dual dark types that i couldn't really break so i couldn't really spam expanding force in the way that i wanted um but i think i needed to bring both armor rouge and ndd here i could have led with them right but the thing is with double dark types and like yeah, like I was worried about Garchomp lead. I didn't. I wanted to tear a mouse hold here, um, but I, I probably needed to lead Armor Rouge in hindsight because I probably needed to do Armor Rouge and Hydreigon right against this. Yeah, because I needed some way of pressuring um, Garchomp and pressuring. But the thing about Gar, the thing about Ar I couldn't even do Armor Rouge Hydreigon because they lead Hydreigon and 
like they can just play the 50 50 gamble uh on the speed tie and if i lose like i did every single time Mousel was probably just barely not bulky enough to live those attacks, by the way. I feel like I shouldn't have died to Kowtow Cleave there. Does Mouse hold max attack, adamant. Does it have 135 base? Kowtow Cleave. Okay, it was a 68.8% chance to KO. So it wasn't guaranteed, but it was very likely. Switch Hydra out into Garchomp. I mean, this turn one goes amazing. They predict the population bomb into this slot, which is really, really good. I think I don't want to risk the speed tie, but I, I call it. I think Garchomp comes in, so I Draco Meteor. I didn't need to protect, but I think it was safe to. I don't think I could have switched into either Psychic type in the back is the thing. Okay, I think I had a better play here. They go Rotom, and what I could have done is just accept that I was going to take some damage here, right? And I could have encored the King Gambit into Iron Head and switched into Armor Rouge, which would have put them in a really awkward spot, I think. Yeah, if I had done that, it would have been game over. Because what's their last Pokemon? Yeah. So here, I should have realized, hey, I should have paused, calced, not gambled on Terra Normal Population Bomb. That was stupid. Um, the odds of them Hydro Pumping Hydreigon are probably pretty low because they know that... I know that their last Pokemon is Specs Hydreigon. So, um, yeah, yeah, I had guaranteed game because it's Encore, Iron Head, Rotom Protect, Switch to Armor Rouge, somebody takes the Iron Head, survives, Armor Cannon, uh, whatever, it's Encore, okay, and then Pop Bomb, Armor Cannon, and then follow me, Armor Cannon, GG, Encore, Encore, GG, so I had guaranteed game, that's my bad, I missed, I missed a guaranteed win, um, yeah, this should be Encore and Switch. I got too caught up in trying to get... Because the thing is, if, if Rotom goes down here, I, I, I also win. So, But the, I, the opponent was playing well, and I, I could have realized that from game one. So they, I knew that they weren't going to let me take Rotom, but I thought maybe they would misplay, miss the Terra normal play. But even if they take too much damage here, Hydreigon just becomes too threatening, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Encore was definitely safe here. Because even in a worst-case scenario where I lose, like... Where I lose... um. It would have to Hydro Pump and hit Hydreigon, which just doesn't seem likely, I think, in this position. So I could have Encored the King Gambit, switched to Armor Rouge, even in a worst case scenario where they just T-Bolt. I just get uh, Hydreigon back in and Draco Meteor and, um, or just a Tailwind on it, or just Tailwind Expanding Force, right? Tailwind, Terra Psychic Expanding Force, kill the Rotom. No, that doesn't work either. Oh, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. I don't know what the chat thinks about this move. Yeah. Did I make the wrong play this turn? What do I do? I mean, the, the Hydreigon's coming in, so I switch out, right? I switch in DD out and go for expanding. They go in for uh, uh, armor core, armor, armor, whatever. But, oh, it should have, okay. Oops. It should have been expanding force this turn because the King Gambit's never letting me use Armor Cannon here. So either Hydreigon comes in, like either King Gambit protects and Hydreigon goes into the other slot or, because I think this is actually a misplay, right? They go for Nasty Plot and switch to Hydreigon and now they can lose to uh, a speed tie. Not that they, not that I get the speed tie anyway, so I would have lost anyway, but like Expanding Force is better here because they're never letting me Armor Cannon into King Gambit. So being able to get the Expanding Force off is pretty good. Also, Rotom probably could have just Hydro Pumped me here. Um, Yeah. Honestly, helping hand expanding force. No, because I, I thought that Hydreigon was going to come into the other slot and they would protect. So, but I always thought King Gambit was, I never thought King Gambit was going to let me attack here. So I should have, I should have um, expanding forced. Because I mean, I got half damage on the Hydreigon, but like, yeah. I get the nasty plot off. Because imagine... Yeah, I do half... I was so close. That's the thing. I was like, I was like, I like was just a couple mistakes away. Yeah, I just be tied. They almost throw here too, because I go. Yeah, they almost throw right. I guess it depends who they thunderbolted. If they thunderbolt Hydreigon, then I guess it wasn't really a throw. But if they thunderbolted into Armourers, then it was a throw. I think. I probably could have... I mean, didn't, I was dead to plus two Thunderbolt. There was nothing I could do. Uh, yeah, I should never attack here. Uh, this is the right move, I think. I go for Terra. I skip. I paused for a second. Okay, apparently, I can't skip.
Yeah, if I'd hit the thing earlier, this would have been a much more interesting mind game, I think. This is Draco, and then... Yeah, I'm gonna lose the speed tie, so in this position, it doesn't really matter. Because they could have just protected road time. Yeah, at this point, there's nothing to be done, at all, in all honesty. So, that's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, I mean, the game one flinch was bad, but I, I didn't... The opponent outplayed me both games. I kind of just panic buttoned, I think. Just, like, W keyed forward, and I think that that's not really a good way to play. Um, so that's that was on me, for sure. But uh, it would be nice to get some luck at some point. I don't like how weak my Hydreigon is to Rock Slide. I also don't like how willing people are to just, like, Rock Slide in, into me. Someone says Wolfie equals washed up. Damn, you get flinched one time, and all of a sudden you're getting flamed. I think I don't really get mad when people like say that I'm bad because I just think it's really funny in all honesty because like the people who are talking smack are like they couldn't you know what I mean like they're so much worse anyway I'm still in the tournament I just gotta win five consecutive games it's not that big a deal I'm big chilling I used to do this all the time I used to start O2 at tournaments and then just big chill now I don't know if I'm gonna do that today because it is kind of a rough start uh, I'm not playing super well. Only six matches left. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't play super well. I can't be mad in the door with myself. Putting yourself in a position where you can lose to Rock Slide is like asking, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like you can't, uh, you can't make those kind of, you can't play like that and expect to do well. I think you can do well. You can just not get flinched, but, um, I think Berlum is pretty good. Anyway, I'm big chilling. I got the world champ difference, baby. We just need a little bit of drama. We just need a little bit of a je ne sais pas, je suis le lizard de la chien rouge, okay? It's fine. It's fine. I've been 2-2 before. 2-2 is fine. I've already got two wins. I only needed seven. You guys have no faith in me. Didn't you learn from the stream? You have no faith. Why does nobody have any faith in me? Okay, yeah. Maybe I play bad and maybe I lose. I played bad. I played bad. My own fault. Wah, 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 wah. Editor, whoever edits this, if we move on, I want you to I want some screenshots of chat, okay? When I lose, I want people talk I want all the people talking smack to show up in the video, okay? Okay? Five wins in a row. I'm big chilling. And now there's no pressure. Now nobody thinks I'm going to do well. Now I'm big. Ah, I feel so much better, chat. Nah, now I got those two losses out of the way. Woo, I feel way better. I feel so much better. Huh. Now I'm big chilling. Now everyone, wait, everyone thinks I'm going to lose. Now there's no pressure. Now if I lose, it's like, okay, well, like, what was, you think I'm going to win five wins in a row? No way. And if I win, then it's like, I got the world champ difference, baby. I'm big chilling. Why do you guys don't understand I'm big chilling? You're just, you're just a bunch of haters. I'm big chilling. I'm big chilling. Why doesn't everyone understand? Only four matches left? Let me in. I feel like you're pretty weak to dark types. Nah, I'm big chilling. I got the mouse. But dark types that are immune to nor that it resists normal are kind of bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta use, I gotta unlouse the mouse. That was my fault. I didn't unlouse the mouse enough. Everyone do like mouse and hold. <laughs> I'm big chilling. You guys have no, I can't believe nobody has any faith in me. I literally just did this. Remember that game? Remember when I was on stream and everyone, and I looked like I was gonna lose and everyone was talking smack. Everyone said, I was so bad. You're so bad. And then I won. Okay. I just, I just wanted to throw it for content, okay? I just wanted a little bit of, uh, I just wanted a little bit of, uh, 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 
You know what I mean? Like a better narrative, you know? Two wins. He's not going to win five in a row. There's no way. I'm like Mousehold. Every time I every time a match finishes and I go back and watch it, that's like Mouse. That's what Mousehold does. I don't even think this team is bad. I think I'm just playing bad, honestly. I think this team is actually pretty heat. Come on, Wolf. Come on, you great bag of glick. Two matches left. I can't believe I, I can't believe Mousehold died. Maybe it was an EVing issue. If I put the four EVs in defense, wouldn't have changed anything. E2.5. Nope, same odds. Okay, then I was correct. I should have used Terra Fighting, Terra Blast, and just killed, uh, killed King Gambit. Oh wait, Mouse one's actually decent with Terra Blast, because you can ignore- Ah, no, you want to use Population Bomb, it's basic attack, because it's garbage. King Gambit was kind of good though. I'm not gonna lie to you. King Gambit was kind of heat. We got two matches left in the round, otherwise 20 minutes, but hopefully they finish up in less than 20 minutes. I'm big chillin'. I'm big chillin'! Or I'm gonna go 2-3 like I did at Worlds. <laughs> One or the other. Two matches left still. Why is King Gambit so strong? It's just, they give it ridiculous stats. I think it's really good. Yeah, it's King Gambit is super, super strong. Oh. I just need to slow down. I don't know. I need to not panic. I think I've been rushing a little bit. Not considering all my options. Still two matches left. I hate that it gets so close to being done, but then it always goes to time every single round. Terrestrializing seems way too good. I don't think it's way too good. It feels pretty balanced in all honesty. Why your Hydreigon is slower? It's not slower. It was losing every speed tie. It's a 50-50. If, if Pokemon are the same speed stat, then it's a 50-50 shot. Which one goes first? And um, despite the fact that my Hydreigon is as fast as possible, it may as well not have been because they also had the fastest Hydreigon and I lost all three speed ties. Pretty much guaranteeing my defeat. I don't even think my mechanics are bad here. I think I just, I think I'm just like rushing a little bit. I'm, I'm not rushing a lot, honestly. I just need to like play smarter. Just take a step back. Oh, AKA, thank you for joining this, uh, this uh, channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Matches. Let me see what my opponents are doing. I don't really care. I don't really care. Oh, 
Oh, what? They just the last matches are complete now. What the heck? Oh no, never mind. How speed tie works? Your enemy go first. Lol. <laughs> this is not an official tournament. This is grassroots. This is community run. Five games left. One seventy eight. Okay, only one. Only one game left. Please, 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 please. I'd be super hype if that finished early. I wonder who it is. How do I see the pairings? Okay, it's two players at 3-0. They're 1-1 one, one right now. Hopefully it'll be not two. One more match left, then we go into the next game. One more. Quantum, thanks very much for joining. Really appreciate it. Very much appreciated. Link to John's channel. Uh, I think PM7, PM7, on it, here we go. Post new videos today. Put flamethrower into the dark pulse builder for hydrogen. It makes it a lot more exploitable in my opinion. I wanted to maybe no protect is better, but like I really use all my moves is the problem. I'm sure that something is wrong with my set. I'm sure something is wrong with it. Like the move not being able to hit steel type sucks. Earth I was thinking about earth. It doesn't even get earth power in this game. Something is not right. I don't know if you need Dark Pulse, but I really want Dark Pulse to Psychic types. Um, also, it's like, let's see. Earth Power. Okay, it does learn Earth Power. I feel like it's a nasty plot. I don't know. Something is wrong. How would you deter people from moving Rock Slide? I would ideally would just outspeed them is the problem. I can't because my, my Hydrogen is too slow. It's the advantage of Prankster or Murkrow, right? Because Murkrow always goes first. The thing about um, Pokemon is that winning game one is a pretty big deal because it allows you to be more aggressive game two. So like the fact that both game ones I lost on like, you know, crit and flinch um, and speed tie um, in the last one uh, makes it like much harder to win the set because like you have you have a game. If you're up a game, you can afford to be really aggressive. Whereas if you're down, it doesn't feel that way, right? Because you're closer to the edge. Still one game left. I think it's a music issue. I'm doing different music. Asbeck's Caliber. I think it has potential. I thought it was really good at first, and having played a bit, I'm not so sure that I was right about that. How long until your next match? At this point, at most 15 minutes, but there's only one match left. And as soon as it finishes, we can start the next one. So like only one other match at, uh, left, like that's still being played. And as soon as that match finishes, we can start the next one. So I'm hoping it'll be ready soon. Trailer's 4-0, which is dope. I want Mousehold to kill things more. There hasn't been enough. My 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 cat and mouse Pokemon haven't been. Oh yeah, this team's name is Cat and Mouse because we have the cat and the mouse. Um, Wolfie three one six. Thanks for joining the channel. Uh, uh, <laughs> bonk. <sighs> Chat. I don't want to do this. 
well, let's see who my next opponent is, because I might have to play my ace in the hole. I might have to play my ace in the hole. I don't want to. I was hoping to save this for a tournament. But after seeing all the smack talk, I feel like... I feel like I'm going to do it. I'm going to rip the bandaid. All right, hang on. I'm getting my ace. Hang on. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, bonus wolf here. Uh, my friend Wolfie VGC just called me in. He said there's having some trouble. Wanted me to step in. Uh, okay, how are we doing? Just said it was some kind of tournament. Um, okay, how, okay, team. Mouse hold me. Ascarada, NDD, Goldingo, Hydrogen, Armor Rouge. Yep, 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 yep. All looks good. Uh, might be a little weak to... Kind of weak to King Gambit. A little bit weak to Specs. Um, Goldingo, but uh, I think I can work with this. Okay, what's the record? 2-2! Two, two. Oh, man. Bonus Wolf back against the wall. What are we going to do here? Uh, it's okay. Okay, no, I feel good. Okay, I feel loose. I feel good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's kind of... He always puts me in in bad, in bad spots. It's not very nice of him, but uh, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Should be okay. Yeah. Huh, been a while since I played any VGC uh, uh, on the channel. You know what I mean? It's been a while. I've just kind of been talking about talking about stuff, but now I think I'm ready to um, play some games. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good. No, I feel good. I mean, this is... I think he could have built a better team, but, uh, you know, not everyone can be as good as the world champ here. So, um, yeah. Feel pretty good. Oh, he's using a GameCube controller. That feels kind of bad, doesn't it? Should we switch this out? Oh, no. He, he gave it to me. I should probably use it. <sighs> so I got to win five wins in a row to cover for this schmuck? You're telling me I got to win five five consecutive games? Five consecutive sets? Not so bad. I've done better. I've done, I've, I've done better. I've done better. You know what I mean? It's no, it's no problem. I can do this. I can do this. I kind of have to pee. But I should, uh, looks like the next uh, round is almost ready, so... So, uh, I guess I should, uh, just go ahead and, uh, wait for that, huh? How's chat doing today? I don't, I'm not really a streamer, you know, me, me, me being Bonus Wolf. Bonus Wolf doesn't really stream. You know what I mean? I'm a little uncomfortable in front of the camera. Well, in front of the camera, in front of a live audience. How come you guys aren't responding to what I'm saying? What's the delay on this thing? minutes he has 10 minute delay oh no no wonder no wonder it's so hard for me to tell what's going on in the chat i was like the chat really isn't responding to what i'm saying well i hope this chat chat is nice and supportive of me bonus wolf as i try to undo the mess that wolfie vgc made can you believe it can you believe it chat can you believe the the, the mess he thrust me into can you believe that that's all right nothing nothing i haven't done before not that I haven't. Not that I haven't handled before. This is no problem for old, good old Bonus Wolf. You know, you need a job done. You, you just call in your old pal Bonus Wolf. It's reliable, talented, beautiful. I'm big chilling. Oh, this last. I hate when there's one match left. It feels so bad. Ugh. Oh, all right, after the next round, I'm peeing. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. I finish the round, and you guys say just spam P in the chat, and I'll remember. But you have to remember that I'm 10 minutes in the future, so just spam over like one minute and then stop, okay? How long till round? 10 minutes tops, hopefully less. Okay, I gotta refill my water next round too. I'm bing chilling. <sighs> oh, all matches are complete. It should be starting soon.
Should be starting soon. I'm big chilling. I'm bing chilling. Should be ready soon. All matches are done. How do you know it was a speed tie? We went first every time. I have his team sheet and his specs, or their, sorry, their, their team sheet and their specs. Also, I won the first speed tie when we both switched out turn one. So it didn't do anything except confirm to me that I am faster and that I am trained correctly. Thanks very much, Michael. I appreciate the dono. Thank you very much. Okay. Everett F. Their team, King Gambit. They have King Gambit. Okay. All righty. They have King Gambit and Annihilate and Tyranitar. Houndstone, protect last respects player off Shadow Sneak, okay. At least they only have one um Weakness Policy, Terra Rock, Tyranitar, Annihilate with Scarf and Final Gambit. Why is everything on this team Final Gambit? Okay. Back to back King Gambits. Effects Boromungus, okay. Um, Defiant, Intimidate, Sandstream, Sandrush. Okay, let's deal with this. Oh man, this is not great, is it? And they have Tailwinds to Raptor too. Oh man, this looks rough. Amoongus to Renatar. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be bad. Oh wait, I have the Meows. I do have Meow. Code. Okay. Alrighty. So it's a tough matchup. Um the problem is that none of my Pokemon are very good here. I also have three fighting weaknesses, which is not ideal <laughs> against a team like this. Houndstone is play rough. Or ghost. All right, let's give this a shot. Which Pokemon am I worried about? King Gambit Among Us, Tyranitar, and Eilip Raptor. I'm not as worried about Houndstone, though it is pretty good into mine. There's dual dark types again, which is really bad for my size spam. Hydreigon here. There's Crunch, right? Rock Slide, Crunch, Low Kick.
Mona's Wolf difference, baby. Thanks for coming. Thanks for going. Overcloak, so I can't. Um...
I find this lead unpleasant. To be completely honest with you. The final gambit or is it close combat? It's final gambit into armor rouge. Okay, population bomb, you got me? Use some crits. Maybe. Two. Three. Four. Five. I need one crit. Six. Seven. I got the crit. Finish up the pack. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Nice. Okay. And I like this to lock the final gambit. Risky move. Trade one for one here. Question is, is it crunch or is it low kick? Should really should be crunch. Oh, I should have gone in DD. It didn't matter if DD died. It was actually better if DD died. That was a misplay. Please crunch me. Please don't hard remove low kick. Not um oh the low kind of fine. My last Pokemon was Armor Rouge, an ideal. It doesn't have any way to hit. I think we're fine. They didn't they didn't bring him. Did I didn't do that wrong. Did they not bring King Gambit? More than I would like. One turns a sander left. It should be three after this. Three, five, then six. There's nine. I just don't. Uh, basically, here, three turns of sand left. Four turns of psychic cream. So I can bring some atoms. Three. three turns of sand, right? Oh, follow me. I just need not. Didn't protect. Double Gibby. Nice. I should have terrored there. There was no reason not to. But I also didn't think for a second the teacher could survive that. Thanks to that. Although, again, overgrow. That's an overgrow diff. It might, it might have came out anyway, but overgrow definitely sealed it up. A little lazy with my Terra. Two strings left.
Oh. NGD was high key kind of clutch here. Uh, NGD was high key very clutch here. I got pretty lucky. Turn game one and game two. I both got lucky. Um, I, I don't know how lucky it is for a 10 hit one crit on mouse hold. It's like 90%, it's 90 hit all 10 and then it's only uh, 23 divided by 4. One in three chance to get a crit, I think, with 10 hits population bomb, because it's one minus 23 over 24 to the 10th. Yeah, so 35% chance uh, to get a crit there. Anyway, I'm going to pee and refill my water, but I'm going to go water first. Or water first. Okay, I'm I'm much much lighter now. I'm so much lighter. And so this game two is actually very scary. This lead is terrifying because both Pokemon are final gambit. So like, for example, I could have gone for like follow me plus trick room, but like they could have just double final gambited me here. You know what I mean? Like so I was like, okay, what do I do? And I was thinking, okay, well, I think that Annihilate probably wants to... Annihilate probably wants um, to Final Gambit here. 
And if it hits mouse hold, then follow, then it doesn't matter what I do with mouse hold, right? So I was thinking like, okay, well, I can't really afford, my, my thought process is like, okay, well, in the worst case scenario here, we trade one for one if I protect, they get tail one up and then I can go into NDV um, and try and go from there, I guess. Like, you know, like try and use offensive pressure, maybe sit trick them if they go for tailwind. And if they don't go for tailwind, uh, it gets a little trickier, but either way I can go for, I can go into NDD next, like basically. And in a best case scenario, I knew that population, population bomb on no bulk Raptor um, was like a roll, it's a guaranteed kill. So I figured they had max HP, it was probably like a decent chance to kill. Um, and if I knew that if I hit a single crit that it would go down as long as I hit all 10 times. Um, yeah, so that, that was my thought process there. Um, so I, I go for population bomb here thinking like, okay, in a worst case scenario, we trade one for one, they get tailwind up and then, um, it might, it looked like it was close even without, it was, I probably would have missed it, but it was going to be, it was going to be close even if I missed it. Um, Yeah. So yeah, that was turn one and then turn two. So now what happens? Now Tyranitar comes in and I'm thinking, I'm assuming they have, they have um, an, uh, I'm assuming that they have Tyranitar and King Gambit in the back. So they go Tyranitar here. I think, okay, great. The last Pokemon is King Gambit. And now I have a choice. And Mousehold basically has two options here. It can follow me to try and take the final Gambit um, or it, can, it has to follow me to try and take the final Gambit. So Mousehold always follows me here. And my option is, do I want to go for Armor Cannon, maybe Terra? Now, like, I could have armor cannon trying to get the King Gambit switch in, but if I missed, I would have lost, right? Because once Armor Rouge goes down, I can't really deal with King Gambit anymore since I have Indeedee in the back. I think the proper move here was to switch King, uh, Armor Rouge into Indeedee because even if I took a crunch, I probably would have survived. Um, and the way that I lose this is if Meow Skirata goes down, I can no longer beat Tyranitar. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, if Bonus Wolf, if um, Meow Skirata goes down, I can't beat Tyranitar, but I've already locked it in. I'm thinking, oh, they're probably going to crunch, right? So. This is where I was really stressed because there's two things that can go badly here. At this point, I know Annihilate was staying in, which means you trade one for one, which is great. But if Meowth Grotto eats a low kick here, it's going to be bad news bears. Um, so we go for Follow Me. Annihilate was Choice Scarfed, so it has to go for Final Gambit here. Basically, Mouse Hold two for one in a matchup where it wasn't very good. The opponent brought Dual Ghost Type, Rock Type to Renatar, and uh, Intimidate Staraptor. And Mouse Hold still basically killed two Mons at, its own, at the cost of its own life, which is actually really clutch. When I led this, I wasn't thinking that I I, I led this because they had a really scary lead they could go for that I've already forgotten about. Anyway, overgrow procs, um, and I'm thinking to myself, great. Now I go into Ndidi and I have guaranteed game because I can follow me with Ndidi until it goes down. And then if I get Armourge next to Meow Skirata, Meow Skirata outspeeds Serenitar one shots it, Armourge outspeeds Gambit in one shots it, and then I guaranteed win. Because like there's nothing they can do. They would need like 10 protects um, to, in order to win this, right? So... I go into here, but then they reveal Houndstone. And for your reference, Houndstone's moves are Protect, Shadow Sneak, Play Rough, and Last Respect. And it did a lot of damage. Uh, this is max defense to DD. It's like super physically bulky. There's a Cafro. So I thought about going for the, I shouldn't have tear out here. There was no reason to, I was never gonna use anything else here. Um, Yeah, I had to tear grass here, but it, it also didn't matter. Like they were dead anyway. Um, Yeah. That was a small mistake though, but it didn't matter. I don't, I don't think it mattered. Um, yeah, basically like my thought process is once I need me out to take out Tyranitar and then Armour Rouge should be able to um, win this. They go for Protect, that makes sense. I couldn't I, like Rock Slide into, if I if I attack Houndstone and like there was no reason to make an aggressive read here, especially because I know that Houndstone can't really quickly get rid of NDD. They go for, I, they go for Play Rough. This is 46. Just to my, uh, thank you very much for joining. See that I have no health left. And you know what? Ironically, like, if I'd gone in DD earlier and taken Crunch, uh, this might have been worse for me, right? If it was indeed, if the DD was lower, then it could have been, it could have been worse because then Armor Rouge, then I would have actually had to play mind game. So I didn't do it. It wasn't a good move, but it ended up working better for me. Nah, because then I could I could have followed me and um yeah I, my the, the odds were more in my favor I think it was okay I think I could have won either way but this made it like pretty guaranteed because I just had safe autopilot moves so they go for player off they don't go for the protect that makes sense I mean maybe they think that they have to they, I need to make a mistake for for them to win so if I attack in a houndstone and they get Terra Rock Slide off then they could win um but I just kill them.
And then, yeah, I Terra here just to be safe, but it shouldn't matter. I don't see a choice ban uh, crit. Terra, uh, uh, Overgrow. Overgrow has actually been super clutch. I don't know if you all have seen, but it feels like it's activating at once per set at least. Time, but it's, it's over at this point. I can just. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it was a little messy. Like, uh, the combination of King Gambit and Tyranitar is pretty difficult, in all honesty, but. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had tape to block the light geo, but then. It's okay now. Here's the sun change. Yeah, the tape fell off. Magic. <sighs> oh, the blinds are back. Yeah, I'm out of tape. Sorry. It's just a... It's just, it's a bonus wolf video. Sorry. It's just a bonus wolf thing. You guys wouldn't get it. You wolf of VGC frogs wouldn't get it. This is just a bonus wolf thing. All right. <laughs> Mickey Mouse carry. <laughs> Honestly, Mousehold was so clutch. Mousehold was so clutch that game. Oh my God. Mousehold actually came in Omega clutch. Honestly, Mickey, the, the Meowth Squad has been really good. Meowth Squad has been super, 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 super clutch. And Meowth has been good too, but Meowth Squad, it feels like it hasn't let me down. It feels like the only, I've let it, I mean, Wolfie, I watched Wolfie VGC let it down for bonus Wolf over here. It's been really well. It's been, it felt really good that game. I'm very glad that I added it. It was a, it was an amazing last second addition for sure. Goldengo, not so much. I feel like Goldengo is currently the weakest member of the team based on what I, I watched Wolfie VGC play and then from my experience. Chat, let's um, let's just stand up really quickly. Let's do a little stretching break. I, I feel kind of like, I feel like I could use a stretch. I'm not gonna move the camera up, but just, just all stretch with me. You know what I mean? Cause like the camera, my, my setup is so precarious. I'm not touching the camera, um, but you all should stretch too. My best stretches, but I feel better after that. Yeah. <sighs> Four rounds in, five rounds in. We're over halfway done. If I keep going at this pace, I will not. A bonus wolf will not advance. Neither will you see. Anyway, my story. Okay, so let's recap. <laughs> let's do a quick recap. 2018, I graduate. Let's go back. 2016. Sorry, let's go back. 2014. Aaron Zhang starts making YouTube videos. He has a lot of success, especially for the VGC community, and he does a lot of good. 2016. I message Aaron. I say, hey, man, making videos sounds really fun. I've got some free time right now, but I don't think I'd be very good at it. Honestly, like it seems really hard. I don't think I'd be any good at it. And Aaron Zhang goes, hey, man, I think you'd be really good. You should give it a shot. So I decided to because I trust, I trust Aaron. Um, Make videos for a couple years. I'm in college. This is 2016. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm in my sophomore year of college. It's like March 2016. Um, I make videos. I have like 10,000 subscribers. Maybe I win the world championships that year. Pokemon Go comes out. Sun and Moon come out uh, that next fall, 2017, and I climb to about 50 or 60,000 subscribers. I post about once a week on average, just doing it whatever. Like um, until uh, fall of 2019. Uh, October where I start posting daily videos while working my full-time job. I graduated, I start working my job. I hate it. I post videos um, 
I worked there for a year and, I, and then a year in, I decided to start posting videos every day. Um, do that. I, I quit my uh, channel goes pretty big. Um, I quit my job. I decided to do it for six months. I do it post daily videos. I don't edit any of them. I burn myself out really bad. I reach out to my friend, Justin. I say, Justin, I'm so lost. He says, Hey man, I'll give you a hand. He helps me hire editors. He helps me give me strategy. He opened a consulting business off of this. So if you, uh, well, he's pretty exclusive who he works with, but I don't know if there's anybody who uh, has like a YouTube channel that's like, I don't know, big, uh, he might work with you. If you, if you uh, need a rec, you know, he's done this for a couple other channels right now. I don't think he's currently accepting clients. I think he's full with people. Anyway, um, Justin helps me out. He gets editors. I get two super talented ed editors, Wit and Tom Stility. Uh, together, we start figuring out content. I'm, I switch my content from posting every single day to posting twice a week. One edited video and one stream highlight style video. I stream a lot. I don't get any followers. I'm like, I suck at streaming. Um, burn myself out really bad. Um, try a bunch of different content. Nothing works. Everything is bad. All my views are bad. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I reach out to PM7, Pokemon7, uh, Playmore7. Uh, you've probably seen one of his videos. Some of his videos. They are very viral and very good. Um, I say, hey man, I suck and you're good. Can you help me? He says, okay, sure. He gives me a ton of advice, spends a ton of time mentoring me. I get better. My videos get better. Um, and that's where we left off pretty much. So, um, I have, I have, I now for the first time have a coworker. I have someone who I can talk about my ideas with. I have someone to bounce ideas off of. It's very, very helpful. And I have a mentor for the first, nah, maybe men, I mean, I've had mentorship, like Alfred give me a uh, mentorship. Um, whenever I've asked Ludwig for anything, he's always been really good to me and helped me, um, uh, like helped give me advice and stuff. Um, but um yeah but i have i have kind of like a more hands-on mentor i should say um so it's really great i start seeing a lot of i start seeing instant results and i'm getting better really quickly and my content is, is becoming sharper everything is becoming more intentional i learn after all this time i start to be able to identify what i like in editing and what i don't like and i start to be able to communicate with that with people um i am so ne but now the thing is that i'm doing almost entirely fully edited videos uh like it's all it's all scripted it has and and uh, at the cost of some of my personality i'm not a phenomenal script writer i think i do a good job um but i'm, I'm missing some of my personality so um i decide to I, I i play in what was the first video of it the pokemon unite tournament so i entered a how i how, how i almost won a pokemon unite tournament the alpha Red unite tournament there's a ton of creators in it. I'm, I'm on a team with a bunch of people and I make a video about, I stream the tournament and then I make a video about it, but it's different than my other things, than my other videos. This is a new style of content for me. So before we had fully edited, fully scripted, like eight page videos, and we had um, full stream highlights where I gave basically no guidance and just gave it to Wit and said, hey, can you make this smaller? And then he would. This was different. This time I had a script, but it was a mix of post-com and narration with the actual gameplay footage. And it was the first time I'd done something like that, that and the video does really well. And I think, oh, this is interesting. And then I, I play in um, Pokemon Challenges. Yawn, he has a random battle tournament. And I play in that and, and I get second place and I um, I do the same thing again. I do a narrated style that kind of like condenses everything and makes it much more watchable. Um, and that's great. That's awesome. And that video is one of my most viewed videos ever, I think. You can actually check this. Videos are by popular. It's my second most viewed video ever behind the Jaden video, which is kind of an unfair comparison. So of, of the videos that are only on my own uh, audience, like based on only myself, it's my most viewed video ever. So, and it's second most compared to the Jaden one. So, um, so now I feel like I've unlocked a new style of content. It's kind of a hybrid between streaming and editing, which is great. But the thing is that it only works for things where I'm going to stream it, right? I, I use it a couple more times to do it for the Markiplier video. I, I throw it in every once in a while um, here and there. My content continues to improve. Scarlet, so March of last year comes around and I start thinking very seriously about Scarlet and Violet. When Scarlet and Violet is over, I will show you my schedule and my spreadsheets. I'm very proud of them. It is a remarkable amount of, I had about 30 videos, video ideas, like all ready before the game's even released. Um, like everything that I'm doing right now is stuff that I've already, I built the plan. I built the back, like the back uh, drop to, like my entire Scarlet and Violet content strategy was done before the game's release. And of course I can pivot every, every here and there, but the, the strategy is very solid and I feel very good about it. But it was, I started in March of last year. And uh, so I started thinking about Scarlet and Violet and I kind of had a couple, I had a couple thoughts. So I had a couple thoughts. I thought, okay, well I have about nine months before the game's released. This is March of last year. What's the best way to spend this time? And so I decided that I basically have two goals. Number one is to deepen the current content that I do and make it better. And the second is to broaden the scope a little bit. So 
um i started thinking about it i started getting organized and i started doing TikTok and youtube shorts and reaching a short form audience hire an editor for that it performs really well we're really happy with it we have a short uh, in, in july in june of last year the shorts channel starts blowing up we start posting the TikToks on the shorts channel they start blowing up we see great this is a new way of, this is a new form of content for us uh start posting them on the main channel then I need more editors. So we reach out. Uh, we're, we're kind of continuously uh, looking for editors. We do another big push, get a bunch of people. We have some editing issues. It's okay. Like it's not in the world, but like over the summer, things slow down a lot, basically because there was just a lot of issues with editors. I'm like, I don't really want to go in detail, but like, yeah, just like things, the ball kept being dropped, um, which is okay. Like it, it happens, but yeah. So the summer is around and I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble. I'm, I have like just a ton of like just issue after issue, after issue, after issue. And I'm, my videos are now so, so time intensive that they take two weeks of editing with people working part-time for me like kind of just like out, out on the side um so it's a lot of work to get these videos done and i'm i'm we're late for sponsors we're like well, the videos are always late we just can't keep things um held down and uh wit actually uh, i forgot to mention gets offered a, a full-time job somewhere else because I'm, I'm paying him part-time he gets offered a full-time job he's like hey man i'm sorry i gotta take this like i was like of course like you know it's paying you full-time i can only afford you part-time um yeah but then I realized, so then, okay, so basically then, so I, I, I like, I'm trying to find new editors. Um, Sility also has something come up, so he's out of the picture for a while. So we're trying to make things work and things are just not going well. The, the upload rate has slowed down to once every two weeks and we're actually even missing that. So we went from daily update uploads two years ago to once every two weeks. And it's clear that things aren't working. So I start working with my agency and I say, hey, I need you guys to get me more sponsors. In the past, I was super selective about what sponsors I took. And now I'm like, I'll take them. I'll take them. You know what I mean? Like I'll take them because my plan is now to accept more sponsors and use the money to bring people on full time. So I reached out to Wit and I'm like, Hey, what if I could pay you full time? And he was like, yeah, I'm down. So we, I bring him back on. We uh, get Sility back as well. So now that the gang's all back together, we have, and we have a bunch of people who we employ part-time as well. who are still part-time and are still like Uzi, my original editor is doing work for us right now. Just part-time, but he's a huge, it's just like a huge, super helpful. So I start assembling a team, right? I have people to help with my, um, I have people to help edit the videos right and i have um but 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 at this point you know i'm writing i can write about one script a week and maybe maybe two if i really push myself but these scripts are about 10 pages they require a lot of research they require a lot of thought but they're not easy to just bang out i really care about the quality so they're really difficult so i actually reach out to i, I come across a video somebody tags me in a video on twitter it has like a hundred views um and it's a video about vgc from someone i hadn't heard of before and i was like oh like and they put me in the thumbnail so i was like all right i'll watch it like uh i'll watch this video and the video is really good and I'm like, wait, there's somebody who I've never heard of who made a really, really good video. And I reach out to them and I'm like, hey, would you like to come on as a script writer for me? Like, I need help writing my scripts. Like, I can get to the information, but the actual, like, writing and making it sound nice is, like, not my strong suit. And they were like, yeah, of course. So, um, basically, my, I'm, I start offloading everything. I don't edit. I don't, I, I, like, my scripts still are, like, my ideas, but the actual prose is not always mine. Some of, some of the, it kind of depends on the script as well. Like, some th stuff, um has to be entirely me like because it just can't really be written by somebody else and some stuff um dj helps out with the script writer so um yeah so basically summer we start assembling the team we get everything we have kind of a rough september we we, we september is when i bring people on full time we have a kind of a rough, rough transition but by october we really have everything up and running we're able to post one video per week um i start working with an editing company because the plan for scarlet and violet so we went from videos every day to videos every week to video uh, to two videos a week to videos every week to videos of one video every two weeks to video every week and now with scarlet and violet we're at four videos per week and i'm like we need more help so i reach out to an editing company i'm like hey can you handle some of these they're like sure so now we have three people editing full-time we have a writer full-time as well um yes oh uh, let me check the stand uh, thing put it to the left the thing so we're all basically we're basically all set up and um but it's become apparent that for scarlet and violet i cannot be posted i can't give each editor you know a 10 page script to do quickly it's they just take too long and then we have some really mega videos basically at the moment two of my editors are working on omega videos like super like two week long projects at least actually one of them is a one of them is a one month long video like it's one it's it's the best Terra type for every single pokemon it's an enormous script it's an enormous effort and it takes it's, it's gonna take a month to edit basically in total they've been working on it already for like two three weeks um at this point um and, and so i'm like okay so i need to discover i need to find a, a way of making videos that um is not as time intensive for the editing because we want to i want to keep this pace 
I'm like, what should I do? And so my, my point with all this, the reason I started talking about this is that I once again felt like I unlocked a new form of content, which is the kind of video I posted today and the last video that I posted as well about ranking the items, which is a mix between kind of the old unedited style with the newer editing. So these videos are totally unscripted, like, and but I can do as many takes as I want, right? So um, they're much easier to edit. They're uh, much easier to film. And I think they do a better job of showing my personality. We actually got a lot of comments on the item video in particular, because I snuck a couple jokes in there. I find it's easier for me to riff when I'm not reading a script and I can kind of just react to what I'm saying in the moment. So, um, yeah, and that brings us to where we are now. So basically my, I, want, I kind of wanted to talk about this to kind of show you all that, like my, I'm always changing the way that my content looks like, and I'm always trying to like find ways of, um, upping, upping the, the, the quality and, and just making smarter decisions. And actually last weekend I was in New York filming a video, which is the still, I posted the stills on Twitter, which is. This is not going to be a, uh, something that I can do, you know, once a week or maybe even once a month, but it's investing. We, we rented out a studio and we invested pretty heavily. We, we spent like a ton of time on the script um, and it's a, it's going to be, it's going to be a very nice looking video. I think it's going to be in terms of quality, one of the best on the channel. Um, and I feel like this is something that I, this is the next avenue I'm interested in exploring, which are these higher production value, higher effort, rarer, like really big hit videos, especially around educational content. So. That's kind of where I, st where, I where I am with things now, but I, I wanted to kind of talk about it because I think it's interesting to kind of see how my content's evolved. Um, and I don't know, like maybe you guys thought it was, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't live in New York City. No, but I'm a train right away. I live in Wolfville. Why does Armourish have a life orb? Armourish, to my knowledge, is the only expanding force user in the game, one of the strongest attacks. So the entire build is set up around um, doing enormous damage to the expanding force, which is why it's Terra Psychic and why it's uh, life orb. However, uh, when your opponents all have multiple dark types on their teams, it does not work as well, I will say. Especially when one of them is King Gambit, which forces you to bring Armourish. Zane, Zane's in chat. This is, and then the story ends. Oh, I got a mod. How do I mod Zane? This is, and then the story ends. Uh, with you coming to New York, Zane is the person who um, helped write the entire script and filmed the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, the, the it, you will see this video and you'll be like, this video is too high quality to be on this channel. And that is because Zane is the one who directed, wrote, filmed it. I'm literally just, I could be anybody. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't contribute. So someone asked, do I do competitive Pokemon training? I'm trying to learn competitive Pokemon. I'd like to learn from the best. I've done Metify. I don't have, the thing right now is that, so basically for the last couple, since the games came out and even a little before then, my uh, schedule has been pretty intense. Basically I wake up at 8.30 AM. I work until noon. I eat a banana, whatever. I work until noon or one. I, I take half an hour break to eat, uh, to eat lunch. I work until... 8 p.m. most nights, 7, 7.30, 8, 7. Uh, I have half an hour for dinner. I work until 11. I shower, I go to bed. Um, So I get an hour and a half off and the rest of the day I'm working. So things have been very, very intense. And what I learned is that my throat actually can't handle like talking this much. It's too, it's too intensive. I, I, I think I'm once this is all over and things have calmed down, I'm going to work with a speech. I'm going to find like a speech professional to figure out how I can talk in a healthier way. Um. But at the moment, it's like I my throat really starts to hurt. I was actually I went to a party. It was a friend's giving. It was like it was <laughs> the games came out on Friday. I started streaming them on Friday. The friend's giving was the day after. It was Saturday, but it was a good friend and I really wanted to go. So I took the night off. I, I, I went and I was there for like three hours. And I honestly, y'all, I was like kind of schmoovin'. I was like I was like talking to everybody like I didn't know anybody there, but I was just like I was just in a good. I was honestly really impressed with myself because I was exhausted after streaming for like 14 hours over two days, maybe more, um, probably more. Um, <laughs> but I was like, just like, I don't know. I was like, I really want to, I don't want to go. I don't know anybody. So I feel like I really have to like work hard to like be social and like, yeah, whatever. Um, so it was a lot of effort, but I did really well. I was like crashing a little bit. And then I hit a point and my throat just like, I like felt it. And I was like, if I talk much more, I'm going to actually damage it. And I went to my friend and I was like, Hey, 
I had a great time. I have to go. My throat hurts. And he was like, yep. Oh, uh, and I came home and my roommate was like, hey, how's the party? And I was like, and he was like, huh? Like, he asked me some more questions. I went, and then I texted him. I was like, I can't talk anymore. So, but that was the worst it was. Um, and I, I, I recognized it and I stopped. Kind of remind, you know this reminds me of old Battle Factory music. That was my jam. How many matches are left? Four left. Two minutes. I need to stretch again. Let's, let's stand up again. Too much sitting for us, huh? Too much sitting, to be clear. Too much sitting. Okay? Too much sitting. Oh. oh. good i think i have to pee again i'm just gonna go now i've been drinking too much water it's like to make sure my throat doesn't be damaged but then i have to pee all the time bye bye guys bonus wolf back again i don't know where wolfie vgc went i think he took a walk oh all the matches are done okay wait pairing is going to be up soon nice finished 15 minutes early that's great Soon, 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 champ. Oh, next round is up. Yeah. Okay. Well, Billis says it's up, but I don't see it. Must be a lag. Refresh, 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 refresh. I think it's just up just automatically. I don't need to refresh. Move this over here. Voice Specs, Goldango, Tailwind, Murkrow. Oh no, that's bad. Okay, all right, let's figure this out.
That's not good. Unless this is Hydreigon. There's Annihilate. Okay, it's fine. Somehow, and we're fucked. Just boom. Final gambit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Scrotum might get down here. Do it. Get more V-Way. Oh, sorry, man. Scrotum, my bad. Good job, though. I just died here. Come on, Hydra. Come on, buddy. Nice. Big damage, please. Not enough. Nice plan. Oh, I have an idea. I guess super lucky to win that speed tie. Hydra goes down. Oh my god, clutch Terra Fairy. Super clutch Terra Fairy. I might still lose, depending on what the last little one is. If it's delayed, we're fine. If it's Dragonite, we're maybe okay. And if it's... Full Dango, I think. Full Dango, okay. I did. This thing is super slow. I've already terrestrialized an armor cannon here, and I can probably just pull on me, because if they have... I'll play. I'm gonna lower my defense if they have to pull on me. Move next. Okay.
die to armor can? This is weird. I couldn't die to armor.
Hydra again. Hold the uh, Goldengo in the back. Hydra again for Annihilate, out by Murkrow, follow me. Uh, armor Cannon, trade, trade. Um, Hydra again in Expanding Force. Oh, close combat. Close combat, I'll play 33%. Taking more time on that turn, I'm actually bigger picks better. Pick better. You know, we're kind of decay out, KO'd last game, I don't roll. Dragon comes in. Okay. Yeah, as long as I like, KO them, I should help him hand it. I should help him hand it. If Murkrow went down, this is fine. I need you to go down, Murkrow. Oh, I should help him hand it. Sure, I don't want to take power play here. Okay, it's fine. This Murkrow's not bulky. Okay, follow me, extending force. Hydrigan in. How one protect? Um, I need to get a kill this turn. They're going one, switching other. Well, then go switches in. Okay. Armor. What's that? Um. Wait. The roll to kill, but I'm not just annihilate. There's a tail one left. One. I haven't carried yet with Terra Pegasus. Got it. Terra Fire, Terra Steel. Follow me for sure. If I get this wrong, I lose. Get it right, I'm at this too. Yeah, I wanted to extend of course here. It's a roll to kill, probably. It might not be a roll to kill, honestly. Uh, I did some damage actually. It's probably a slight chance to kill. If it kills here, we probably just win. We don't win. They haven't cared. Um, I want to deliver Scarf is out. Kind of like... That one is gone. Two turns are tripping left, yeah? Three, two turns. Two turns of Trick Room. Last turn of Psychic Train. No more priority for them. That's fine. Work for speed. Win on speed tie. Win on Draco, not KO. Go for Draco, they could really end up screwed here. But they also don't know that I don't. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. I think the obvious play is not bad. At least. If I die here, at least. What is the purpose of Havenberry if it just dies anyway? Oh my god. I lose. I super, super lose. I threw. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to win a game three. Shadow Claw. Ah, oh, I threw. I super threw. Oh, they are minus two though. Nah, I, I threw. They haven't. If they hadn't Terra, I could win. But they, they've already. Oh, I lost the speed tie. 
crit! I'm just barely short. Let's kill and then yeah, it's in there. Ah, this was so winnable and I just messed up. It was so, so winnable. Oh man, it's gonna be really hard to win a game three. I should have won this. Oh, okay, it's just a bad matchup. Okay. I, I should have, that's okay, it happens, right? I think I had a better play there anyway. TR is up. That one is up. Barring a one-shot on Goldango, which doesn't seem possible, must we forget the big gnome. Hang on, it's a if they're really frail, it's a roll. Is there like no bull? Oh, what the heck was a Kalkin? Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot the multiplier. I need, I need to crit. It, it kills if I crit, otherwise I, I'm super dead. Crit! In the crit, just in a little damage. So close. It's gonna be really hard to win a game three. I played really well here too. I just made one mistake. I need to slow down. If the thing is, I'm getting the turn one correct. Mid game, I'm messing up. Okay, let's see. Final Gambit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. At least you survived. Oh, it'd actually be good if this doesn't kill. Nice. Super clutch. Turbo clutch. Not as clutch, I will be honest.
drive in the back. Yeah, all right. I want a Terra here, but I don't think I should. In case. It's probably an obvious switch out, but... Go for it. Yeah, it was obvious. I could have cared. D Knight. Nice D Knight. A lot of damage. Salt this Dragonite. Gonna go for Earthquake here. Um. Psychic Terrain is up. They wasted their Terra. They have no more Terra. They wasted it. They can't protect. I didn't forget anything, right? There's no, there should be no way for extreme speed to connect. Psychic Terrain is up. They didn't go for it. Okay. They didn't want to be Dragon for some reason. I don't really know why. This should KO unless they're multi-scale. If they're multi-scale, I just, I gambled on being in a focus. And this team sheet told me. The team sheet literally told me and I didn't think to read it. Okay, we're still in okay shape though. Um, question is how much is stop I gonna do here? Oh God, that does a lot. This is where I have to slow down. This is a winnable, this is a game winning position, I think. Worst case scenarios, Hydreigon is in the back. I need to count Trick Room turns here. Three turns of Trick Room. Every other time, I need to run the Calc on her, bro. Because I've killed it twice. But if I'm wrong here, I will lose. Like, if it's not a... If it's not helping... Skill Light. I need a lot of special turns to try. They're probably max HP, max speed, right? I'm gonna... If I'm wrong... Do I have another win condition here? If I, what if I go for Helping Hand to guarantee it? I think I'm making a mistake. No, this should be okay. Might not be okay. I need more to go down. This actually is not a game winning position, I think. Okay. There's one too many turns of Trick Room left, unfortunately. And too many turns of Psychic Train as well, because now I go down here. I think. That's enough damage. Oh, I'm gonna lose just barely. I also love a heat wave. The roll to kill. Oh, what's the what's the play? I don't think armor panel will do enough here. I'm pretty sure I lose this. Turns like you're gonna lift. Last one, I was one turn short. I, I armor cannon here. Sucker. Max Prey. Oh, they did more than I thought. Is that a crit? 
It's going to be close. That crit totally mattered. I totally got bailed. I just super got bailed. Yeah, that absolutely mattered. Holy cow. That's a high roll. That's playing your out, but oh my god, that is a super high roll. Psychic Train has this turn, so even if... Okay. Yes, Greta goes down. One turn left to trick room, but two turns of Psychic Train. There are two turns left to trick room, but one turn of Psychic Train. There's the end of that weirdness. We can close this out because this thing is Choice Scarf and cannot protect itself. Man. I it was a little I was definitely messy. It was definitely messy, but it wouldn't go in. I made a mistake. I don't even know where though. I had a, it felt like a game winning position. It depends on how much. Uh, there was a way to win this safely, I'm pretty sure. Do I need to? I don't know. I have a headache. Let's let's take a break. Let me let me un I will reflect on this match later because that was not clean. It was a bad matchup, but I feel like I had I feel like I had the position. Ooh, man, that was stressful. I have a headache. I need to. <sighs> yes, Garado once again carried me. Oh, man. My head. All just. Oh, man. That was tough. Like Scoob, that one was really tough. Man, good thing I, good thing, I gotta be honest with y'all. I don't think Wolfie VGC would have gotten that crit. I think that was a bonus wolf. I think that was a that was a bonus wolf crit. Certified bonus wolf crit. I'm proud of myself for identifying that win condition. Although, like, I had two shots to crit there. It's not the best odds. My other option was, like, kill, annihilate, and lose to protect. Or bank on surviving. I had no other option there, I think. Because if I KO annihilate, I can U-turn, and then I always lose to Heat Wave or Draco. I could, I could bank on a miss, basically. I could win on miss. I gotta pee.
how long have I been muted for? I think I was muted for the last 10 minutes. Oh my god, I was literally muted for the last 10 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so mental boomed. I didn't say anything valuable. <laughs> uh, that's the that's that's the bonus wolf. That's the bonus wolf flare we all love. Oh my god, I forgot. I guess I why did I even mute myself? This mic only picks up. It's not like you guys can hear me peeing. The bathroom's all the way over there. Oh man. Three matches left. Maybe I mean myself just to farm engagement, except that everyone's gonna leave. Oh man, it feels bad. Oh, put 10 minutes delay on. What's the worst thing that happens? I almost did 30 minute delay. I almost did 30 minute delay. I can't believe people are flaming me for not reading chat. As soon as you started saying it, I knew. You just had to anticipate that I wasn't going to turn it back on 10 minutes ago. You just, had to, you just had to anticipate. It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> Damn, the view is a dropping. <laughs> At least I didn't say anything of value. I think I was just bemoaning my head. Anyone lead root relips? One seventeen out of one nineteen. Two matches left. end the stream and then turn off the stream delay and just start streaming again but it probably is i don't know i don't want to i don't wanna have to worry about people sniping sorry guys you know me bonus wolf not uh not known for technologic not known for good technology that's the risk you bring bonus wolf on you get better gameplay at the cost of technological issues. <laughs> oh, was he cooking? Start tweeting. What do you even tweet? I see the chat. I just you're 10 minutes behind me. Oh, wow. Plop left panda. Oh, my God. I've been streaming so much I haven't been able to keep up with everything. Still two matches left. Matches left. Oh my god, the whole chat. I can't even look at the chat anymore.
You get Breeze is living panda, geez. This whole thing's crazy. I'm not really, I don't really feel like I'm like all of it to speak on it, but I don't know, dog. <laughs> Nobody on the chat understands the stream delay. <laughs> Uh, this is my punishment. This is my punishment for muting for 10 minutes is that I have to deal with 10 minutes of bad chat. How many minutes has it been? Surely, surely many. There's only one match left in the round. So we should be wrapping up soon. I'm so sorry for the chat for the last 10 minutes. Thank you, Rand. I appreciate it. There's so many Murkrow. I'm tired of Murkrow. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to lie to y'all. I don't want to play against any more Murkrow. I guess I have to start using Murkrow, huh? Extra Tail is just so good. Extra Tail is too good. <laughs> I should turn off Helping Hand on the Cal because I'm definitely going to forget about that. Turn off Psychic Screen as well. Because it's easier to spot you doing less damage than more. One match left, and then we can go to the next round. Bonus Wolf, you gotta get better with technology, man. Someone says, what's the price for the tournament? That's a normal message. Uh, I think it's the price pool is like $1,000. I think first place gets 500 bucks. So either it'll probably be less than 10 minutes. There's only one match left. Let's see who's uh wanted um Harry. Oh, it's done. I literally I clicked on it and it finished. Okay, cool. So the next round should be starting soon. Okay, Zora King Gambit. Oh no, King Gambit specs Goldengo. Scarf Annihilate. Okay. Coach Roll gets Trick Room? What? I didn't know that. It's a Trick Room team. Um, Choice Ben, Mudsdale, Goldengo. This one's gonna be a bit tricky, folks. I'm not gonna lie to you. This one might be just a wee bit, just a cheeky little, just a, just a wee bit, just a little bit, and just uh, might be a little. This one might be tricky. <laughs> I barely know her. Um, uh, je suis les oeufs de la chienne rouge. Okay, let's get ready. This is gonna be tricky. This one is gonna be tricky. Um, definitely an armor rouge centric game plan since it's kind of my only Pokemon to hit freaking King Gambit. Okay, the team sheet is wrong. It is high horsepower. Not as big. Terra Ground Mudsdale, Terra Water Toad's Cruel, Terra Electric Annihilate, 
or ghost holding oh terra steel can terra steel can gambit terra fire overt cloak armor so no and Dango scary, King Gambit is scary, Armor Rouge is scary, Told Cruel is scary, Mudsdale is scary, everything is scary. Ma! How do I feel? It seems to be a Trick Room team. That's my analysis. Um, I have a plan. It's low key kind of stupid, but it's low key kind of smart. You know what I'm saying? It's low key kind of stupid and it's smart. Okay. So it's Trick Room. With King Gambit and Golden Go and Annihilate and uh le ba da ba da, you know what I'm saying? And Mudsdale and Toad's cool. Okay, I gotta stop being funny. I gotta actually focus here. I really want to bring Mouskarada here is the truth, but I don't think I can. Right. I really don't think I can. I think it's gotta be these four. At least game one. Like Mouskarada kind of threatens everything, but the Annihilate is pretty Annihilate is close combat, final game, but rock rock team and your turn. Okay. The terror types it's steel, fire, ghost. Oh, ghost. Okay, this is uh, honest to god, this is what we expected. Let's think about this. So, Gamma comes in here. I could have gone for the armor cannon if I wanted, but I want to put on. I, I don't want anything to fall asleep. Here the Oh, I'm faster. Oh, it might be. Okay, fine. I might have been going for the thing. That's good to know. I'm not sure if I went for Spore Earth Power there. 
but uh, yeah, I needed that thing going. I could have gone. I couldn't have gone for Terra Psychic. I would have taken too much from this turn. In all honesty, there's not really a downside to protecting with both. I'm scouting. I'm scouting up the deck. Right. Might be Armor Rouge at last, in which case I'd just be giving it a, a fire type attack boost. This was a misplay. This was a huge misplay. Terra type is what? Steel or dark? Steel. Okay. That's good to know. I'm glad I checked. Follow me. And armor. Okay. And Doobie goes down. Did you think? Now it goes down. Go down as well. What could come in here? Goldango or Armor Rouge, right? Both, both are possible. There are Ghost Goldango. There's Goldango. It's probably worthwhile find out. I'm really worried about the specs just KOing me. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I'm willing to show what my last Pokemon is. I think it's worth it to make sure I don't lose. Yeah, I think it's a good trade. Like, I would have ideally just attacked both here, but I'm not positive that this thing is slower than me. And this gets me a drop. I would like to know whether or not armor is faster than this. Gonna find out now. Okay, this is okay. So armor is faster than anything. Okay. And okay, that's game one. Um, Goldengo, but it's, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I could bring the Escarada. I think just playing like the armor is just fine, right? Because if they lead Annihilate, I just do the same play and I abuse the fact that I have multiple redirectors and Mudsdale doesn't have any single target uh, damage or spread damage. A Dragon's not that important, but like having a second, because it could be Goldengo, right? Yeah, especially since Toad School can still support me. I don't like Miascarada here. I, I actually like it a lot for a number of reasons. It's, it like hits, it probably kills like everything on this board. But it doesn't have protect, and I don't think that I want to risk. Yeah, I think that this is okay because I think that really they need to. The only thing that can lead to threaten my armor rouge, until it's to this round, um, is annihilate. Right? They have three choice items, so protect is very valuable, and only toad scroll and um. It's 
Good stuff. It was an aggressive turn one, but I, I think it's worth it in the long run. A lot of damage just got. Trigger goes up. All right, four turns to get through. That damage is super valuable. Yeah, this is much scarier. It's always protect with both here, right? Yeah, because I want to solve short turns. Turns left. Nice. I'm going to survive the turn. Wait, what? They went for that? They would have given me a boost. I survive. Three, three turns left, right? Trick room, protect, attack. This is turn three, so two turns left. Okay. There's still three mons left, though. <laughs> Is it Goldingo? The Mudsdale. Goldingo. Okay. I think I want to protect both here. I want to see what they lock into is the truth. And I want to see the speed order. It's probably Armor Rouge first and then Goldingo. But if it's the reverse, then I'm actually big killing. Era. Terra Fire. Interesting. Okay, I think I hit this thing earlier. Did you protect? So they can't tear anymore, which is good to know. They go for armor cannon first, okay? Into armor. What? So what I'm doing here is I'm sacking a po I'm sacking two Pokemon here just to win the game. Because I'm not confident that I can well, they must think I'm weak. No, I mean they my item. 
I, I don't I don't know how much specs minus one or specs uh, arm, uh thing does. They keep armor cannoning into this armor cannoning into this slot. Oh, I'm also dodging. But neither of these Pokemon can protect. So by sacrificing both of my current Pokemon, I'm actually setting myself up really nicely because I have Hydreigon as the fourth. Take it rain comes out. It's slower than a Doobie. That's good to know. Doobie goes down, but it more than did its job by buying us all this time to get through Trick Room because now they have a Choice Spec Skuldango and a low HP Terrifier um, Armor Rouge and no more Trick Room and no more uh, Sticky. What this allows me to do is go into Armor Rouge Oops, well, uh, Armor Rouge and Hydreigon Already Terra is the problem. Um, I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse here and Armor Cannon here. The only way that I, this goes badly is if the last one is Annihilate. Um, oh, Annihilate doesn't have a Ghost move actually, so it's. Hey, I think it's okay either way. They stay in. Okay, that's gonna do it. Dark Pulse takes out uh, Armor Rouge. And Goldango goes down to Armor Cannon. We sacrifice both our Pokemon to buy us a turn to get these two next to each other. Our Goldango goes down as well. Thank you, Life Orb. Which means it's now a two versus one, with the last possible Pokemon being Code Scroll, <laughs> Annihilate. Or Mudsdale. That's not good. I have minus one of the defenses, but it should be okay. I'm going to protect here because I'm more worried about... Like, it doesn't have a ghost move is the thing. So, I'm going to go for this. But I think close combat is the most likely lock here. Yep. And I didn't want to bank on Draco, so even if this, this probably, this might hit, this will probably hit, right? Nice. That's a win. I played really well there. I'm proud of that. Yeah, I think I played that really well. I think I brought the right Pokemon. I think I played well. I'm happy with that one. Ben, thanks for joining. Really appreciate that. Turn one play ended up being like the turn one hard read on the on the uh gold dang, on the um protect from King Gambit ended up paying dividends because it meant that I didn't have to gamble later. Like I could just hit it with Dark Pulse and it would be fine. The Indeedy play was also really good. I guess we can watch the um Ben, thank you so much for joining. Okay, so one game one. I'll be right back. I'm going to refill my water. And I'm not going to mute, so we don't have the same thing as the last time. Can you imagine? I almost thought about doing it just as a joke, like pretending to be muted again, but that's... I'm not going to do that.
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Protect. Reverse trick room? Oh. I forgot I could reverse trick room. <laughs> I could have just... But it wouldn't... Would it even have helped? They had Annihilate in the back. I actually don't... I needed to kill King Gambit right away. I think that was the real goal. Because, like, pretend that this is Terra Fairy Reverse Trick Room, then it's the same position as turn one, except they was still the same 50-50. I guess this time I could follow me and, like, uh, Expanding Force, but then Annihilate comes in and it close combats, and I uh, this, and then they protect, and then uh, I'm down two to three, and they go Hydreigon, and then I'm forced to Terra Hydreigon, and then I win, and uh, you know what I mean? Like, I think this was fine. I wanted to get rid of the King Gambit as soon as possible, and I knew that Armourouge couldn't do anything into my uh, Hydreigon in the back. So I was, like, kind of fine just taking this trade. Like, it'd be different if Ndidi had, like, some move that could KO Armourouge from here, but it, it couldn't, you know? Oh, God, that felt good. Okay, Terra Fairy and Ndidi, I was like, oh, the person who's getting from me had, like, a different Terra type, and they're like, oh, I'm just getting 50 shards. And I almost told them, like, hey, don't bother. I can't come up that often. But it actually makes a pretty big deal. Because, like, Ndidi going down here would have totally changed things. Like, I might have actually lost if Ndidi went down there. Don't spam, buddy. I forgot I could reverse trick room. But I think that, like, I wouldn't have wanted to do it earlier anyway, right? Because, like, at this point, I may as well just stall for two more turns. And I, I didn't think I was going to not make it rain. But I've been wrong before. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, think, I really like being flash fire. I did it for Torkoal, who there aren't really any of, but not to jinx it. I don't really want to play against Torkoal, but um, yeah. I guess Armour is pretty strong into Torkoal. To be honest. To be quite honest. It's really nice into Torkoal. Flash fire is just a good ability. Having like Being immune to types is just super valuable. That's part of the reason why Gold Dango is so good. You can't hit it. Like I can't even hit it with Population Bomb. Not even for a little bit of damage.
Then here, yeah, we already know about this. So this basically, like, by sacrificing both my Pokemon, I want to get Hydreigon. Like, I assume that they're going to stay in with both here. Um, and I want to get both both my Pokemon next to each other, my back two Pokemon. So I sacrifice both here so that I can threaten Armor Cannon plus Dark Pulse. Taking advantage of the fact that, like, if one of these Pokemon could protect, I might not have done this. I might just run the Calc on Armor Cannon and risk the crit, maybe. So I don't think I would have crit specs at minus one special defense. Um, but since neither of these Pokemon can protect, it's basically like a... They can't mit they can only switch. They can't mitigate my damage, right? And there's nothing in the back that really wants to switch in. Like the best thing they could do is switch Armor Rouge into Annihilate, I guess. Good thing Ally Switch is not a thing. <laughs> I could have just doubled. It would have just doubled. I saw. I, I, I mean, even if they had Alice, which I think I had a way around it. Almost, more or less, yeah. <sighs> yeah, and I'm, I'm glad I recognized that. Um, annihilate. I didn't have a ghost move. It's U-turn, Rock Tomb, Close Combat, Final Gambit. Which, I mean, I get... Rock Tomb on a scheme as slow as this, I don't really get. Um, yeah. By the way, this this set kind of showcased why I don't like Toad's Cruel. Though, the fact that it gets Trick Room is definitely... I didn't realize I got Trick Room and Rage Powder, but in terms of Spore... In terms of having Spore, it, like, really feels like a waste. You know what I mean? Since stability is so bad. I think this makes sense too because the only way they could KO me was with Rock Team and if they Rock Team I should be able to KO with Dark Pulse into Drake Meteor without caring anything. I got the right call right. You know, technically Trick Room was better here but, you know, Potato Potato. Actually, yeah, tech, uh, yeah, technically Trick Room was better there. But I thought that uh, Expanding Force should also do it since they don't have Rock Slide or anything. Yeah, the return one really paid off. Honestly, getting uh, armor rouge that low is pretty big. Rock Goldango, like at all. This thing is not coming to my fights. I guess having like it kind of has like the things that resist a lot of it. A lot of the Pokemon on this game on my team are like they also resist Goldango is the problem, and it's just weaker. <sighs> I'm gonna turn the gamer lights off for a second because they're giving me a headache. Apologies for the way I look uh, in the dark. But yeah, they're just giving me a headache. So you're, yeah, please bear with me. Great job. Thank you very much. Blackout, uh, can you fake a sneeze for me? I don't think I trust you. So no, it's a weird, it's too weird of a request for me to do it. Uh, darkness, my old friend. No one will be able to see my, my armor rouge set. <laughs> So I'm five wins, two losses. So in order to advance to tomorrow, but there's another day of Swiss, I would need to win the next, both of the next two games. There's two rounds left. I'd need to win both of them.
It's called Shiny Murkrow. You broadcast a PC like my special. Yeah, I, a lot of people catch shinies when they watch me. Kind of a weird thing. Um, how many of you all watched the video today? Did you enjoy it? Do you have any feedback? Any feedbackers? I think it's good to review your matches. I think I got kind of lucky game one. I think Toad Scroll could have been Eevee to survive that helping hand expanding force. And then I would have just freaking gotten destroyed. But I was worried about Terra, Terra Psychic there because then I would have taken so much damage. Ben, thanks so much for, for joining the channel. By the way, if you're watching and enjoying, remember to like the stream. It, like it doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? You could like it. It's kind of cool. Nice way of supporting. You know, watch for free. Lots of content. I'm putting out like a ton of content. You can support me if you want, both by watching the videos or by like, you know, other ways. You know what I mean? I've been streaming a ton. Between the midnights, or like this, I did like eight hours two days ago, and then like three hours yesterday, and then I another two hours in Jaden's stream, and then had to build the team now seven hours today i've been putting in work i hope you all i hope you all enjoy the content because if not what the heck am i doing <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm hungry it's i only had soup for lunch i want dinner but there's only two rounds left i'm just gonna wait and then i'll eat something afterwards you know what i mean at this point we may as well wait you know what i'm saying I think my play has overall gotten better, though I should have lost not this past round, but the one before, so maybe it hasn't gotten that much better. I, I threw game two in that set. Yeah, I think I, it's nice. I don't feel like I made that many mistakes here. The Toad Girl turn was a little iffy. I maybe should have just taken the super effective U-turn damage. That was tricky. I don't really know what was correct there. Like, assuming Toad Girl survives... Is that, did I really cal correctly? Because that did that, like that, that combination does so much damage. Like I was really, I really didn't think that Toad Scroll should survive. Expanding force and psychic terrain with life warp, helping hand, non Terra. Yeah, it can survive. If it's max HP, it's a 75% chance to kill. But if it has any bulk, it's a oh. It was likely they probably didn't invest much in special bulk because Toad Scroll's really like, um. Toad Scroll is very especially bulky already, so they probably it was probably a, either like two thirds chance, 60, 68% chance, 69% chance, or a 75% chance. So it was in my favor for sure. But yeah, like it still is like a little bit risky. I guess helping hit armor cannon is technically stronger. It's an 81% chance or a actually it's it's an 87% chance and a 70 or 75. But I didn't know if I wanted yeah. The thing is that um the thing is that expanding force is better if they don't bring King Gambit in for some reason, but I knew they were using U-turn, so I probably could have just you know what I mean. Still uh 16 a lot. I'm actually gonna step away for five minutes. I'm really, I'm, I need a little break. Just taking a quick break. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and then I'll be back, okay? Um, and I'm not gonna mute. So I'm, just, I'm literally just gonna lie down because I'm, I'm a little beat. So I'm setting a timer for five minutes and then I'll be back. I hope you all understand.
Okay, thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> There's been a lot of streaming the last couple days, and I'm definitely not a... I'm a YouTuber more than a, a streamer, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Okay. We have six matches remaining in the round. Um, let me see how many... I'm curious about... Okay. Another loss. The one of the people I, I lost to is um five two, and the other one H Dirt. I'm just curious, honestly, what they're doing. He's also five two. Okay, so they're both five two. We're all five two. Um. Okay. Uh oh, this is gonna take a while. I think probably. Just two of the people aren't reporting the game yet. Maybe they're just waiting until the edge. Is Terra Illusion good? Listen, at first people didn't know Armor Rouge was good, and now people figured it out. Granted, it's only been, the format's only been live for like four days. I think it's too early to call um, how good Pokemon are. Like, for example, I really believe in Palafin. I think Palafin is probably pretty good. Um, however, however, it's not easy to use, right? Kind of like it took us a while to figure out Colossal was good. Like, sometimes Pokemon just take a while to figure out. I personally believe Sarah Ledge can definitely be good. Um, I think it has a lot going for it. I think ghost typing is nice offensively. Um, I think fire typing is like obviously really good. Having an immunity is good. Its signature attack is good. Um, it has close combat, which is good. I think that there's it has a lot going for it. Does it learn wide guard? It doesn't, right? But if armorers learns it, I feel like Sarah Ledge can. Why does not get wide guard? I feel like it's quick guard. Yeah, it gets quick guard. They gave one wide and they're quick, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think Serolage can be strong for sure. But I think Armor is just a little bit easier to use because it's just like kind of like expanding force button, you know what I mean? Just like click expanding force. We'll make a, uh, the team a shared card of the tournament when the video comes out. Um, I will make a sh I will make a code then. Um, I'm not going to be playing any Draft League. I think Draft League is kind of difficult with 20 minute timer in all honesty. And I don't think that like most, I don't think like A Drive has any desire to do it. And he was one of the people who ran like the big one. Um, I like personally am not interested in playing it anymore in Draft Leagues anymore. Um, so I don't really think there's like a push for it in all honesty. I think like episodic content in general is kind of tough. You know what I mean? Long tournament. <laughs> you said it, Dylan. Um... Thanks very much, Blackout. I appreciate that. Are you still like the best territory of every Pokemon video? Yeah, I actually mentioned this a little bit ago, but uh, it's just, it takes, it's going to take like a full month to edit. We're like probably, uh, it's been, it's been editing for a while now, so hoping to have it done next week, but who knows? What's a good territory for Grimmsnarl? I think Steel is good, personally. Um, I posted a link in the, in the, if you, so, okay, uh, if you, if you are in the member Discord, if you're a member on the channel or the sub Discord, if you're a member, if you're sub on Twitch, um, you can find a, I pinned a spreadsheet of the best Terra type for every single Pokemon in there. The one, at least what I thought. This was, uh, this was like, uh, before I had as much experience, so it's not going to be exact, but it should be pretty approximate. You know what I mean? Um, um, so, yep. Thanks very much for the $5, uh, Yagi. James, thank you so much. Uh, thanks very much for the $10 donor. I really appreciate that. Basically, like, um... So if you're in the sub discord, I will post my team problem. If I lose today, I'll post it today. If I lose tomorrow, if, or, or regardless, I'll post um, the current team with all the EVs and IVs and everything in there tomorrow um, at the latest, if not today, the team that I got to number one of the ladder with yesterday is already in there. Um, and then also there's the list of the best Terra types for every Pokemon. All you have to do is be a member on the channel or a sub on Twitch. Um, it's like $5 a month and you get access to all that stuff. Plus a great community of people, people helping out with raids, people like just like a group of people who are like, passionate about Pokemon and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a good, um, I think that it's a good uh, opportunity for people. There's three matches left, but uh, 20 minutes left in the round. So we might still have a while to go. Does your mouse hold bulky or full damage? I'm kind of interested in using it. Uh, you can find out when I post the export or you can find out by joining the member discord. Uh, and I will, I'll post it there today or tomorrow, depending. I don't know how Wolfie VGG does this, man. Me, this little bonus wolf, I never stream. You know? 
Norma's Wolf is not a, is not for streaming, you know? I don't know how, how Wolfie VGC does it. He's been streaming a lot. <laughs> Hudson Hatterini versus Armor Rouge as an NGD pairing. I do not believe Expanding Force was given to Hatterini. I also think Fire Psychic is better typing than... Like, this is the only Pokemon... Yeah, the only Pokemon in the game gets Expanding Force is Armor Rouge, which is, like, pretty much one of the main reasons to use it. But there's, it does other stuff too. It has Wide Guard, it has Trick Room, it has uh, Flash Fire, you know, it has good... Def Fire is actually a surprisingly good um, defensive typing. Like, it's, it's really nice to resist steel. On my team, it's the only steel resist. Well, I guess I technically have Goldengo, but it kind of sucks. Three matches left. What's a good tarot type for Grimstone? Oh, I already answered this against steel, but you were 10 minutes in the past, so it's not your fault. <laughs> but I won't answer it again. Hope your nap that finished five minutes ago was pleasant. Oh my god, they read me. <laughs> now that's interacting. That's a, that's that's a good chatter. That's a good chatter. Hello, future wolf. Good morning, future wolf. Yeah, you all have to understand that I'm ten minutes in the future, so you need to be reacting to things in the future. Like now is a good time to ask questions. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Why do does this strategy? Because Murkrow's everywhere, and I don't want to. I don't want to play that game. Three matches left. Seventeen minutes on the timer. Hopefully, they finish before then. At the very least, I went positive because I have five wins, two losses, with two games left. So at least I went. And the worst I could do is five. household EVs, you'll have to become a member or wait until the video comes out to find out. Okay, two matches left. Very nice. What does Nocturne's alt do in League of Legends? I'm probably going to be playing by the time you answer this, but maybe not. It's possible that I'm not. So I always see people talking about Nocturne's alt, but I don't know what it does. All right, one match left. Just one more. Come on. Baby needs a new pair of. Give me the next game, baby. So, Wolf, any chance you can post something on Discord where to find online tournaments? Um, one get into these two with online practice. The best place you can look is Victory Road. Um, they typically do stuff limitless as well. Um, when I play and stuff, I'll retweet it. Um, Victory Road, limitless. Um, uh, Jimmy Bell is a fleshy and rouge. Um, there's other ones as well. Um, a good person to follow is Billa. Billa probably speaks. If you look up uh, the Twitter at, Twitter's a good place basically for a lot of stuff. Billa, B I L L A V G C. Um, he will mention things occasionally. He's a good person to follow for limitless stuff. Um, Victory Road has their own Twitter account. VGC Victory Road, I believe it is. I will check. VGC uh, Victory Road. Yeah, VGC Victory Road is a good uh, Twitter account to follow. They, they're like, I would say they're the main one right now. Um, Much left. Which mons are exclusive? Is it just the Paradoxes, Armor Rouge, and Box Arts? There's like a couple more, like Ments and I think Titar maybe. Like you can Google and find a link online, honestly. Yeah, the new abilities on the legendaries are broken though.
Like, I'm not really looking forward to the new restricted format. I hope that we don't get one, but I am I am uh, too wise to believe that we won't. Volcarona, big on violet, laboratory dino scrub. Oh, Clouds of Volcarona, big on violet, laboratory dino scrub. Oh, no, Volcarona is definitely scarlet because I got a shiny one and I have scarlet. Fred Jerk, thank you very much for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Is Sticky Web any good? Uh, not really. Like, because it's only four Pokemon to each battle. Even if you set an up turn one, you only might affect two Pokemon if they don't switch, right? And, like, you might affect a zero or a one. And, like, there's no guarantee that that will even matter. Like, you're better off with Tailwind or Trick Room, which is more consistent. Paladin Band? No. Palafin is actually... It's hard to use. I wanted to build around it for this, but I just didn't have time to really look into it. So I decided to use something that was, like, a little easier to use. <laughs> yeah, none of the ruined Pokemon are legal in this tournament. Which I'm cool with. Like... We'll have plenty of time with the Ruin Pokemon. We don't need to rush into it. I like I like having really limited meta games because it's like it's easier to use weird stuff. Like the Titan. <sighs> Palafin sucks. Wait, no, I like Palafin. I think it's good. It has incredible stats. Um, I wanted to say something. When do you all think that we're gonna get? A million subscribers on this channel we are over 200,000 away i'm curious what the general perception is i feel like y'all don't like won't have like a super informed opinion but i'm just curious what kind of like be and be like as a serious answer like not like a like actually think about it for a second you know what i'm saying i'm just like spam I'm just like type the first thing that comes into your mind like given we have 200,000 subscribers yet to go I like Mousehold. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be brave. I like Mousehold. It's cool. There's so many things that resist normal. There's like everything is ghost and steel and rock. Any update in the best hair day for each Pokemon video? Uh, according to the schedule, it should come out. Uh, schedule it's supposed to come out. 12 dash three. Oh, I posted the wrong video today. Wait. Did I post the wrong video? Where is the I ranked every Terra type video? Doug. Where's the I forgot where I put it. Do we need to add something to it? I think I moved things around. Um probably the Terra type video, the best Terra type for every Pokemon is slated to come out the 15th right now. That's the current schedule. I don't know if that's real. That's what I that's what I wrote down. Where's the, where's the, I ranked every tier. Oh, I think we're saving this because we have a sponsor for it. That must be what I'm doing, right? A stereotype for Shedinja. Shedinja is thankfully not in the game. Turn off helping hand, turn off psychic. Ah, oh, still one match left. Mold. Smoge. Dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Dun dozo, dun dozo. Marcus came up with that. <laughs> we were in a call and like we were playing against, we were using dun dozo or whatever, and he was like, he kept saying, whenever dun dozo would hit the field, he would say that. Uptown funk with the lyrics replaced with dun dozo. <laughs> dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Bum, 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 bum. Are there any mods in chat? People have been DMing me asking. A lot of people DM me asking what to do if they can't connect their Discord or whatever if it doesn't work. But I have just been I have had not had time to look into them. Can I? Is there a mod that I can tell that they can DM instead?
Inquisitress, thank you very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. Having a lot of trouble against Goldango, any tips? I recommend War. I mean, okay, listen, I'm also having a lot of trouble against Goldango, but I think Wide Guard is really good and Steel Resistance is really good. Tara, thank you very much for joining the channel. Is Tinkerton good? Uh, has, it's not showing up a lot right now. That doesn't mean it's not good. It's it's hard to say. Like, Tinkerton has a lot of stuff going for it, but it also has some pretty big drawbacks. Like, it's garbage attack stat. Xander, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Vivian, thank you so much for joining the channel. Much appreciated. When's the next match? Um, at worst, about 10 minutes, hopefully sooner. You play some super auto pads? No, I got to stay focused. Protean bad this gen? I don't think Protean is bad. Apparently it resets on Switch out. The thing is, all the Protean users are so frail that like... Um... It's like not that big a deal. Like everyone's like, oh, Protean was nerfed, Protean was nerfed. I don't know. Maybe it depends, but I don't feel like it's that bad. Like you're, you know what I mean? Bombco, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. The support is uh, much appreciated. Make sure everyone's joining the sub discord. Get access to all my teams, get access to a great community. Also the document with uh, the best terror type for every Pokemon where the video doesn't come out for that for two weeks. I'm not a big fan of like keeping information from the community, but I am like, okay, letting people who support me have it early. That's kind of my, my um, stuff. So yeah, like, I mean, just in general, I, I like, there's probably some stuff I post in the sub discord that I don't share publicly, but for anything big, it will be shared publicly, but you can get it early if you're in the discord. No Twitch. I find YouTube, like YouTube is better in some ways, worse in other ways. First of all, my, let's be, let's be real. My viewership is triple to quadruple to like six times, depending how you judge it on you on YouTube, sometimes even higher at, at peaks. So, uh, yeah, that's like one thing that's, I think, worth noting. But also, it's nice that they just go directly to the live section on the channel. OMG, sick, pl sick play. I think I told the chat in the past that they had to react to what's ahead of them, but unfortunately, I haven't started yet. Like, micro center? <laughs> Not, I don't have any bad feelings towards micro center. Is this isn't a decent nuts joke. Micro center. Yeah. Apple's not very good, but Apple's pretty good. I deal with Dundozo and Meow Uh I deal with Dundozo by not playing any, slash maybe expanding force does a lot of damage, slash Meow Skirata. And I deal with Meow Skirata via follow me, slash tailwind, slash trick room. Yeah, but I haven't played any, either of them. Those streams, Jaden, it was fun. I mean, I don't know. Jaden's just super sweet. She's so funny. <laughs> And it was nice to like, it was fun to like be in a call with like other PokeTubers because I don't do a lot of collabs. You ever think about that? I do very few collabs. So it was fun just to like me and Jacob and Jan and I don't know CJ very well, but he seems super nice. And Jaden just like all like, like I, I, I it, the fact that it was on stream wasn't the fun part for me. Like it wasn't bad, but I wasn't like looking at chat uh, because I didn't want to get like the answer spoiled because there wasn't really a delay. Um, so yeah, no, but it was fun. It was fun just to, I don't know. Yeah, it's cool to work with. Like, I don't do a lot of collabs, so it's cool, like, and I like everybody individually, so it's cool to, like, be in a group setting with, like, these YouTubers, you know what I mean? Just change the music. Oh, you guys are probably tired of the music, aren't you? I muted it, actually, so I'm not listening to it. You can go out here. This is more calming. The music, I was, I'm trying to mitigate my head. I'm trying to slow the onset of my headache. Uh, so I have, I have, I have muted the music for now. What would you do with this team if you anticipate a Murkrow Garchomp lead from the opponent? Probably lead Hydreigon, in all honesty. Um, because I have Habenberry. Why is my Hydreigon dying to Life Orb Draco Meteor? I shouldn't have given it Habenberry if it's just going to die anyway. I should have given it some bulk, I guess. But it's like, where did the... I should have... I don't know. I feel like the speed was important, too. Why did I die? Was it like a guaranteed dead from Draco Meteor? I think it probably was. Uh, it's 50 56% chance, to be precise. Uh, how much do I've needed to invest to survive that? Because I feel like I'm already lacking damage. I would have needed to invest a fair bit. I would have been comfortable doing 64, 68 PBs, which leaves me with 212. Nope, it leaves me with 190, 188. Oh. Just for life of Hydreigon, I don't know. Just when this beats my forehead. Dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. You think it's a problem for Pokemon in general that every gen game for you has a new gen era? Gimmick? 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 <clears throat> Whew, long day. No, because I think that people, are, like, the thing that people complain the most about in Pokemon are legendaries and everyone using the same team. So I think the fact that, like, there's always something new and, like, it rotates which Pokemon are good. Double JC, thank you for joining the channel. 
Oh yeah, team building help on the Discord. Not from me, but there's I think a there's a channel where people work like collaborate. So um I do not contribute to the team building channel. Um, but lots of people do. Exclamation point Discord on either YouTube or Twitch will give you instructions. Dang, this last match is going forever. Dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Am I from Virginia? Yeah, originally I'm from Virginia. Carol Water, Water Spout, Kyogre? Yeah, for sure. Bestie, so true. This seems a bit overwhelming. How would a new player get into comp Pokemon battles? So I rec the best thing I can do recommend to you is to watch a bunch. Okay, the last thing ended. Um, watching a bunch will do a lot for you. Um, because you really just need to the first basically like there seems like a lot to learn, but you really just need to learn like which Pokemon people are using. Okay, next round is up. Oh no, it's my first Torkoal Lilligan team. Oh lord, that is gonna be a little spooky for ya boy. Okay, well. Turn the sound back on. Oracle, Lilligent, Lilignant, Lumditis. I have to pee again because that would take long. All right, one second. I'll be right back. I'm just going to pee really quick. I'm not going to mute. Okay, I'm back. Not muted. Okay, their team is Terra Ground Ligand with, with Terra Blast. That's pretty spooky. Um, with Sleep Powder after you. I need to check what, what type is the Mimikyu, what type is the Hariyama. Fire Torkoal, Dark Oranguru. Scarf Lucario with Final Gambit is spooky. For sure spooky. Um, the, uh, heart, um, what am I checking? Mimikyu is it ghost? It's ghost. Okay, Mimikyu is ghost. Mimikyu is ghost. Um, alright, I'm just fighting. Ground, Torkoal, Oranguru, Dark. Uh, dark type Torkoal. Dark type Oranguru Orang is kind of spooky. Not gonna lie to you. I'll play, instruct, Brick Room, and protect. Close combat, thunder punch, knockoff. It's flame orb, Hariyama. Okay, I need to go back into bonus wolf mode. Okay, flame orb, Hariyama. Um, orange with goggles. Specs, specs, Torkoal. That's very good to know. Um, well, Dango's not. Two up front for sure. 
There's multiple fighting types is the thing. Um, is Lucario a Scarf? Probably not too strong. I'll go to Hydreigon here. I mean, the resistance to grass and ground and fire is actually pretty nice. So I think let's do Hydreigon here and then... Same ones as last time, I guess. Gives me another... Um, Bring me, I mean, all my Pokemon are fighting weak. I kind of want to bring um, Boldango, though. I need some sleep powder dodges, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. Play rough, Shadow Sneak, Taunt, and Trick Room. Okay. Play rough, Shadow Sneak, Taunt, Trick Room. Terra Ghost, Terra Fighting. Torn Guru, Torkoal, Vicario. This is a little against a problem. It doesn't have Protect, but that doesn't matter too much if it just eats my whole team. For Brecky. I would like to use Miascarada here, but I don't really see how I can. Oh, I have something better I can do next time. Okay. Okay, that's fine. The look at Lucario. Okay, makes sense. Their, in their intention is to final gambit me. And sleep out of my armor rouge. So I gotta sack somebody here, right? Let's sack Mousehold. They're not really going for them, are they? What is Lucario's max? Same as in DD, Bad. Deserved better. Okay, we trade one for one there. Sleep powder. I hate sleep powder. I can't really deal with that, can I? No, that's not what I want. That's Question is who's in the back? Ariyama can't really come in here. Torkoal really can't come in here either, is that true? So it has to be Mimikyu or Unguru. It's gotta be Torkoal plus one, right? Torkoal Hariyama? Or is it Torkoal plus Trick Room Setter? Okay, that's amazing. That's so good because they can't after you it. And this basically just gives me a kill for free, I would say. Expanding force and follow me. Yeah. If they miss sleep, how do I insta win? Is really difficult because it's so volatile. Can they go for they stay in their sacking Torkoal? Oh, I don't get it. It's normal, they didn't even terrestrialize. Maybe they timed out. Okay, well, I'm not complaining about that. Why would they tear a normal Terra Blast? Also, why didn't it... oh, because I lost. Nice job, Armor Rouge. Yeah, okay, Hariyama. Nice. This is where Terra Poison comes in clutch, where 
this one doesn't have protect, right? And of course, follow me. Enough protect down this whole fence. Okay. I want to lead with Meowth Skirata, but I'm really afraid of Torkoal. Okay, GG. Alright, well that was good. How will they adjust here? They could go for... I think I want to bring Meowskarada here. It does tons of damage. And who do I leave? I mean, Mousehold actually does a fair bit. It hits everything for tons of damage here, except for Mimikyu, right? But they didn't bring in also I have other answers for. If I do one, two, it puts on a ton of pressure right from the get-go. Three and it's a little weird to leave both Hydri and Angle Dango against this, but I think that it could be okay. I may have to use Terra Grass um mouse hold here. Or, uh, Meow, Meow Skulis. What is it called? Meow Skurata? Meow Skurade? Like Masquerade, but Meow? Meow Skurata versus Mario. You can assume that it's max HP. Close combat. Okay. No. They're thinking about it. I don't know if I needed to make an adjustment here. I just didn't want to play the Sleep Petter game, you know? I hate the Sleep Petter game. Beneficial. I think that's still though. I want to go protect and Terra Grass U turn. It could backfire in a big way if they just final gambit, but there's not really a reason for them to final gambit, right? Like Meow Squirt, it shouldn't look super threatening there, and if they just eat an attack, they'll be in pretty bad shape, I think. Expecting close combat into Meowskarada or final gambit into Armor Rouge here. And if it's final gambit into Meowskarada, then they got me. And that's that. That's all I can say about it. Armor Rouge protects. What's Vicario going for? It's going for close combat. That's why Terra Grass could live. That's just barely over for a range. That might come in handy later. I am now online when it comes to damage. I break the disguise with U turn. One of the main advantages. Do they have Torkoal and Hariyama in the back? You know what I'm saying? Now I get to go into Mididi. Ideally, I don't get taunted in the slot. 
Ideally, this is tricky. Yeah, okay. Five turns of Trick Room. Lucario being a sitting duck on the field and no immunities to Psychic. No dark types. They can't hit Armor Rouge at all. Their only damaging moves are Play Rough and Shadow Sneak. And Shadow Sneak is blocked by the Psychic Drain. So what I can do is go for Expanding Force and Protect. And given how they're playing, we strongly suspect that their last two Pokemon are Torkoal and Hariyama and that this turn they're forced to taunt into a GD. They're also super slow. This might kill Mimikyu. Doesn't kill. Fine. Hari goes down. That's a big deal. That was the only Pokemon that has to my... Play rough. Okay. Don't want damage. You're not going to get it. Mimikyu can't protect itself. Neither can Hariyama. Neither can Torkoal. Not a single Pokemon on this team is protected. Which means this is expanding Force City. Torkoal's spread damage doesn't do anything here. Hariyama comes in. I can go. Hariyama's Terra type is fighting. So, and Mimikyu's Terra type is nothing. Ghost. I have a free follow me expanding force here. I should KO both since I don't have a terror type can handle it. This is turn two of Trick Room. I want to attack this turn rather than going for Protect because I want to just overwhelm them. I don't want them to reverse Trick Room, and I don't, um, I don't want Hariyama's Flame Orb to activate. Knock off, but it's actually not going to do that much because, um, yeah, for that reason. Cool, and that should be game. There shouldn't be anything back if you win here. Blood again. Or on Guru. Yeah, nothing can win here. It's probably too cool as well. Damage or they don't have rush power. Okay. Check. We don't see what they use. Corruption, yeah. Black fire activates. I did this just in case there was something ridiculous because it's not like flash flyers activated before and like I, if i somehow had the wrong ability and then or i don't yeah ability and then i died here but i would still have a chance of winning basically okay, GG. okay chat that was pretty good I would say. Go me. Whee! Go bonus wolf. You're so great, bonus wolf. Thanks, regular right wolf. Thanks, wolf. You see? We, still, we probably have a bit of time until the next one. I guess we can watch the... Oops. That's... Seems like a sport now. This is What is this game? This is game one? We're, wait, is there, game one was 10 minutes ago? watch this like this is kind of tricky because actually at this point it's fine right because i can go for expanding force i need like because basically this is a kill on the torkoal my thought process here was if i eat this i think this is the turn the terror blast yeah basically if i eat the sleep out of this turn um and then i get like then it's kind of spooky if their last pokemon is hariyama but because i'm terra poison 
The Harmyama, Harmyama is like fake out close combat knockoff Thunder Punch. So I can use, basically what I could do is like, um, try and use Terra Poison to beat the Hariyama, basically. Like, cause uh, a little against one HP. So I just need, um, yeah. Like I figured Terra Poison might actually be able to win here, especially cause they'll probably close combat one time and then at minus one special defense, I survive and then I can Draco Meteor for the kill. Yeah, so actually I actually think it was okay. Guys, I don't know how to stress this to you enough, but if I see you flaming my opponent, if I see you saying bad things about my opponent, I will, I'm gonna, I'll put you in timeout. First of all, I'll put you in timeout. And if, if I see it again, I'll ban you. I don't need, I do not want uh, anybody to come into my stream and then feel bad that they lost to somebody who's been doing this for 12 years, okay? I think we can do better than that, all right? Is that fair? They had, they had no matchup. They had no matchup. They, their base, their best plan was to spam Sleep Powder. And also, if you see, if you're watching the tournament, don't spoil it in advance. Like, think about other people. You know what I mean? I bet, I bet that there's a fair few of my opponents who I play with and come to watch uh, the commentary on it. So please, like, it's the least, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to be on stream. It's hard to be, if you're like, a, like, let's say, like, this person told me that it was their first tournament. And if it were my first tournament and I came in and I, I played somebody who been doing, again, the player who's, well, one of the players who's been around the longest, I'm in the 1% for sure, if not the less than 1% of people who, are, who have been playing VGC for this long. And in terms of people who've been, like, there's very few people. There's a handful of people who have been around this long and have been playing the whole time. You know what I mean? And if I came into a chat and saw, like, people being rude, I think that's totally uncalled for. I think that's, I think that's, I think that is super disrespectful. So, so yeah, please, please be respectful to my opponents. No matter, no matter if they're good or if they're bad, or even if, even if they, I don't know, if you don't like the way they play or they get lucky, I don't ever want, I don't want anyone to ever come to my chat and feel bad about playing Pokemon because my chat's being mean. I think that like, that's pretty unacceptable. So yeah, that's how I feel. And I think that's a reasonable way to feel. So yeah, um, good. If you, if my opponent is watching this, Good games. I like your team. It's actually very similar to a team I almost brought to this. Um, yeah, and it was a bad matchup, and you shouldn't feel bad about losing because I'm, I have the bonus wolf difference, and it was a bad matchup. You had, like this team had nothing. It, look at this team. What were they, like if I ever got into a position where I could just click expanding force? What were they supposed to do? None of you could. None of you could have beaten me like this. Okay, maybe maybe one percent of you could have found a way to win this. And the, and the only way that I see to win is to either get really clever with your mimic you taunts to make super aggressive specific hard reads. Um, or to just spam sleep powder and get super lucky. Those are the three outs. And they went for one of the three. And the way, the way, the way, like the turn where they messed up was, wouldn't Terra Ghost, Flashfire, Houndoom, wall your current team? I have Hydreigon. So I can just drink a meteor. Houndoom has no stats, so I can just, uh, or I could, um, expanding force it. Or I could Goldango it. It has no stats, so I would just, I would just mouse hold slash Hydreigon it and force it to Terra. But yeah, like, you know, it would, it would definitely do really well into me, like if I was out of position. Um... It's a good, it's a good. Also, I bet mouse hold, I bet on Meow Stick just kills it. What the frick is this thing called? Like, look at, look at, think about the play they would have had to make here. They would have had to go for final gambit into Meow Scarada, predicting Terra Grass. Think about, like, the level of specific specificity. And if you're wrong, you just lose immediately. You give up Lucario. Like, let's say they final gambit Meow Scarada, and I use Expanding Force, and they Trick Room. Bye bye. Game over. Immediate, immediate game over. Indeed, he comes in. Doesn't matter who comes in. Follow me. How, expanding force. Follow me. Expanding force. Follow me. Expanding force. GG. Shake my hand. You know what I mean? Because this time, uh, even Mimikyu couldn't survive because if they got this play wrong, and I didn't Terra, and I just went for U-turn, which is reasonable. Like, um, then yeah, like then I would still have Terra available and Terra Psychic. Uh, follow me. Expanding force. GG. Like they had no. There was literally no way. And I still had follow me. Me uh, mouse hold in the back. I got swords and lol. Why would you Terra and U-turn? I like I like seeing this. Why would you Terra and U-turn from Avery? This is why Avery. Look what happens. They go for close combat, and now I'm no longer Dark type, which means I survive. Which does two things. Number three things. Number one, 
it locks the Lucario into close combat. It baits the Lucario to use close combat. And so now it can't final Gambit me, which means I can keep Ndidi alive. Uh, and number two, it breaks Mimikyu's disguise. And number three, it gets Ndidi in. And unless Mimikyu lead is scary, because I anticipated that they might lead Mimikyu because it's scary because they can taunt. And with taunt, um, it stops my protect stalling and it also stops follow me. Like this. See? This is why. That's why Terrid. Don't I don't even know if these are real people or bots, but yeah. But it didn't work. Oh. EV spread on the NDD is in the sub discord. This match, I don't have that much to say. The protect here is because Mimikyu can't threaten anything, and I'm just, I just don't want to get taunted because I don't want to end up uh, losing to Hariyama. Because, like, they can't really do anything with Mimikyu here because none of, none of their Pokemon have protect, which again is more of a team building issue. And I mean, the record was the same as mine until now, right? Like, five wins, two losses is very respectable. So, I, like, on certain teams, you don't need protect as much, and a Trick Room team with, a, like, Specs Eruption Torkoal is definitely one of them. Sometimes you might want it on Lilligant, but the thing is that since Fake Out isn't very common, like, that's the main thing that you would want it for. This is my favorite the terrain has ever looked. It looked super dumb in the last two games. I'm finally glad that, like they got it right. This is what you get for not using Paldean Hariyama. This is what you get for doubting me about Paldean Hariyama. At mod was what timed out. I forgot. But you can you'll find out 10 minutes in the future, buddy. It was me. It wasn't the mods. It was me. That's the glick. You get the stick. Yeah. I mean, again, they couldn't do anything. And DD, it was a team building issue. And like, it's the door three days into the format. The format was announced three days ago. There was nothing to be done. <laughs> I saw a team preview and I was like, I only lose to either getting super outplayed or a little against sleep powder. Game one, they went for a little against sleep powder. I was like, oh. Had to play well, like tried to mitigate the the odds, and then uh, yep, game two they didn't. They were like, well, that didn't work. Let me try something else. And you know, it's their first tournament. They probably didn't realize that like something else wasn't gonna work. And I still think they could have won if they got. I don't know. Like if I if they if I hadn't terrored my um, Yaskarada, I might have lost. But suddenly Hariyama becomes a lot more threatening. But I did tear it because I thought about close combat. G. Why wouldn't they earth power or something? They have their moveset is eruption, heat wave, solar beam, and body press. So you tell me which one is the best there. It was it was it was a foregone conclusion. They were trying to get a kill. There's still like 30 matches left, so oh there's exactly 30 actually. All right, chat. So I am six wins and two losses after being two wins and two losses. Um, thanks to, uh, I'm sure Wolfie VGC would be thanking me, Bonus Wolf, for coming through. Um, but I haven't, I haven't closed out the job yet. You know, Wolfie got, Wolfie VGC came to me and he said, "Hey man, like, listen, it's kind of looking dire. It's, we got, I'm in the middle of this tournament. Like, I don't really want to tell you the record. It's not great." And I was like, "Ah, sure. Like, I'm doing nothing. I can, I can step in, right?" Um, um
but I feel like we've done pretty well here. We're six, six minutes, two losses. So we have one round left in the tournament today. Um, one remaining round. It'll probably be in like 20 minutes. If I had to guess. Um, all um, if we win it, we, we, if we win, we advance to tomorrow. If we lose, we're out. So it's, it's high stakes. This is definitely bonus wolf back against the wall, to be clear. Um, and, you know, the matches haven't been super clean, I would say. We had some good wins. We also had some really narrow wins as well. Uh, we had some tough losses as well. So, um, yeah, that's how I that's how I feel about things. But I feel like overall the team, it's gotten me right to the precipice, which is good. I feel like some of my losses were avoidable for sure. All my losses I made mistakes in. So, uh, yeah, like, but then some of my wins, I feel like, like the one win where I got the crit, I feel like was going to be pretty difficult to win. They played really well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're, we're I think we're kind of... We're kind of um, chilling a little bit. Not chilling, actually. We're actually not chilling at all. We have one remaining round. <sighs> this is the stuff where legends are made, where dreams are made or crushed. You know, ever since I was a little boy, I dreamed of, of winning the 2022 Limitless Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC tournament, you know? And we've made it right here to the precipice. It would have been nice to have one more win. You know what I mean? It would have been nice to already be there. Nice. Trailer makes it... Uh, Okay, my friend Aaron advances, which is awesome. So all that's left is me. I gotta say, I, I, from this, I haven't brought Goldengo at all. And you know what? In my testing, I didn't bring it, but I was like, it's got such good gener synergy with Hydreigon. I've gotta bring it. I gotta, I gotta add it. And now I'm kind of like, did I have to add it? You know what I mean? Um. People are saying base, but I don't remember what I said. Oh, I think this is when I said, don't be freaking rude to the people in the chat, uh, to, to my opponent. <laughs> You'd be such a great dad, Wolf. Thank you. I'm really happy Aaron advanced. Um, okay, only 17 more matches left, which is still a lot, actually. Phantom, thanks for joining. Oh, we got a lot of joins. Cognosis, Hades, thank you so much for joining. Whoa, why so much for joining? Pedro, thank you so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate the support. I'm curious if you got all the charge you need for the Wanda Terra types, which is a lot, are your teams designed? Uh, I, I was very fortunate, I mentioned, I had a lot of help from my subscribers who, because basically getting 300 Terra Shards of the type you want sucks. Um, but if you split it up over like six people, it's only 50 each, which is pretty reasonable, especially if some of them like, like Mousehold didn't need one, for example, it's Terra Normal, you know, and um, uh, Hydreigon Terra Poison, uh, Goldango didn't need one, it's Terra Steel, you know what I mean? So, John, thanks so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. I was flaming chat. <laughs> uh... The only time I'd flame is if they're using stalling tactics. Listen, guys, I I stalled. When I won the world championships, I was stalling. Like, okay, I was a little salty yesterday because uh, I was, uh, you know, playing on stream and I'm playing for entertainment. And I knew that Ashton, who's a very good player, who beat me twice, uh, both on timer, uh, was also playing on stream. So I was a little tilted because I was like, I wasn't mad that he was stalling to try to win. I was just mad because we're both streaming and trying to be entertaining. And it's like, it's not, and nobody likes watching that stuff. You know what I mean? No matter, like, if it were a tournament, I would not say, I would be like very fair, right? But it was like the online ladder. And at that point I was like, do you really need to stall me here? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just, it's just so much time. So I was, and I, you know, it was, I'd also been going for a while. Peck and Bird, thanks for uh, joining. John, thank you for joining. Have you seen how King Gambit moves in the picnic? I haven't, but I kind of want to now. Uh, 13 matches left.
Who's being toxic to Wolf? Nobody. But the I'd rather I'd honestly genuinely rather you're toxic to me than to my opponents. Because I can handle it, but like, I don't know. Like I, I don't want other people to have a bad experience with uh, Pokemon, you know? Thanks very much, Rugolf. I really appreciate the donut. Oh, the whole chat told them. <laughs> Eleven matches left. Overgrow is so cracked. It's been so good. Like, just the, the damage multiplier is so ridiculous. <laughs> like, choice ban Terra Grass for a t uh, uh, Overgrow helping hand. Crit. If you Terra, you turn bring the model will still be Terra. Yes, you can switch. Unlike Dynamax, you can switch your Terra Pokemon in and out. For a sub Discord, exclamation word Discord. Do Twitch subs count for Discord server? Yes. Exclamation Discord on Twitch, which has probably different instructions. How the frick do I join the Discord? This guy is dog water. You gotta be a, you gotta be a member, my guy. <laughs> Eight people left. Remember to like the stream. I don't know if it does anything, but it doesn't hurt. It takes you two seconds. Come on. <laughs> more likes, more dopamine for me. Oh man, I've been at this for a while. How long have I been live for? I've been live for eight and eight hours, 15 minutes. It's a long day for, for someone like me. I'm not even a streamer. I don't know how to, oh, the, 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 thank you to the mod who keeps updating the scores because I don't know how. Six matches left. One of them is 1-0, the others are, are one, one, 30 minutes left in the round. Thanks very much, uh, do he, You got the Charizard yet? No, I don't really care about Terra Dragon Charizard in all honesty. I haven't really been doing, I've been, guys, I've been streaming like the whole time. I've been streaming nonstop. And when I haven't been streaming, I've been working. I literally give myself one and a half hours per day where I'm not working. And I need that, I need 30 minutes each to eat and 30 minutes to shower. And other than that, I've been working. So I don't have time to, to do raids, unfortunately. Five matches left. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Pedro. I really appreciate the kind words. Thank you very much. Five matches left. Ugh. You switched from Dundozo, not as OP as you thought. Murkrow hard block you, the latter. Basically, like, Dundozo is super, super strong. And because it's so strong, Murkrow, who would already be good because it's Prankster Tailwind, is even better. And I, I didn't really want to have to play, like, a, uh, another bunch of... Like, first of all, I wanted to use different Pokemon. Because, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm an entertainer as well as a competitor. And, um... Um... Four matches left. I'm an entertainer as well as a competitor, and, um... I wanted to, you know, I played 12 hours of footage with the Dondozo team. So I thought like, if I'm gonna do another, you know, eight to 12 hours, like I would like to use something else. So people like can show, see more of the new Pokemon. Um, So I have like, you know, mostly, this is five out of six different Pokemon than the yesterday. And you know, three out of six uh, are new Pokemon who you haven't seen before. Yeah, Final Gambit is a lot. Uh, I think it's used so much because it's really good on Scarf Annihilate. And it's it's just really good on Scarf Annihilate because basically Final Gambit Pokemon typically have relatively low base, not super low base HP, but not like, they typically have like, Lucario has 177 max stats. The Raptor I think is 192, yeah. So like, but the thing is that that's not that, like it's a lot, but it's in the grand scheme of things, like you wouldn't KO a Moongus with that, you know what I mean? And so basically, so Raptor's base 85, uh, Lucario's base 70, and Annihilate is base 110. 
which is like a lot a lot more so it KOs everything it basically max HP Amoongus is like four points higher so anything that's running not max HP like it basically okos almost anything in the game if it's full HP which is pretty powerful um yeah which is very very powerful Um, so yeah, that's why Final Gamers do so much. Three matches remain. Justin, thanks so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. Sunrise Sanction, thanks so much for playing, for uh, joining the channel. Why is Wolf VG so bad compared to Bonus Wolf? Listen, it's too early to celebrate. It's way too, we have one round left. And at this point, all the players are going to be good. Rocks and dun dozo dun dozo dun 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 dozo dun dozo hey wolf have you considered getting up vgc to pursue making super automates content full time would love your thoughts on this i have not considered it nor will i but thanks for the advice thanks for the dono i appreciate it dun dozo so fridge thanks so much for joining the channel i really appreciate it i like super auto pets but i don't like playing to win i just like playing to get the achievements that's fun hey wolf i understand i'll play the game but i'm bad at team building is there a video you can watch to help that so i would like to do a guide on team building at some point but i need more experience first um you can check out vgcguide.com though, which is, that'll teach you the fundamentals, not like format specific stuff. But if you want to learn the fundamentals, you can like just make better teams in general. I wrote like 50,000 words over the course of like a year and a half on it. Maybe two years, a year and a half. Um, There is no bubble, Dominique. This is, it's all seven twos advanced to tomorrow to play five more rounds of Swiss and then the top cut. So there's no, there's no chance of, uh, of bubble. It's like, if I win this next round, I guarantee advance. If I lose the next round, I guarantee uh, don't advance. Someone says Rip Six Three Eight was a good run. <laughs> They're predicting the future, um, but the people who are watching don't know that. They think that I've lost. Um, how do people make teams so quickly with the Shonen Familiar meta? I mean, what I just I just like okay. How I built this team is, I was like, here's how I built this. I was like, I had no time. I, I started building this team at 7 p.m. last night after not after the day before streaming for like seven hours including up until like 2 30 in the morning and then i was so wired i couldn't sleep until like 4 30 in the morning and then i woke up at nine so i was like or maybe 10 but i still like didn't feel like a lot of sleep um and i was like okay i have no time and i have no time to test so i can't build something that's like foolproof right um so i'm gonna start with mouse hold because i think mouse hold is super good i think population bomb with technician wide lens is a really strong set and then i thought okay i'm really i really want to make sure i beat opposing armor rouge and dd teams what can i do i'm gonna add hydrogen because it's one of the best dark types it's not murkrow i didn't i wasn't comfortable with tyranitar um i could have built around king gambit but hydrogen has tail and it offers me speed control which is something i was lacking in a lot of my teams i was like let me add hydrogen then i added goldango because it has perfect synergy with hydrogen i knew it's strong so then i had three pokemon then i played a couple games and i was like all right let me just slap on three more pokemon so i slapped on indeed armor rouge and one other one and it felt uh, indeed and armor rouge felt like they added a dimension i liked the idea of having both trick room and uh, tailwind on the same team it's actually come in handy uh, pretty often during these games um and then i was like okay this feels pretty solid but the last pokemon sucked and i was like i'm really weak to dundozo uh, and I want a Pokemon that can come when I don't want to bring either Ndidi or Armor Rouge. And so I was like, okay, it has to stand on its own. It should do well into Dundozo. And so I was just looking at grass types. I saw Miascarada. I was like, I bet this thing hits hard with the choice band. I gave it choice band. Uh, and that was that. I played one game. I was like, it feels good. Miascarada was good. And then I was like, okay, that's it. One match left. The population bomb is different than other multi-hit moves. Whereas other multi-hit moves, they, they have a distribution. I believe it's 37.5% chance of two hits. 37.5% chance of three hits, 12.5% chance of four hits, 12.5% chance of five hits. Population bomb is 90% accuracy on each individual hit until it misses. Kind of like um triple axle. So each hit is 90 accuracy, and when you miss, it stops. So if you if you hit the 90% accuracy check on every single um one, then you go to 10. Tara, I think you just need to sync up YouTube, but maybe a mod can help Tara. Um Um, 
so basically with wide lens you have a 99 percent chance of hitting each individual hit because your accuracy gets plus 10 percent which is 99 or 90 to 99 and then um and then you have a, like a little over 90 percent chance of hitting all 10 hits which is pretty decent in all honesty and the way you calculate that for anyone who is not super familiar is you do let's say i want to calculate the odds of hitting three 80 percent accuracy moves you do one minus and then you do 80 percent so 0.8 to the however many times you want to hit so that's like 0.8 to the third is like uh well let's say we hit it twice because it's easier so that so 0.8 times 0.8 is 0.64 um and then so one minus 0.64 is you have a 36 percent chance of um missing if you use two 80 percent accurate moves so you have a one and three basically of missing and and the odds of hitting are just the like it's just the 0.8 times 0.8 the odds of hitting two is 64 percent or whatever when will battle begin um there's 20 minutes left in the timer so the worst case scenario is 30 minutes but there uh actually no the worst case scenario is probably in the next 15 minutes i guess thanks so much alex yeah, i appreciate it how old is too old to get into competitive pokemon it's never too old i mean like yeah like if you enjoy like i don't know like it's not like it's a game with it depends what you want right like if you want to be the best in the world and you want to pick up i don't know super smash brothers maybe there's like hand limitations but it seems like the melee player base is aging gracefully like mango's got to be at least 30 right um and he's still you know the goat um so yeah it's never too old it's you're never too old it's not it's and pokemon doesn't have any physical uh aspects so as long as your brain works um yeah as long as your brain works you can play oh i got a mod of wit why is it not i don't know me Does that work i just now water that channel what is this uh, which is the best way to get into playing vgc i would say two advices number one number one Oh, by the way, if I see you spoiling the next the next result, win or lose, I will ban you. So do not spoil it. Um, um, two ways to get in VGC. Two things I recommend. Number one is watch a bunch. Watch a bunch of content. Um, Cybertron is a really good person to watch. He posts normally almost daily, if not daily, uploads with a bunch of different teams. Um, you want to know what the different Pokemon do. You really just want to become familiar. You don't need to know what every Pokemon does. You just need to know what like the most popular ones do. And you, as you once you get that down, you'll start to gradually learn what more and more do. Um, so like seeing what Pokemon do, uh, learning what the type matchups are, those are like really good ways to start. You can do that by watching. And then once you feel ready, I recommend just like picking a team that's had some success, um, and is public, uh, like rental teams go a long way for this. And then just like, just like playing a bunch with it, right? Just get really comfortable with one team. Even if the team isn't great, like just getting some experience under your belt is, is a really good, uh, is really uh, a good thing. Oh. <sighs> My water is low. I'm going to refill. What's your favorite type of Oreo? I think double stuff, but I haven't had an Oreo in a while. water okay hang on wait we got some members hold oh, five gifties hang on one thing at a time uh oh no no wrong button wolf Hold up. amj thank you for joining uh zio thank you for joining bot assassin thank you for joining what is going on uh taylor green thank you for joining hope flex thank you for the five gifties really appreciate that Corey, thank you so much for the ten dollar dono haven't played pokemon games since emerald coming back in and wanted to come beat your channel and all has been greatly appreciated i'm happy to hear that thank you so much everybody i really appreciate the support here it is it is it does not go unnoticed in fact i even noticed it if you can believe that I'll tell Wolfie VGC. I'll tell Wolfie VGC about it. I'm keeping track of everything. I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell, um, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. You know, I'm just, a, I'm just filling in for the main guy. 
you know, I'm just filling in for the big man, you know, just me, just little me bonus wolf. Guys, I think, I think I'm going to get to 100k subscribers uh, at some point. I feel like I can do it. All right, is everyone here subscribed to bonus wolf? After all my hard work? Have you subscribed to bonus wolf? Have you done it? Bonus wolf. How many, how many am I at? Bonus wolf. No, not B-O. Oh, that's okay. Bo Burnham. Bonus wolf. You guys, you got to subscribe to bonus wolf. Come on. I'm doing all this hard work. It's like, a, you know, those like those marathon streams where they tag out streamers. That's me right now. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing the main, I'm doing the main lifting. Okay. I'm doing the heavy lifting over here. Big man, Wolfie VGC has got a lot of subscribers. He just goes, he just, yeah, takes a little nap, you know, he just goes about, does his chores. He calls it a little me, you know, little, 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 little bonus wolf over here. You know what I'm saying? Poor little old me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the main, I'm doing the work for the big man. The rich get richer, you know what I mean? Sub, subs get more subs. Spread the wealth a little bit. Subscribe to Bonus Wolf. Do you have snacks in between? No, I didn't have snacks. My stomach was like, when I, I feel better now, but when I laid off my nap, my stomach was making noise. If this camera weren't, so, if this uh, microphone weren't so high quality and it, like filtered out almost all the other, like the ambient noise, you, you would have heard my stomach. I guarantee it. But it's the last, it's the last round and I can eat some dinner. Wolf from the past. I want to say keep having fun. That's a good chatter. Thank you, Isaac. Appreciate it. Oh, one round left. Dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Guys, I've been so busy. I haven't even been able to watch the mogul mails. It's so sad. I love watching mogul mail. Is Gambit worse versus Ghost? No, thank goodness. It's like the only counterplay. Why didn't you bring the Dondozo? I think I answered this sometime between when you asked that and when my current time is. Nice turn. Predicting the game is in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> well, I don't. The thing about that is that you actually don't need to predict the start of the game because I don't look at the chat when I'm playing, right? Um, especially with 10 minute delay. Like if I'm on the ladder, I'll look at the chat. Uh, but but sometimes. But like if I'm in an actual like match, or if I have 10 minute delay, I mean, like I'm not looking at the chat. You know, I'm looking at I'm not looking at that chat at all. Um. So you actually don't need to predict the, unless you think that like the, the match both like I, I will look at the chat when the vein when like when I'm done with the set and I watch it back, you know what I mean? Um unless I lose, in which case I'll probably just end the stream. <laughs> um yeah. Um Why is everyone thinking I'm gonna lose? I don't get it. You don't have faith in me, bonus wolf? After all I've done for you, after all I did. Dun dozo, dun dozo, dun dun. Dozo, dun dozo. This is that dun dozo, dun dozo. Oh, it's done. Okay. All right, chat. No, no, Gorillo. Okay. Grimmsnarl, Skeledurge, Gyarados, Amoongus, Garchomp, and Goldengo. Okay, chat. Safety goggles, unaware. Shadow Ball, Slack Off, Torch Song, Willow Wisp. Lumberry Chomp with EQ, D Claw. EQ, D Clue. EQ. Agua Berry, Regenerator Among Us, Ruffskin Garchomp. Um, wait, what type is Goldengo is Steel, right? Goldengo is Steel. Steel Goldengo. Okay. Um, Amoongus. Amoongus must be Grass? Grass Amoongus. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of it. Alrighty, well, good luck, have fun. Um, I hope that I do okay. Hope that I do well. I hope I play well. Oh, link battle. Clear amulet, Gyarados, DD waterfall, Terrablast, protect, Skeletor with unaware, Terra type fairy. Um, Grimmsnarl, Garchomp, Among Us, building. Okay, single intimidate. Oh, it's fake out Grim. They're a fairy. Agua Fairy Among Us. How much damage do I even do with that? Uh, 
Oh. Amogus? Alright, let's see. Cool. Okay, good luck. Have oh, let me take a look. Got it. Luck. Okay. Terra Water Among Us, Terra Grass Gara, Terra Ground Gartomp, Gartomp, Terra Fairy Grim, Terra Fairy Skeleturge, Terra Steel Goldango. Okay, let's give this a shot. I just need to keep him on the terror type. Okay, that's actually what I expected, in all honesty. It's so bulky. I really don't want to miss up, mess up population bomb, is the truth. But I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm down to go first or eighth here. Um, no. Hang on, let me... The only way that paranormal population bomb gets punished is pretty much with... I'm down to go for this. It's just Garchomp's position that I'm worried about. Well, they have take out as well. This could just totally backfire. Okay, they stayed in. So, I mean, take out could mess me up here for sure. Okay, like, that was great. That means I get rid of Grim without having to deal with Reflectors tonight. Um, and I also, oh, I mean, assuming that I hit 10 times, let's see. Life spirit only affects the three, uh, it's like two on one, doesn't it? This is probably the lowest. Big damage, huge damage. Yeah, that's bad. I 
think I want to see the vintage. I think it's this cool dingo, or is it somebody else? Among us. Oh, that's oh, it's great. Oh, I can encore that. Excellent. I know for the mons, I need to have skeletons in that. Um. Unless? Did it do barely not enough that Drago Meteor will KO? Maybe. Hey, Among Us is down. Going down here wouldn't even be that bad, right? And the lights are Lot. Any more damage on Tom? Tom Barry? For this and switch to reset the drops. Meow Scarada. Like I shouldn't I want to hear anything. I'm aware ignore staff doesn't do one for it. Slack off Shadow Ball Torch Song Willow Wisp. Flower trick doesn't actually work. Uh, it confirms that it's light play, right? Yeah. Last one core is fine. I guess I can heal. Okay.
Well, I didn't really intend to lock in that quickly, but I guess I just did. Okay, that's fine. I actually don't know if I like this lead. I think if it weren't for Fake Out Grimmsnarl, I'd like it more, but um, given that it is Fake Out Grimmsnarl, I don't like it, is the truth. But I, I should have led Hydreigon. I kind of thought they might not lead Skeleturge because it was kind of just Hydreigon food last time. If they don't lead Hydreigon, then I feel... If they don't lead Skeleturge, then I think this was a good lead. If not, I think I might have made a mistake given the fake out. Okay, nice. Good for me. God, that's a good lead. Holy cow. Oh, that's such a good lead. The thing is, I... Oh, okay, they can just, um... It's actually not that good of a lead, is it? I'm afraid to use Population Bomb because I'm afraid of the Garchomp switch in. It's such an obvious switch. I gotta go for it. I think it's okay if Garchomp switches in. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was coming, but I couldn't really afford to do anything else. Getting rid of the Citrus Berry is still really nice, in all honesty. Oh, fake out. Okay. Fine. Huge damage! Do I die to that? No way. No way. No, 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 no. There's no boosting in him. There's no way I die. Guys, what the heck? Hey, what was that? I died. This Pokemon is not balanced! Wait, what? This Pokemon is Omega not balanced. Who designs this game? Oops, still, that's not like that's okay. That was a terrible turn one. They've already Terrid, which is good. I can go for Nasty Plot and Dark Pulse here. Player expect Light Screen, right? I kind of wanted to Terra Poison here, but I figured that this was better in all honesty. Because I might need Terra Steel later. <sighs> Man, that one sucks. Oh, big switch. To what among us? Archon? Skeletor. It's fine. Is the last Pokemon among us, or is the last Pokemon um something else? If it's Garchomp, I think we're in great shape. If it's anything else, I think things might get dicey. I think if it's Gyarados, we're in okay shape too, basically. It's Garchomp. Okay. They've already terastalized. Should do a lot of damage, I think. I'm gonna go for it. It's not any recovery item. They don't have uh they don't have um Rock slide, so I'm not worried about that. Last time I did a little over 50%, so it should do a lot of damage here. And with Terra Steel boosting me up further, I also don't think I get one shot by Torch Song. I could be wrong, I've been wrong before. My guess is that the thing is trained pretty defensively though. Air Balloon kind of coming in clutch here. I'm plus two, so what's important here is that Skeletor's unaware ability ignores my plus two. If it weren't for that, I would definitely win here always, I think, given the set. But um Yeah. Not the case, of course. Attack Garchomp? I am glad I didn't attack into that. Sh 
should really go down to this. Come on, go down. Nice kill. The light stream not being light stream not being up is huge. I'm at plus one now. I could still lose this if I'm not careful. So here it's really important to not fall for the fake out because it'll break my air balloon because I'm no longer ghost type. I'm gonna protect both. I shouldn't have protected with Hydreigon, I think. Because I forgot they had sword scan. I think it's okay anyway. Ah, dang, I really should just I don't know. I mean, okay, if the sword stands here, it's not like I I actually think I still am okay if this word ends here. We go for take out, take out into Goldango. Is it earthquake? It's probably just swords in here, right? Nice. Play. I should. I, I wanted to protect Rick Meteor. Okay. I need to make sure I can win this though. Now it's definitely make it rain, and then Challenge. This one's gonna be down to the wire. That was a really good play by them. By screen. This is plus one Terra Steel. I needed to one shot the Grim. We go for Declaw into Hydreigon, Habenberry. I think last game we saw this this might not kill. Habenberry coming in clutch! Finally! Tailwind comes out. We've got our speed advantage for the rest of the game. An air balloon Goldango coming in super clutch, making it immune to Garchomp. Make it rain comes out. This is plus one. Is it going to be enough? It's light screen Grimmsnarl. Is it enough? It is. Grimmsnarl goes down. And it's Garchomp against the world, but it can't use Earthquake to take out Goldango. And somehow, with his back against the wall, being two wins, two losses, and even worse, getting flamed by his own chat. The people who should believe in him when nobody else does. Bonus Wolf qualifies for the second day of the tournament. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Good game. Oh, let's go. That was it. What a run. You all doubted me. Don't you feel... How many times do I have to tell you? This happened on a stream on my phone. I was like, hey, my team's really good. And then I was looking bad and you all, you have no faith. You never have any faith in me. That's the problem. That's why this relationship can't work. Because you don't believe. No matter how many times I show you, I try, I try to tell you, I literally try to tell you. I'm like, guys, I have the world champ different. You need to, you need to account for these things in your calculations. Nope. Lost champ difference. Wolfy, Wolfy Glick. No respect. Don't you feel silly? I, I literally, I literally, I literally told you. Whew. Shame on you, chat. Shame on you. Don't you ever doubt me. I, I literally said this last time. I said, don't you ever doubt me again. And then we, and where do we end up, chat? Right back where we started with you all doubting me. That's where we started. Let's uh, switch to this. Let's refresh. I'm going to take care of you guys. I'm so happy Wanwa. Oh yeah, this is a great time to join. I'm so happy Wanwa came back. God, I love, I love. Okay, my, I, I was like, I saw that Miascarada was on two legs and I saw the design. I was like, I'm not going to like this Pokemon. It's just Incineroar version two, but I actually really like this. What a lucky crit. Oh my God. <laughs> I played ver I played my um my uh what's it called? Boldango really well that set. Alrighty, yeah, Encore is so good. Oh let me that's my thumb. I guess I'm gonna need a thumbnail for tomorrow. Uh
Sorry, I was I was messaging people. Oh my gosh. I think this is like a pretty decent matchup in all honesty. The Skeletors were scary, but it didn't have Terra Blast, so I could use like basically the last Skeletors we played um had Terra Blast on it. It was it was uh same moveset, Torch Long, Will O Wisp, Slack Off, but then it was they're both Terra Fairy, but this one had Shadow Ball, the last one had Terra Blast, so it made Hydreigon like it would have been far scarier for it at Terra Blast, because I could just like I could just use Hydreigon into it, you know. I can't believe both my bonds died to I don't know how much I have no idea how much make it rain does. Uh, that's what I've learned from this. Like, I have genuinely no clue. I, it always does more than I expect. Because it's a spread move. It shouldn't be that strong. And Goldengo is just string cheese, so it shouldn't be that strong. But then it kills everything every time. Look at this. I have two Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, feeling good. My thought process here is basically like, first of all, Goldengo is the biggest threat to my team. I need to get rid of it as expeditiously. So, um, my thought process is basically, I'll go for Population Bomb into Grimmsnarl. The worst case scenario is which is a Garchomp, but I still end up doing a ton of damage to both Pokemon. And I, I put them both in uh, Make It Rain range. Um... And I also didn't expect to get one shot. You know what I mean? So, although I guess if they switched to Garchomp, like I would have been in trouble, I guess. But because then um, the Garchomp would have lived and Mouse would have KO'd itself with Rocky or with rough skin damage. And then in this scenario, it would have been, even though I thought that Mouse would lived, or like basically they would have made um, Make It Rain single target. And then I definitely would have lost both Mons. Um, and that would have been scary. But uh, yeah, man, Air Balloon was so good this set. When Knockoff comes out, this does a ton of damage. Forces the Terra out, which is good. But in all honesty, if they had a fake out of the Meowth out of there, that would have been really bad. Because I would have killed the Grimmsnarl, but then it would have been full HP Terra Steel, and I would have just lost. So this was not as clean as it looked. I'm apparently very weak to make it rain guy, Goldengo. I probably I knew that they were gonna adjust by bringing um uh, Goldengo. I didn't know if it was gonna be up front or in back. I wanted to bring Armor Rouge because of that, because it's so good into it. But like honestly, the Skeletor just stopped me. I was like really spooked by the spell the Skeletor. Oh my god, I see someone in the chat saying washed. <laughs> F, F, nobody believes, nobody believes, rigged. More dogged, <laughs> more dogged. <laughs> I, this is a very risky play because I could have gone for Terra Poison here with Hydreigon, but I decided to gamble because I thought like, okay, I don't think that Grimmsnarl, Grimmsnarl knows that I can Terra Poison. It also knows that I could make it rain here and knock over the nasty plot. So in both cases, it, doesn't, it would probably prefer to uh, life screen. So I decided not to save the Terra in case I needed it for damage later. And that was the right call. If they gone light screen this turn, I think I would have been in trouble because I would have had minus one Goldengo and Hydreigon against... Well, I actually might have still been able to win in all honesty because Hydreigon becomes very powerful. Because it has such good typing against Skeleturge. Pay attention, by the way. This is where... um, This is where the Air Balloon comes in super clutch. The Goldengo hasn't taken any damage. And because of that, Garchomp isn't really a counter to it yet. Grimmsnarl switches into Skeleturge, but Light Screen didn't go up. And I go for the Nasty Plot. I think if they needed Skeleturge to be on the field when Light Screen was up, but that's easier said than done. Goldengo goes down, big Dark Pulse there. To their credit, if this mega, if this had been right Mega Rain, I'd been too scared to go for Nasty Plot. Uh, it would have been game over immediately. They would have just auto won, I think. So I was, I was like the only way that I could win was to go for the Nasty Plot. Our jump comes in. I'm plus two. I go for Terra Steel to ensure I get the KO on both because I don't know much my moves, my damage, my damage my moves are going to do. And this is where the Air Balloon comes in pretty clutch, I think. Because they can't Earthquake and try to go for the two shot. Because the thing is, once Goldengo goes down, I always... Let's pretend they could go for Earthquake here and they made the call that I that they were going to... Wait, that also wouldn't work. I don't know. Maybe it would kill Doug. I don't know. Basically, the Air Balloon was nice. That's how I feel. Dr. Tenderoni, thank you very much for joining the channel. I appreciate that. Just throw out my thumbnail designer. Check from Garchomp. Plus two doesn't come into effect, but Light Screen not being up is huge. Hydreigon comes in super clutch. Okay, here's why Air Balloon actually matters. It comes in. It actually becomes very relevant in a second.
I like that both starters were in this game. Like, it was Miascarada versus uh, Firecroc guy. So we protect both here to cover for the fake out. I could have gotten a little risky on for Draco Meteor, it, but it loses if they double that. Like, it would have been really risky to double the, the Hydreigon here, which is why I immediately call out that it was a mistake. Because I think that even though it was super, it could have backfired really in a really big way. I think it was better just to go for Protect Draco Meteor here because they really are more worried about Goldengo here, in all honesty. And it wouldn't have KO'd anyway. It was still like, basically like, if they, if I, if I fake out Dragon Claw, it actually doesn't change things that much because next turn is still make it rain. If it kills Grimstar, I still win. So it was a miss. Like, I was kind of too eager to lock in here. I think because of the air balloon, I could have afforded to, um, to make, to protect and Draco Meteor. Because they do go into Goldengo, right? Yeah, so that was the, this is the wrong play in hindsight because it covers for this specifically and it just all right into the game. So here, if it weren't for make it rain or basically, okay, actually not yet, sorry. So light string comes out. I don't know. I think Tailwind is Tailwind is better here because I can miss Draco Meteor, but I will never miss Tailwind. And so here's where the air balloon matters. Pretend for a second that this was a KO. Let's say they crit, right? And I didn't have air balloon. Then I would have just lost. I would have been Earthquake, shake my hand, GG, right? But instead I have air balloon. So even if I get crit there, I still win because Dragon Claw cannot KO me. Well played by me. Yeah, Air Balloon came in super clutch there. Goldengo didn't do much, but it carried us over the finish line, and that counts for a lot in my book. So I think this team was okay, right? Like, I feel like the losses were, in large part, inexperienced, and in large part, me getting a little unlucky, and then in large part, me making mistakes. There's too many large parts there, but you get the, you get the taste. Um, anyway, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Thank you all. Um, I think I'll tell, I think, you know, I should go tag out. I, I, I've enjoyed my glory, but I should go, I should go get Wolfie VGC. Hang on. Okay. This has been bonus wolf. Subscribe to bonus wolf. Thanks for watching. Um, I gotta get Wolfie VGC. He's gonna wrap up the stream for you guys. Okay. I hear that, right? Ah, I mean, I knew, I knew he was good, but dang. 2-2 two, two to 7-2 is pretty impressive. That, I, I mean, listen, we call him the big dog. That's the big dog for the reason, okay? You know what I mean? That's why, that's why, we, this is, that's why, that's why, that's why we call this guy in. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks so much to Bonus Wolf for being on and, and really carrying us over the finish line there. Uh, very, very happy about that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern to play more of this tournament. I have five more games tomorrow, and if I win four of them, I advance to the final eight players in the tournament. So... Thank you for watching. Uh, I very much uh, believe it. I very much believe it. I very much appreciate it. Um, and yeah, don't you ever doubt me again. Even when I actually lose for real, don't you doubt me. I, that's my, I just come back stronger every time I lose, okay? Except when the times I come back weaker, but eventually the, the overall trend is upwards, okay? Thanks for watching. Go watch the, today's video if you haven't already. Check out Bonus Wolf. And um, that's pretty much all I got to say. Bye-bye.